Howdy, chat, and welcome aboard. Our second flight in Ital Air is getting ready for takeoff. We'll be taking all first class passengers here shortly. That's all of you, because you're all first class in my heart. Except any of you with more than five timeouts on your record. You're going to coach. Hey, Pog Dude. Hello, everybody. Can you guys just do me a favor and pretend that this is the first plane stream and the exact same shtick from yesterday is just as exciting now as it was then hey everybody <laughs> oh I, 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 tom cruise quote I, top gun anybody come on Gimmick 2. I like the co-pilot more. Well, Midas is currently just chewing on a bone. He likes to face the door. To make sure that he's ready in case anybody, uh... Unexpected shows up, I guess. Also, he's probably a little bit suspicious because the reason why I'm late... Uh, by an hour is because... I finally got my sink in the kitchen fixed so I can eat from home now. It's a pretty important reason, and uh, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's out of my control. Plumbers came by, they fixed my kitchen sink, so 
thankfully that is done. However, I do have a little story about my kitchen sink, if you will um, allow me to do a little rant at the beginning of this stream, okay? So, I just moved in to this house. This is a, this is a rental. And I discovered that there was water under the sink last week, I guess. Over a week ago now, for sure. And I was like, well, that sucks. Obviously, anytime you find water under the sink, it's just possibly, there's so many different things that go through your mind. Is this an emergency? Am I causing this by running the water? Am I causing this by using the dishwasher? I think I was using dishwasher and washing dishes in the sink at the same time. And then water started pooling on the floor, like on the tile. So that's even worse. That's like it came, it, it overflowed so much that it's now in plain view. So I didn't know what caused it, so I turned everything off. But the other thing that flashes through your mind is, is this a leak that's going to persist after I disable these, the sink and the dishwasher? Do I need to go shut off the water main to my house? That's worst case, because now you can't flush, now you can't shower, right? That's like, uh-oh, bad. So luckily it wasn't that. Anyway, I uh, put in a ticket to my landlord to get it fixed. They responded in a very timely fashion. They responded the first business day. Okay, so good job, landlord. And somebody is coming by. So they come by, and unfortunately they just do like a... Um, since I'm renting, they just do like a examination of how much... Like an estimate, how much is it going to cost. So they can then contact the homeowner. I guess I should just be lucky I didn't have to pay for it. Because it's like, it was very clear that it was a problem before I moved in. Because the, the grain of wood under the cabinetry was like bubbling and bulging because you, you so you could tell it had been leaking down there already and nobody caught it not even we did like a full home inspection before i even actually moved in and didn't see it there either but it, like i haven't i've used the sink less than 10 times and i've used the dishwasher one and a half times and i stopped it the second time right so it's like i have there's literally nothing i haven't been here long enough to do anything so they knew that and uh, we're paying for it, so that's why they had to come get the estimate. Anyway, so, um, the, I already told you about the people who came the first time. Anyway, they came back. They were actually the plumbers. I think I talked about this in the Discord. They didn't, they weren't really acting like plumbers. They were just extremely quiet, very silently walked in, got cell phone out, took video of the leak, and did not really offer one word to me. I was just like, day going good? Like, how is things staying busy? You know, just trying to like be nice. Like you want any water? I got some waters in the fridge for you if you need something. No, no, it's fine. Okay, not really talking uh, at all. Just taking a video of the sink and then left. But anyway, they came back today and there were two people and they both, it was the same guy. They seemed nice. Um, <laughs> Cause I, I, they wanted to come yesterday and I was like, no, <laughs> like, it's the plain stream. Like I, I'm working, I'm not gonna, I can't, I can't let you come at 5 p.m. I'm I've been doing this all day trying to get this stuff sit situated. So it's like, could you come back today? Well, like then I said tomorrow. But anyway, so they did, and uh, it took like an hour and a half. I was like, was it like a, a difficult fix? And they're like, yeah, the your sink is just really deep in the basin, and it was really hard to just get to it and access it. And he was like, but it's all fixed now. And I was like, okay, thank you, bye. And he left. So I go in and test the sink, and sure enough, water's coming out. I look under. I don't think it's leaking. I haven't really, like, experimented, but I... Two plumbers came, replaced all of the, like, tubing. They replaced the the faucet itself, basically. Like, it's brand new, so I have no reason to doubt that, but I'm going to test it later. Anyway, it seems to be working fine. And then I notice, wait a second... Wait a second, this is not the same as my last sink. My last sink had a, a tube that you could pull the head of the faucet down so that you could blast water on your pots and pans at an angle. This is stationary. Am I gonna be stuck for the next like two years potentially with a lower tier kitchen sink? Did you guys just bait and switch me? at the landlord's office. You know what? I bet the landlord, I bet he, they talked to the homeowner. And I bet that homeowner said that that new replacement's too expensive. Could we go a couple tiers down since I'm not the one paying for it and you are? You probably wanted to like, just lower the, the bill a little bit because you are the one having to pay for someone else's house, I bet. 
I was about to get ready to get on the phone. I was starting to get the number. I was like, no, 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 let's not call the landlord and complain about this. You can't just downgrade my sink. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write an email, right? Because calling them seems weird. It's like, hey, I, you, you came and fixed my sink in my house, but it's not, it, the sink sucks. Okay, I want the other sink because it had a, a articulating head that I could pull down and, and clean my dishes easier with. You can't just degrade me like this. It's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write an email instead. So I, I looked up the email uh, to like f add a comment on the ticket. Welcome aboard Etal Air. And before I sat down to type it, I walked back over to the sink and I was like, wait a second, hold on. They threw all the stuff from the new sink in the garbage. So like, cause I like, I provided a, a garbage bag for them to dispose of all the, the old stuff. So I look in the garbage bag and the, the box for the new sink is in there. So I pull the box out and I look at it. I'm like, hmm, well, that's interesting. Let me just open the box and look for the instruction manual. So I grab the instruction manual out and I look at that. And on it says, pull down sink. I'm like, wait a second, what? Pull down sink. Hang on, that sounds like it should have some kind of hose that articulates. It's very weird. Maybe maybe they just thought it was too much trouble because that's the exact piece that was leaking before. Maybe they just disabled the pull down uh, segment because that was what was causing a problem and that's why the water was leaking in the first place. That makes sense, but still it sucks. I got, I got downgraded. So then I walk back over to the sink and I notice that there is a thin line around between the head and the actual stem of the sink. And as I pull on it, I exert about twice the weight of exertion that I did the first time I looked at it. And it comes down and it moves around and it has a tube and it's literally like better quality and build than my last sink. I was this close to sending a really angry email and calling and being like, you can't just downgrade my sink on me. I was this close, Chad. I was like fuming downstairs. And luckily I went and like looked in the trash can and it said, pull down sink. That would have been the most embarrassing phone conversation ever. Because they wouldn't, like the landlord wouldn't even know. They would just trust me implicitly. And then they would have called the plumbers who were just nice and just, you know, normal, good people. And uh, they would have called them and be like, hey, my tenant says that you, you didn't get the parts that we, we, hang on, we approved the better ones. And then it would have been a whole mess. It would have been a big stink. So I have, a, I have a good gamer sink and it's all fixed now is the end of that story. And I guess the moral is, okay, don't react too brashly. Take a moment, try to let things sink in and do some due diligence in making sure that you have a good reason to be angry, okay? That's the moral of this story. Don't be so quick to react. Sink in minus two. I'm just going to let that one stand on its own, okay? Anyway, welcome back uh, to the Encore for Plain Stream 2. <laughs> Good bedtime story. <laughs> Hope you guys uh, had a good sleep. I had to wake up earlier than I wanted for the aforementioned situation, but we are going to hop back in to where we're going to use channel points to request destinations. I had a second thought about that because it occurred to me that when when prompted, how many of you can delete 50,000 channel points on a whim? And I didn't think there was a system in place to limit the ability for people to make requests. So, uh, I'm gonna try something else instead. I'm gonna experiment a little bit with the channel points. Because I think there was a new feature that we might play with. Can't you limit the amount of redemptions? Yes, but there's no point in that. Because then it's just arbitrarily setting up a redemption when I could just say, someone delete 50,000 and tell me where they want to go. Instead of having to go through like, documentation. Because it, it would just be a who can do it first, no matter what. So it's pointless. It would be easier for me 
to roll the dice in chat. But anyway, I have another idea as the streamer. We're going to do like a community challenge. And you guys are basically going to vote with your points on where you want to go. So, I don't really know exactly how it's going to work, but we're going to set a goal. We're going to set one day max. I don't have an icon, um, but I don't know how we're going to get the first suggestion, but I'll create the challenge, and if it gets high enough, we'll go to that spot. And if it doesn't, then I will cancel it and start it over. But I don't, I don't think this is going to be as smooth as I'd like it to be. There's not a good answer to this, but... I want to do... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some real flights. We're going to do a meetup with chat. We're going to turn online on. And we're going to pick somewhere, hopefully somewhere cool. We're all going to fly together. We'll do like a race, something like that. Get everybody to set the, the right course. And we'll, we'll go from there. There's, there's going to be whatever we want to do. And that's what I've enjoyed so much about Flight Sim in particular is because... It's, it's just a sandbox. Like, whatever we want to do, we're just going to hang out and have fun. As I was saying, that's what I love so much about Simcopter, because he's it's, it's just a sandbox, you know? Whatever you want to do, he just wants to hang out and have fun, right? Hey, Simcopter. Welcome to the beginning of our plane stream encore. We're getting ready to go. Um... Hope you guys... I had a ton of fun yesterday, but those of you who weren't able to kind of stay up, I know that we were we started extremely late yesterday and went into the morning, so maybe you will be able to see a little bit more if you weren't able to kind of tune in when we we really opened up the throttle. So let's, let's get into it. Okay, we are back. We got uh, flex mode engaged. So we are online. Good to go. Fully lit. Uh, I tested everything again before starting to make sure that everything was going to function appropriately. And Feet Cam today features some different kicks. So we got uh, this is Team Scorpion, Team Wall Scorpion kicks ready to go. So, um, I looked up a little bit more information about this, and also you might remember yesterday, the pedals. I mentioned that there was a person online, I couldn't get these to work, and I told someone else online uh, to tell me in a thread if they got it working, and they told me to do the same. So I did do my due diligence, and I wrote a detailed guide on how to get these pedals functioning with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I hope they see it, and I hope it fixes their problem. So I am now the person who left the time capsule. If somebody searches T-Rudders, uh, from VKB, Microsoft Flight Sim, I will come up and I will have a response that will hopefully save somebody going through the same headache that I did, because it was a nightmare. Six hours. Three hours, about four, three to four hours the night before, and then two to three hours the day of. It was ridiculous. But now that it works, they're beautiful. Uh, I gotta do some more research. You might have noticed that this was insanely sensitive when we were, uh, steering. And there is a way to fully configure and customize the dead zone, but I, it's over my head. Like it's extremely complex, the software that you use for this for some reason. So if you are uh, not enthusiast, I would recommend getting different flight pedals. However, these do function flawlessly and they have extremely high end potential for learning curve and stuff. So I did not realize that when I bought them, but they're really well made. Rudders seem to be very sensitive in Flight Sim. Yeah, I have, like, they have proprietary software that you can use to customize the dead zone on this, so slight movements don't throw you off course. But anyway, Sim, I enjoyed what I got to see of your stream yesterday. Um, I wish I could have stayed for the entire first flight, but I had to, I had to pass out so I could let the plumbers in today. But I, I had a good time. Been He's been playing some uh, Flight Sim himself. Which is, it's not shout, Nightbot. Everyone yell all caps at Simcopter, please. Now, thank you. There we go. 
Okay, uh, let's start with... Where should we start? Glad you could stop by. We went from Honolulu to Hilo. Is it Hilo or Hilo? I actually don't know how to say that. But that's what I've been, also what I've enjoyed about this game is seeing all these different places in the world that I know nothing about. We went to Tokyo yesterday and uh, flew from... That was our last flight of the day. We went from Narita International to the coast and we flew along the beach and we set our own custom waypoints. Then we went to Tokyo Sky Tree. We went to the Shinjuku Nomura building and the International Gymnasium. We did not go to, these are two little airports it looks like. We went to the National Diet Building, which was really cool, government facility there. It inspired me to, I wanna like look up some more of this. I wish you could click on some of these and open a wiki page about them, that would be amazing. I would absolutely use that feature. And then we landed in Tokyo International. So really, really fun. We actually figured out how to get clearance from ATC manually. Uh, I think my AI still got clearance, but I, I kind of am starting to understand how to use the air traffic control comms. So we're going to practice some more of that today. And uh, we're still going to leave it on automatic, but we're going to fly some new planes. So let's go ahead and choose our plane first. This and Animal Crossing are the heroes of quarantine. I was going to say, this does have a lot of like s sentimental... Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but emotional similarity to Animal Crossing for me because it's just been such a pleasure uh, to be stuck in quarantine. Like, if I, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I would have already visited my parents out of state. They would have come to visit me. I would have gotten to see some of my extended family again by now. Would have, I would have definitely taken a trip to E3, like all that. So it feels very liberating and freeing to get to go to all of these locations that are far beyond my capabilities even if real life was perfectly quote-unquote normal and just get to kind of soar above that miasma of like being sedentary and stationary and just getting to see all these new sites and feel that kind of uh breath of wonder and being able to kind of go outside that norm so I, I feel like this and animal crossing are definitely going to be my top two games of the year that's a bit premature for me to say for this, since we've only streamed it once. Uh, also, I am financially compelled to put this in my top three games of the year. Otherwise, I will be made fun of for investing so heavily <laughs> into it. No, I'm just kidding. It really is that much fun. I put too much money into this for it not to be game of the year, okay? But yeah, we went, we went all in. Sometimes I just have a whim that I have to follow. I'm a, you've probably noticed by now, chat, that I am very much a creature of uh, not inspiration whim is the perfect word but very what's uh, flimsy impulse impulse thank you that's the word i'm looking for i am a very impulsive individual so if i see something and i'm like i have to do this i have to have that then i i'll find a way all right let me don my tiara because we are also playing uh let me show you over here we are also playing it's out of focus because autofocus is off so you can read some of this we're playing with my antenna, because I am a true Redditor. And uh, this is my tracking device. So we've got head movement tracking capabilities uh, with Track IR5. And I'm not at all ashamed of how it makes my head shape look from the side profile, okay? When I had, uh, when I was in first grade, I vividly remember this, okay? When I was in first grade, did you guys ever um, also do this where your teacher shone a light onto the wall? Okay, you had to stay at profile like this. And the teacher shone a light onto your face to project the shadow onto a wall and then traced the shape of your head for some reason. I don't know why we all did that. But my mother uh, loved it and thought it was amazing. And I, I remember this, this was like on the fridge for years, it feels like. It was somewhere on display. And I had, this is not a joke, out of the whole class, the largest head shadow. So I had to come to terms with the fact that I was uh, built differently from every, <laughs> everyone else around me from a very early age. <laughs> <laughs> and I have adapted. So you know what? It is 
when, when I was probably in middle school or high school, this would be very embarrassing, like to a point of crippling anxiety in middle school. But now it's just like, you know what? What? Do your worst, okay? What are you going to do? Okay, I've seen it all. I've been through it all. If you can survive Twitch chat, you can survive any social situation from that point on. You got to own it. Okay, I know. I know. Also, I just wanted to uh, to share this again since it was shared really late last night. Liuda Wang made a very, very nice piece of artwork uh, at the end of the stream yesterday, about yesterday's stream, and I just wanted to share that with you again because I didn't realize at the time, since it had been nine hours, exactly how many details uh, were built into this. So we've got... Let me go ahead and resize this. You know what? This would be a lot easier. Etal, are we there yet? Can... Ch shut up or I'm turning this plane around! I want you to take a look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in to like... This level, first of all, we've got... Um, the box, if you were here at the beginning of yesterday's stream, the box that chat is sitting on is the actual color and <laughs> make and model of the box that you all are mounted up on. I taped a box to my wall to put my webcam on because I didn't have um, a mount for you to be suspended by. I, I mentioned offhandedly that you would have a silly straw in the back that uh, went all the way up so that I could I could have a drink and sustain myself. Uh, Welcome aboard, Etal Air. Also, in this one, I noticed the Pop-Tart and the Biscuit the first time around. But what I didn't notice is, if you look really closely, there's RimWorld in the corner over the chair. So you got RimWorld over there. Midas is, of course, uh, sleeping... <laughs> down below uh and i didn't see that i was wearing the antenna which i now am flaunting <laughs> and also I, the jacket says gamer <laughs> on the back of it and i think there's a couple more details that i just haven't noticed yet but yeah very good <laughs> what a gamer <laughs> uh, thank you for making that by the way very, very well done. All right. Enough stalling. We can do plenty of stalling when we're airborne. You know what I mean? So, we're going to change aircraft. And should we just start... What should, what should we start with? We're going to be here for a while, so there's no rush. Uh, here are the things we're going to do tonight. Number one, we are absolutely going to try our first time with uh, the 787 Dreamliner. And then after that, we're going to bump it up to the 747-8 Intercontinental. So we're going to try both of those guaranteed tonight. So we can do these whenever, because they're going to happen. We don't have to start there. I really did want to fly the pit special yesterday, so I kind of want to start with this just to just to test it out. Uh, we flew about four different planes yesterday. Ooh, we have the Airbus A320 as well. I forgot that we there are three. So we could start with, with the Airbus first, then try the... Well, not first first. Welcome aboard, Etal What if we just did one, two, three, four? We don't have to choose all up front. I really just want to fly this thing. I think that this would be cool. But we tried like four planes all day yesterday, and each one felt so different. Are they going to add more planes in the future? Yeah, so that, that's kind of a complicated answer to your question. I'm sure Microsoft will. Microsoft has kind of got like the standard of quality right now, but you can you can buy planes individually on the third-party marketplace And they're gonna be more expensive than just buying the deluxe edition of the game They're like $15 a piece third party, but they are full simulated uh, Renders now the th the interesting thing about that is I'm kind of glad Microsoft did this you have to go to official content here So this is like they gave their stamp, but it's not necessarily by Microsoft they do let reviews show, so you get to see what people have said about it before you make purchases, so you're not necessarily buying blind. Because people yesterday were warning me, 
like stay away from was it the I don't remember there was something on this page that a couple people in chat were like don't buy X so yeah like the oh you can't see hang on that's because my uh, normal game cam button is disabled due to I have a special tab my bad uh, here let's, I'll show you again where it goes so if you go to marketplace then official content uh, it just shows up here so they range in price like this aircraft is Welcome 30 aboard, bucks Ital Air. Mr. Cabbage says Orcas is bad don't buy it but that's what I mean you can read reviews on these but I would honestly say that there's no reason for you uh, to even think about this because just worry about this stuff down here. Get If you're really interested, get the game pass. It's like a dollar to start with. Check it out. If you really like it, maybe buy the game so that you don't have to pay a subscription. If you really like that, you can do separate upgrades to premium and premium deluxe. And this is where you're going to get the best value. Because each tier of this gives you another um, five planes, five custom designed airports baked in. And I did say some incorrect information yesterday um, about the base game. So I want to correct that now. Because I think I said that it comes with 20 airplanes and 20 airports. That's not true. Uh, I got confused. It actually comes with 30 airplanes in the base game. So that's, that's, that's a ton, dude. We spent 10 hours yesterday only flying four planes. And I still have no idea how to fly those correctly. So that, that's like way more than enough. I would not worry about buying extra planes right now. Let me let me double check and confirm that. No, 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 it's the other way around. Other way around. 20 planes, 30 airports. Okay, God, I have, I have to get that down right. I'm trying to correct my information. It's 30 airports, 20 planes, it should, which is still more than enough. If, if it takes us 10 hours, the same ratio then that's 50 hours of just cursory gameplay all right no more stalling i've corrected it 20 planes 30 airports base game each expansion adds five and five you sit on a throne of lies <laughs> he won't stop lying to us i don't know what to believe okay let's fly let's fly the one that i want to fly first let's go I want to set the record straight. I got to correct myself. Here's a... Uh, well... Also in the Discord, I linked a, a graphics tweaking setting thing if you're curious. Let's uh, let's just pick... Let's just get a, like, a, like a first short flight. Uh, I'm going to pick somewhere that is live, weather live time. I kind of do want to see... I know we did some uh, Vegas yesterday. Uh, why don't we go check out Denver? Denver is one of the, the handcrafted airports. Howdy, chat. What's up, Ace Tech? Everybody else just popping in. This is one of the nice ones. Let's go Denver to... How far is that? Is that actually 21 minutes? USAF? Is that an Air Force base? That might be cool. Kelly Air Park. Centennial Buckley. Is Buckley a uh, Air Force base? That's the Air Force College. Buckley sounds like an Air Force base. Don't they have a lot of Air Force bases down here? There's Boulder, so that's where we, we were flying around yesterday. Rocky Mountain Metropolitan sounds pretty interesting. All right, which of these would be the coolest Air Force base to fly into? That might be fun. Uh, this might... This isn't too long of a flight. I'm really not buying the 21 minutes. It's only 54 nautical miles, though. 54 nautical miles is not bad. That's that seems like a good one. Let's try this one. Let's go to the let's go to the Air Force Academy. The Academy is sick. All right, let's check it out then. Should we fly from Academy to Denver or Denver to Academy? Let's 
And should we have any uh, POI stops? Because there is Colorado Springs below USAF. And we got Denver itself. We could fly over Denver. To the Academy. All right, well, why don't we just uh, click on this and then add that as a spot. And then maybe add Colorado Springs. Okay, this is going to extend it to about a half hour, but that's fine. We're going to be here for a while. Let's fly, baby. Let's go. Will there be an in-flight movie? It'll be on your screen for your viewing monitors. Hello, Italian chat. Where are we going today? We're starting in Denver. I think that'll be a fun short flight just to kind of warm us up. Talks, what's the coolest place you've seen so far? Um, just biased. I think a lot of people who play this game will say the same. Where you live, like looking through Vegas last night, even though the strip was super janky and messed up, um, I do hope that in the future they go through and clean up some of the like major areas in each zone. It was still, there was enough recognizable and the, the cityscape and the profile looked very realistic as well as like the surrounding um, mountains and desert that it just felt like, it felt like I was actually flying over at certain points. Nighttime and day just looked phenomenal. So I really just liked flying over Vegas. Tokyo was really cool. I really like the real-time weather, real-time um, real uh, cloud formations and daylight. The sunset was so cool. It really was. So this is a one-to-one -one Earth recreation. Yeah. It's created with Bing satellite mapping tech. So it's got some areas that are extremely detailed and some areas that are goofy and muddy. But I am totally willing to forgive that. Uh, yeah, it has some AI generation. But some of it is extremely impressive. Most of it, I would say. But they got time to refine or take other, you know, photos and stuff. Denver Tower pits out so Sierra certain airports Sierra like Denver Sierra are hyper detailed and super realistic. So, hang on, let's get this correct. Like I said, there are 30 of those in the base game. What's up, Nomac? How's it going? Golf, Ready to fly, Cap. Uh, Chad, I was just stalling so that people who were late to the stream... Honestly, the most exciting part of Flight Simulator, and anybody that plays this will know, it's being on the runway... Hey, oh. I gotta start remembering to do this. He's stalling. It's okay. I want a taxi. I want to do, like, a real flight. The most exciting part of Flight Sim is uh, takeoff and landing. So, you know, I just wanted more people to be able to get in here and check out this cool new plane while we explore the, cock the cockpit and get permission from ATC and get pushback and figure out where all the little buttons turn on, engage the, the engine, get that rolling. Have you been outside the U.S.? Yeah, we went to uh, Tokyo yesterday. It was really cool. We'll go to a bunch more places today. All right, let's do this one more time, but better. Luckily, it remembers where you are on the map. Okay, so we're going to start. Let's zoom all the way into Denver. And we can choose what parking, what gate we want to be at. A lot of runways here. Uh, so we are going to go... Let's go somewhere that's like on one of the edges here. Let's go B14. It's going to be our departure gate. And then we can go ahead and set up the route that we want to take. There's... Boulder City, we're going to head to Denver. Actually, we're going to go to USAF first as our rival. Then fly over Denver, fly to Colorado Springs, and then loop back around. So I can set... Can I set parking as an arrival? How many Boulder cities are there in the U.S.? That's a good question. I have no idea. Because that would be more detailed, right? Let's go to, uh, let's go somewhere like buried a little bit. Oh, it resets. That's fine. I only had two. I only had two hotspots, so it's all good. Okay, try again. Hello, she's the worst. Sorry, I'm late for our flight chat. I was getting a smoothie in Concourse A. That's okay. The plane is is perpetually delayed. <laughs> Thank you for the beginning of stream subs. Xenophanes, it says Captain Etal's time flies. It seems 
Time flies, it seems, and so we will all hopefully together. I don't know what... That, that That's very nice, Zena Faints. Thank you for your kind words, and appreciate the 18 months. Mr. High says, co-pilot Midas should be promoted to pilot. We demand Midas flying the planes. Midas uh, is not to be trusted. We'll move over to the right so you can see a little bit more of the elements on the dash. Mizrahai, thank you again for the 13. Uh, GG Dub says, thanks, Captain Etal, for 39 months. 39 months! And then also a second prime. Welcome aboard, Etal Air. <laughs> Good timing. Jung Choi 2012, thank you for your second month. And Kare, thank you for gifting a sub to Value Shaz DF. Hello and welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Talks will be served anything other than noodles and mayonnaise in this flight. The noodles will come, uh, uncooked. Crunchy. Look, <laughs> look how little this plane is. <laughs> okay. I gotta be able to see what's going on here. Let's go, baby. This is the... Guy doesn't even fly. He just gets ready to fly the entire stream. This is a beautiful plane, though. Uh-oh. Wait for it. Welcome aboard, Etal Air. There we go. Okay. I had to I had to calibrate my track IR. So look at this baby. Alright. We got um I like the, the dash quite a bit. Looks like altimeter on the left, airspeed. Acceleration, which I'm assuming is, well, here's RPM over here on the right. Then we got oil gauge, press. I don't know how to interpret that. We got fuel gauges over here. Uh, design maneuver speed, 154 miles an hour. Demonstrated crosswind velocity, 20 miles an hour. I'm sure that's important if you understand what this is all about. We got some inoperable buttons down here. Smoke system. There's um, the magneto. Boost pumps. Circuit breakers. Fuel lines. Propeller RPM control. Cow flaps. This looks like a stunt plane. Mixture's at 100% right now. By default. I don't know exactly where we want to start with that. I might need, um... We might need to turn some... <laughs> I went a, okay, I went a little uh, overboard when it comes to changing some settings. So if you guys get any, like, noticeable bad frame issues, I will be happy to restart after this flight. It's probably gonna be a little busier. I think the main thing I shouldn't have done, I turned, uh, AI planes off of generic models onto real models, and I think that's gonna have some impact. But this is... Let's take a look at the outside, shall we? Uh, let's actually go... Oh, yeah. How do you go up and down in dynamic cam? This game is so pretty, it is. It's just really fun to look at. How do I change my call sign, Ike? I have no idea. Does anyone know the hotkey to uh, go up and down? I know how to do sideways. I know how to zoom. You pull or push the stick? No. Not. <laughs> that's when you're actually flying. <laughs> uh, debated. Alright, so control one, two, three, four. We got different elements that we can look at. I don't remember how to set your own custom. Um, your own custom seat, because you can change your position inside the plane as well. Not much room in here, though. Not much headroom. 
Wow. Look at look at that little bubble. I if I hit a little bit of turbulence, I'm gonna bash my skull into the safety glass. This is like uh, uh chat, you know those like wildlife exhibits where you go underground and you pop your head up into the glass and you see the animals in their natural habitat? That's what it feels like. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, so step one. Am I gonna be... Hang on. Let's actually do something real quick. We're not gonna restart, don't worry. I'm just gonna turn ATC to full manual. Which I think is... Something that we could learn today. I think that's gonna be navigation aid... Or is it just piloting? Welcome aboard, e Air. There it is. Delegate ATC to AI. Uh, I want to try turning that off and seeing how challenging that is. Because if I, if you go up here, no, not AI control. Which one of you? This is ATC. Okay, so we actually physically can't talk to them yet. <laughs> uh, someone just handed me a plane ticket. <laughs> this is the subway. Oh, chat, you thought you were on the plane stream. You thought you were going to fly. We're not going anywhere. This is a totally different experience. Okay, I want to see my checklist. There we go. Starting procedure. Brakes, test, and set. Okay, well, guess what? I actually have no foot brakes, so this is going to be... Chat, what's the actual break keyboard hotkey? Because this, I don't have toe brakes on this particular uh, rudder. So this, I'm not hitting the brakes, I'm just hitting the rudder. Keep the wheel down and just, oh wait, hang on, hang on. What do, I think I bound them to this. There we go. Okay, so we have brakes uh, mounted to our hand. I, want, I really want to get toe brakes in, but we can go ahead and say... Brakes, push both pedals down and hold them. Can you check these off? Cold engine start. Mixture rich. Okay, so we're going to bump up... Uh, we're going to push this all the way in for a 100% fuel mixture. Propeller should be high RPM. Which I have no idea. You scroll wheel? There's probably a better way to do that, but we can go high RPM. I don't know how to undo that. There's probably a hotkey. Uh, throttle will be a quarter open. Roughly a quarter. Uh, master switch needs to be on. Is that this? Or no? No. Okay. I keep... It's only for jets. Then, we got fuel boost pump on two to three seconds a max. Chat... Wait. Two to three seconds max? Two, three... Mixture idle cutoff. Like, pull that. You probably have to do these at the same time. Starter switch on. You probably have to do this simultaneously. Because, see, that's just chugging. Hmm. Let's try... Okay, so this is a cold engine start. That's exactly where we are. So we have to go... Mixture rich. Propellers currently at high RPM. Okay. 
throttle is a quarter open. Okay, then we have to do fuel boost pump, three seconds, idle cutoff, which is just bring this all the way down. One, two, three. Will this be on the exam? Find a new original comment. Chat. You can turn off checklist AI help and then you can check mark everything yourself. Well, here's what I can do. If you can't figure it out, you can actually just push auto complete. Listen, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Not Microsoft uh, hand chat the fake controller and tell them that they're playing, okay? Step it up. Surely the engine can't run with mixture in cutoff. Well, that time I didn't cut it off until afterward. But yeah. I'm curious why this is... Um, the mixture sh says it goes to idle cutoff after this. So let's try this again. Basically, we're going to go rich mixture... I didn't... I didn't do anything yet. We're gonna go off position, rich fuel mixture, um... Master... This switch needs to be on. Okay, that's already on. Fuel boost pump. One, two, three. Two to three seconds max. I might have, like, flooded the engine or something. What does this mean? Set the boost pump to on temporarily. Oil pressure check. So we have to get oil pressure into the green. Rich when engine starts. Let's just auto-complete this. I want to see, uh, I want to see how it does it. Fuel boost pump. On two to three SEC max. Yep. Then mixture, idle cutoff. Mixture. Idle cutoff. Starter switch. On start. I'm when engine starts. Yeah, I don't think you're doing what you think you're doing, game. I think it all has... Yeah, so you get the oil pressure and the co-pilot's like, uh, that isn't right. Yeah, it's at zero. He's like, I don't know how to start this thing either. <laughs> I have to do it all at the same time, streamer. You can't, I can't just do one at a time. Alright, hold on, hold on. We can do this. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do auto-complete that whole segment and I'm gonna watch and I wanna see what he does. Cause I think this plane's so cool, I really wanna know how to do this ma myself manually. This is a good learning experience. Flight delayed 24 hours. That's all right. But um, obviously, if you want, you could just pick one plane and stick with it. However, I am not a very focused individual, and I just want to sample every single chocolate in the box. Maybe I don't know how to fly a plane. Who gave me access to this thing anyways? Did you see my previous comment how to change your call sign and tail numbers? No, but I'll do that later. I got larger fish to fry right now. Such as getting this thing off the ground. But honestly, I love this. Because this is like a puzzle box before you get up in the air. Because guess what? 
I know chat chat would find a reason to complain about anything. Either he can't he's still on the ground, he's uh still in the air, he's not landing like whether I'm flying in a straight line or on the ground trying to figure out how to turn it on, you'll find a reason to complain about something. But yes, Denver is beautiful, isn't it, Sim? We'll get to see a little bit more of it. This plane changed color to banana. Good banana. All right, so we're going to let the AI just auto-complete this page. That was like you did that in a half second. How am I supposed to hit all that in a half second, dude? Okay, well, they proved that it was possible to do it the way they're telling me to do it. He's experienced. <laughs> it's gotta be the best pilot I've ever seen. The nice thing about reloading is uh, it probably doesn't have to reset. Notice how it starts like 90% loaded. <laughs> like I haven't moved, so the airport's probably fine. They're just resetting the plane. Now you try. All right, I'm gonna try. Because visually, this is my favorite plane. So I'm more interested than uh, some of the others in trying to figure out. I just, listen, I see bright red strawberry. It's not strawberry, it's more like cherry. Timing is only in the fuel pump and ignition. The rest can be as slow as you like. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I don't know how to quickly turn the ignition from off position because you have to mouse wheel over four separate other settings. How can I quickly turn the key? There's probably a hot key that you can bind. Put more spoilers and stripes on it to go fast. Okay, let's let it load in here. Starting procedure. Okay, I will test the brakes again. Uh, fuel selector is on. I think. Let's reset the cam. Control space. Shut off fuel. Okay, hang on, I need to look at this. So, it wants fuel selector on. That's on main fuel right now. Okay, I just wanted to confirm, visually. Cold engine start, mixture, rich. Okay, we're gonna hit, uh, hit that. I need to recenter my track IR. There we go, so I can look down easier. Okay. Propeller, high RPM. Okay, you can click and drag, so that's way easier. Maybe I can just click and drag the key all the way around. So then we want the throttle one quarter open. Right there. Uh, master switch on. That's this. Okay. Then fuel boost pump. This is the part that I get confused on. Idle cutoff. Chat, that means slam it all the way to idle, right? That's cut the fuel. Cut the fuel mixture to zero, correct? Then go on. Do you wait three seconds for the fuel boost pump, then do this, or do you hold this on for three seconds max while doing this? So like, you have two to three seconds to idle cut off start switch. I asked two questions. <laughs> we'll be taking off shortly, chat. Please consume peanuts and popcorn. No more peanuts, Karatopi. People are allergic. Uh, pretzels... Pretzels for a reason. I guess no one's allergic to pretzels. Yes to both. Oh, look at that sun glare. Okay. Let's try doing this during the three seconds, because he did it really fast. So this is a timer. So we have to hit this. I have to go mixture idle cutoff. Then I have to hit the key all the way to the start position in three seconds. 
I, I need a hotkey for this, man. Can you just hit Control E? I could just hit Control E, right? Your stream yesterday convinced me to buy a Hotas for this game. Thank you in advance. All right, ready? Three, two, one, one, two. Turn that off! I did it! All right, that was not three seconds max. I don't know what happens if you go above three seconds. Ah, we're flying! Uh, parky break. Hit somebody hit the parky break. Why are we going? I'm just moving around the airport. Okay. Uh, yeah. Throttle. I gotta throttle down. Throttle down. Hit the brakes. Woo! All right, we. <laughs> Calm. I don't think this has parking brakes. There is not a parking brake on this. <sighs> it's fill pump for three seconds worth of fuel, then start ignition. I did it at the same time, and it worked that way. Because you have to idle cut off the richness before you start it. Anyway, uh, we are not where we're supposed to be, so I guess we won't be requesting... Well, we might request pushback. I guess we don't need to. We're tiny plane. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's good, chat. We're learning, and we're we're getting better. So let's... Uh, it says rich when engine starts. Okay, so we'll go rich mixture. Check. Was I supposed to do that, uh, faster, or... Okay, let me turn the volume up a little. Let's try this again. I think the idea is you have rich mixture while the pump is running, then go lean to start the engine, and back to rich again once it starts. Too rich. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> alright, alright. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're getting this down. Master switch. Master switch on. Fuel boost. Two to three seconds. Idle cutoff. Starter switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. So whenever I go back to, like, they was spinning, whenever I go back to Rich, when engine starts, it kills it. Because, like, it spins up, then I move, I forgot to turn this back down. Are you even pressing the right button? You are crazy, yeah. Alright. One, two, wait, hang on. Full mixture. One, two, three... Throttle up. Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. Here. Give me one more chance. I'm determined. I'm determined. Yeah, I needed to throttle up. This is going to be the one. Making progress. Chargot, thank you for gifting us up. The Nightbot, by the way. Wazer Wifel with the uh, airplane in the chat. And Clayman Games is back. Thank you for the 37 months. Much appreciated. We can watch an IRL tutorial. What if I told you that this is an IRL tutorial? Yeah. <laughs> 
I actually love that it's this detailed. This is like, um... I want to get to the point where I can manually start a plane. It, we, we are basically in... We just chose a new character for Smash or Mortal Kombat, and I am trying to learn the combos right now. All right, brakes. Brakes are working. Wake me up when he figures it out. I mean, you could just leave. That way you're not taking up a seat on this plane. If you wanted. The door is open. <laughs> Streamer gaslights himself into enjoying his own failure to fly in flying game. Imagine if this was real, though, and then some of you guys were in the back of the real plane. Like, if your pilot was in the front, and he's like, yeah, I don't even know how to turn on the engine. And you're like, ah, oh, he's still on the ground. Get this thing up in the sky, all right? I know you can't even figure out how to turn it on, but you're clearly just wasting time. You're qualified to turn this. I mean, how hard is it to fly a plane? All you got to do is this. I could do that. Wouldn't go over so well. <laughs> Literally going insane in the cabin at this point. <laughs> it's all the journey. If this wasn't difficult, this game wouldn't be worth buying. In my opinion. Like, you, I mean, sure, you could still fly and look at the pretty graphics. But, like, if, if, if a game called Flight Simulator didn't have a challenging and realistic simulation, then it would be misnamed and mislabeled. You know? This is why I bought it. Uh, if... If I didn't want to do all this stuff, I wouldn't have invested so much of my own resources into it. So this is exactly what I expected. All right, we tested the brakes. I got to I got to get used to checking the fuel selector cuz this is a weird. Okay, it's definitely in the main tank position. Mixture rich, propeller high RPM. Okay, throttle quarter open. Try not to fly into anything this time. Master switch. On. Let me see if I can... It's like this one, right? Battery... It's battery master, correct? I, I was right. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. See, I'm already learning where buttons are. Uh, fuel boost pump on 2 to 3 seconds max. Then idle cutoff. Then starter switch on. Okay. Fuel boost pump. 2 to 3 seconds max. 1. Two, three, idle cut off. What? Screwed it. I screwed it up. All right. I, I tried clicking and it doesn't click. You have to mouse wheel. All right. Throttle's still up. One, two, three. So do you have to do it while this is running? I did it once. This is like playing Bop It on expert mode. <laughs> it really is. All right. Two to three seconds max. Idle cut off. How, what am I missing? You have to set the mixture to rich while cranking. No, you have to set it to cut off while cranking. It says idle cut off. Then when the engine starts, which means the propeller would be moving, right? Do you just do you just do this? Starter switch on? Okay, so it has to be rich at the beginning. One, two. I tried doing it your way. Idle is for throttle. No, it says mixture. It doesn't s mixture. Idle cut off. 
throttle quarter open. It would say throttle if it meant the throttle. Does this pilot know we can hear him? Flip it, bop it, twist it, crank it. I've only ever started a lawnmower. Honestly, I've had lawnmowers that are uh, harder to start than this. True story. That's why I started uh, hiring people back when I had to mow. Also, there was snakes in my backyard because I lived next to a lake. And it was like horse grazing pasture. And the, the, it only took like one time to run over a dead snake in my yard. And I was like, uh, no thank you. Someone else can do that. That was a long time ago, though. Idle cutoff sets the fuel air mixture for flight idle. That didn't. That those are just words <laughs> that you combined. <laughs> All right, just because chat told me to do it, I'll do it. We're gonna go rich. See, why would it tell me to make the in the mixture rich when the engine starts if at the beginning it already told me mixture rich? There be this would be redundant. This is not talking about the throttle, otherwise this wouldn't exist. Let's start this in the off position. One, two, three. Alright, I tried setting it to rich while the engine was starting and that's not it. When the engine starts, let's wait for it to start. We go one, two, three. All right, we're going to watch the AI again. Okay, well, he... He did it easily enough. I think he had to wait the full three seconds for this, then do everything else. Okay, so... Rich... One... Two, three. Then I have to pump it back to rich, I think. Okay, because I saw that. That's actually moving. One. Whoops. One. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Throttle. To a quarter. Rich mixture. One, two, three. I didn't do it fast enough. <gasps> I did it! I did it! All right, we're in, I think. I don't think that was a cold start. That was probably a hot engine start, maybe. But we did it. All right, now I want to duplicate my success. So let's, uh, let's do a hard reset on this. Whoops. Okay, I just want to make sure this, this same system works. Throttle is up. You go rich mixture here. Then you go one, two, three, cut, cut, on. Pump it back to rich, and we're in. All right, I understand. I can now repeat this process. It was not a fluke. We did it two times in a row successfully. Let's throttle down to idle. That may be what causes this... Okay, I figured it out. So if you if you take the throttle down, it actually stalls. See, that's why you have to keep this on 25%, which is just enough to keep um, the propeller actually running. Got it. So we go one, two, three, off, off, start, pump it. All right, look at that. Look at that. Success. See, this is why we struggle for, like, half an hour plus. Because now I get it. I understand how that all works together now. So I didn't check, um, the oil pressure, which is good. Very much in the green there, right down the middle. And then the alternator field switch should be on. Not in the off position. Okay, so we didn't flip that ourselves. We might have to uh, to try that our ourselves afterward. All right, next. Before takeoff, avionics master switch should be on before takeoff. So we can we should be able to fly on the ground without any problem. Let's open up uh, ATC. 
And uh, let's go ahead and tune into Denver Ground. And A ATIS request taxi to depart. Dude, I don't know what direction. Of course, M is not the map. This there's probably that's probably bound to like um, something insane. We'd like I'd like to depart. Chat, where are my add-ons? This is not our flight path. Didn't I set some add-ons? We did, yeah. Timed? Time descent? Do uh, spots that you add show up on the VFR map or no? VFR map is bound to V. Well, okay. That's good to know later. But I need to figure out how to get to my other... My other spots. Because we're going to Denver, but I thought I set up two extra locales. It's possible that when I clicked restart from escape... All right, let's just do this real quick. I know you're going to groan. I don't care. Just get over it. <laughs> I don't care. I'll reload. Because the whole reason we're doing this is to fly over Denver and uh, to fly over Colorado Springs. So if I can't find those, we're going to waste a lot more time just in the air, not sure where we're going. Deal with it. I know how to start the plane now. And honestly, that is a victory. Hello, banana. There was a banana plane right next to me a second ago. Uh, channel point questions. S. Duffy, though, says, Italic, would you ever fly a real plane if you could afford one? Absolutely not. I'm too afraid. I wouldn't do it. Okay. Oop. Hang on. We are departing from... Gate B... F let's, let's, let's depart from B-26. We are going to head to, uh... USAF Academy. We're gonna go to fly over Denver. And then we're gonna fly over Colorado Springs. And we're gonna taxi into... 38. Oh, crap. I had to do that first. I mod and serve pretzels and popcorn. Thank you, Kyrie Toby. Come on, Spinos. Can we... Can we be, like, professional pilots here? Fly into the Yellowstone geysers. I'd actually like to see Yellowstone. All chat, please be aware your flight has been delayed by half an hour. Please direct all complaints to our complaint department at do not care underscore between each word at italics dot one. <laughs> one hour long tutorial stream. I got news for you. This could be an eight to ten hour long tutorial stream. You know why? Because, first of all, uh, the reason, if you think learning is not fun, that's why you have to go back to school longer than you should, okay? So if you just go ahead and, and come to terms with the idea that learning is fun, maybe you can be done with it, like I am. And then you can choose to learn on your own time, like I do, right now. Instead of make let other people tell you when you have to or don't. Doesn't mean it's fun to watch. The stream will be fun to watch when you have something fun to read or say. So we might be here for a while to edit. Entertain me. You're in my chat. Not even a sub hasn't paid me a dime demanding entertainment. Do you see how much money I have invested into your entertainment? Listen, it cost just as much to leave as it did to arrive from Etal Air. 
absolutely nothing. Someone tell a joke for the streamer, please. <sighs> Chad, when you say something funny, I will take off. He's crying, Ito. Well, if you can't take the heat, then why are you in Las Vegas stream? It is today. Um, 110 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Alright, ATC, I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just sitting here waiting for takeoff. Why is the pilot yelling at us? Well, some people have nothing better to do today than uh, try and make other people have less fun. And I am not going to let some rando on the internet take away from, for me, what is probably a top two game of the year experience. You don't have to agree with me, but you also don't have to say anything. I'm going to go all Thanos on you. I don't even know who you are. Like it or get the ejector seat. Those are your two options. All right, so I think we still have to, like, manually input this. My navlog does not have any updated information on my waypoints. I'm going to try and just follow these. Well, that's Denver. That is Denver. But that's 16.4 nautical miles. Okay, actually, I think this is right. I think this is right. We just follow this heading first. Uh, so I think we will need to use the navlog for this. Welcome aboard Etal Air. <laughs> And let's get going, now that I know how to start this plane. Okay, we'll get the map open when we actually need it. I need air traffic control on board. Uh, this is this window is going to be in the way a little bit, but this... Here's the problem. Like, this overlay kind of comes up, so you can't have anything... Well, now the overlay's... Oh, hang on. Can you avoid it by not touching the line? No. How do you avoid activating... Fine, you can just... We'll, we'll, we'll open the nav log in a moment. All right, let's just get ATC up. All right, here we go. Checklist time. Let's do it for real. I know what to do. We're testing brakes. Fuel selector is in the on position. We got engine currently on a rich mixture. Propeller is going to high RPM. Throttle is one quarter open. Welcome aboard, Etal Air. Okay. And master switch. All right, I know. I knew where that was. I didn't need to highlight it. Uh, master switch on. Fuel boost pump. This is this is the tough part. On two to three seconds max. Then mixture cutoff. Then um, start the engine. One, two, three. Cut, cut, on. Boost it. I said this was repeatable. Did I not just say this was repeatable? Alternator doesn't come on until uh, oil pressure. Check. So we this is not timed. It's just one, two, three, flip, flip. One. <clears throat> one, two, three. What did I miss? What did I miss? I'm doing everything the same way. One, two. Boost 
boost pump on for three seconds, then look at the propeller, start the ignition, and once it starts spinning, push mixture full rich. That's what I did. See? Did we check the fuel tank switch? Yeah, it starts to on. How could I do this the first time? Doesn't the second switch from the left need to be up to? No, that's the alternator, which is the last step. Uh, this is fuel tank on main. It's got throttle. It's got RPM control at 100. Yeah, the AI turned that switch on at the end. Not, not in this stage. One, two, three... It's, it's this final um, fuel rich that's not kicking in the way it's supposed to. The small side of the fuel selector is what it's indicating to, not the big side. Well, well I can't see. So hang on, you're telling me the, the little, that little arrow, not this? Is that what you're saying? Is the tiny little white arrow that indicates? But then wouldn't the bottom one be revealed as well? The little part on the knob. Because this says... Shut off fuel. Select main fuel tank. Wait, this side? Is it this little arrow? Not so not this, this. This is main fuel now. Okay, well I just didn't know how to read <laughs> I didn't understand how to read. You gotta look at the shorthand. Alright, well that should just work instantaneously. No wonder I couldn't solve this. I had fuel off the entire time. Alright, one, two, three. Oh wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. It has to be rich. One, two, three, off. Yeah, there you go! All right, turns right on! Works like a charm! Turns out having fuel is conducive to flying airplanes! But you know what? I don't care if it took an hour to learn that this is how you tell if the fuel tank's turned on, because if I want to know how to fly a plane, I need to know how to give it fuel. All right, that was, that was just a hard lesson that we had to learn. Turns out, needs gas. All right, for the rest, uh, then we can do everything else. That, that I was doing everything right except for that. So I, I thought that my timing was off or something. That's ridiculous. Something tiny. Now we know. Okay, mixture back to idle. Check, check, check. Oil pressure is right there in the green. Uh, alternator field switch needs to go on now. Okay. Then we can just go. That's pretty much it. Then we just need this before takeoff. Avionics master switch, which is that one. We just need to do that before we roll out. Okay. So let's go to ATC. We're going to tune in to um, request a taxi to depart from the west. Denver ground pits Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra with India request taxi to the active west departure. Pits Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra taxi to and hold short of runway 26 by attacks away Bravo Sierra Kilo Bravo November Mike. You get all that chat? Okay, so we should have a uh, a course now. Yeah, we do. Is there a break? There is no break on this. Do we need pushback? I think we can turn it. Why isn't- where are we going? Pits X-ray Golf Sierra, acknowledge last transmission. Taxi to and hold short runway 26 via taxiway Bravo Sierra Kilo Bravo November Mike Niner Lima Zulu November Echo Echo Romeo Niner Romeo Romeo 1 Pits X-ray Golf Sierra. Oh god. 
Let's try to avoid clipping the ground crew with our propellers, shall we? That's- this is a very dangerous, no pushback, just a propeller kind of buzzing the- the people on the ground here. How are you supposed to see where you're going in this thing? Flaps are not existed on this plane. Okay. Didn't think so. How we... Chat, do you just have to guess? I'm in a tube! Worse vision than a truck right now. Well, when it starts flying, it'll level out. Just take off from right here. You could, yeah. You could ask a ground service to do something, I don't know. Maybe you could- I think if you were in this kind of plane, realistically, you would probably actually have, like, a truck. Uh, come guide you. I honestly think that somebody would be, like, over there, like, directing you forward. Because if you took off from this airport... Alright, so we kind of just have to... Sw I can see, luckily, the, uh, the taxi directions on the ground. Might need to turn some graphics settings down after this. Uh, also, we're in Denver Airport, which is just going to be... I think it's just going to have more graphical fidelity than all the other ones. That's probably part of the reason why. Chat, my takeoff is... 2.5 nautical miles away from where we are at this moment. This is going to be an insane taxi. I forgot Denver is going to be... Yeah, Denver is gargantuan. I see that now, yes. But let's take in some of the some of the sights. If we can. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. I'm not going to be... I mean, I'm, I want to be dedicated to realism, but also... Listen, hey, big guys, this doesn't, uh, normally happen. Uh, I swear that this is just a fluke. Um, stalled my plane. <laughs> I'm not even flying right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me fix real quick. I just gotta change a flat. Okay, I remember how to do this. Watch this, okay? It's gonna be... One, two... Easy. As I was saying. All right. Anyway, we're going back on. Uh, it's all good, guys. It's all good. I got it taken care of. Thank you, though, for your concern. I'm just going to get on out of your hair right now. Just going to fly past this little jet. And let's take, let's take a little look around. Oh, the sun. Very clear sky today. Nice and blue. Should be, uh... What time is it in Denver right now? Chat, what uh, time zone's Denver in? That's a dumb question. But it's not necessarily a dumb question. It's easier to at... Oh! <laughs> Chat, chill! Alright, this plane doesn't have really wide bearing. Also, traffic, please yield to me. <laughs> Sick drift, dude. It's 7.34. Is it now? Wait, it can't be... S oh, yeah, it's mountain time. Okay, so mountain time. That's why I was asking, because I wasn't sure where the cutoff was. Because I know Arizona's out here, like, daylight savings. What is that? Chat, does anyone else not remember when we are on daylight savings or when we are off daylight savings? All you know is that daylight savings sucks. Like, I, I can remember which one we are going to be on spring forward fall back like i get that i understand how to tell if we're going to gain an hour or lose an hour but like whether dst or or um whatever standard time it's either daylight savings time or standard time correct really nice airport though everything's like much more clearly marked and just seems more put together than uh, the AI Vegas one. Okay, you can't really see. Let's look. Let's... Ooh, 
god. We might be veering off course a little bit here. We got a big runway, dude. I got a huge... I got a huge amount of space for this little plane. Uh-oh. Service is terminated. Let me just pull off to the side here. I feel like I'm fighting a Dark Souls boss right now. And we just got him to second phase. Okay? Once I get to take off, that's phase three. That's the real deal. I already I already figured out how to solve phase one. You just have to listen to the ATC. Incorrect. You have to respond to the ATC. The problem was I only listen. See if I if I listen to chat when you say incorrect information like that, then I would continue to fail. Hang on. Omar, let me take a couple... Let me take a little look at your chat history here. Flying Waiting Room, Resident Sleeper. Welcome to Flightless Flight Sim Stream, Resident Sleeper. Not even looking where he's going, Omega Lull. Uh, stalling, clap. Finally gonna fly, feels amazing, man. I have to sleep in two and a half hours. Let me guess, are you a Germa sub? Because all you do is complain. It's literally everyone here. <laughs> Listen, Germa deserves nicer people, all right? So I hope that in your stay here, we can cut a little of that edge, and then I can send him back to you, and you can encourage him, say nice things, and uplift him instead of trying to take him down. This is the Italics Reformation Project, okay? We take in all refugees, and we're trying to psychologically and emotionally stimulate you. So that when you return for the next stream, whenever his next stream is, he's going to look at your chat comment and say, Wow, I'm really glad Omar is here. Because really just uplifting my spirit today and making me feel inspired to keep creating fantastic content for them. <laughs> Re-education camp. <laughs> yeah, okay, Mr. High Horse. Mr. High Horse. You don't... How long have you been here? 11 months sub? Hmm? You already know that uh, I'm not on the high horse, okay? I am on the high horse on top of the mountain. I bet you're sub to Germ Italics. Listen, okay? I get it honest. I don't even... It's probably been, uh, like, going on 50 months. <laughs> so I've got some pretty good training. Okay? I've got, like, 50 months under me belt. Don't make fun. Wait, are we judging E-Town? Just got my headphones in. Yes, I am the high horse. That's true. All right, chat, watch this. We're going to do this blind, okay? This is where all of our training has paid off. Turn fuel switch pump on. No, no, no. Nope. Shh. It is battery master first. This is... When did avionics turn on? No, that's before takeoff. Okay, before takeoff. So it should be Battery Master? First of all, check... Check brakes. Okay. What was the second check you're supposed to do? Okay, RPM throttle. No, I'm trying to do this with no instructions. We're supposed to throttle control up to 25%? Battery Master should just be on. 
Okay, now we have comms. We're going to tune in... Um, ATIS, air traffic. I don't know what IS stands for. We'll, we'll wait to request anything else until we go further. All right, then we're going to grab... I think we just were ready for the uh, fuel pump. Oh, no, we're not. Don't tell me, chat. I got this. It's pointing to on position. Uh, I'm not going to fall. I'm not even looking at chat, so you can't accuse me of cheating. One, two, three, off, down, on, engage. Done. First try. Okay. We're there. We're in. Without looking. See? That's the important part. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and request a taxi. Let's depart from the south and see if that's closer. Denver ground, Pitts Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf Sierra, with India request taxi for takeoff south departure. Pitts Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf Sierra, taxi to and hold short of runway 26 via taxiway Bravo Sierra, Kilo Bravo November, Mike Niner, Lima Zilla, November Echo Echo Romeo Niner, Romeo Romeo 1. <laughs> Romeo Contact Romeo, on where on art thou, Romeo I Taxi? Wherefore art thou? Alright, I acknowledge... Taxiing hold short runway 26 via taxiway Bravo Sierra Kilo Bravo November Mike Niner Lima Zulu November Echo Echo Romeo Niner Romeo Romeo 1 Pits X-Ray Romeo Sierra. Romeo Alright, watch the fuel tanker so you don't create an airport explosion. That would be very embarrassing. Imagine you had to repeat that. I wouldn't be able to remember. Alright, this one is actually not closer. But we are, I think we're taking a different route. So we get to see a little bit more of the airport. Let's just go to, um, let's go to third person cam and like take a look around. I know the frames are going to be a little iffy here, but let me go ahead and just straighten this up so I can see where I am going. Super sensitive. Hold on, let me just like, there we go. Actually, we could probably get dynamic the dynamic cam on this. Let me do that. And then we can, like, move this around. I can't steer in this mode, so I probably want to avoid the passenger planes. That seems like a good idea. Chat, there's a truck in front of me and I can't see where I'm going. Why not take off from the taxi? No one will notice because we've gone this far. I want to try and do this legit. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I want to do a legit flight. But it takes practice. I think I just need to keep the throttle up but use the brakes a little more. In order to make these safer turns. Okay, they haven't asked anything else of me yet. Chad, I can't see directly ahead of me. I have no way to tell. Other than the arrows on the grounds. Where I'm supposed to be going, there is traffic in front of me, like actual cars. All right, let's line this up and then get a different uh, perspective on what's going on here. Ooh, beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Denver looking great. Right, let's hit the brakes. That's me. Where? Hold position pits, X ray golf Sierra. <gasps> Dude, they tell you to stop so the cars can pass. Pits X ray golf Sierra, continue taxi. Wow. 
Okay, acknowledge continue taxi. Roger, Pitts X-ray Golf Sierra. See, so you don't have a collision on the ground. Pitts X-ray Golf Sierra, hold position, caution, other traffic. Bro, I give me right away. Hold position, Pitts X-ray Golf. You just Sierra. gave me permission to clear, and then you overrode my position for the other car. Roger, Pitts X-Ray Golf Sierra. Quick, I gotta go before another car comes. Alright, actually communicating with ATC. I think this is gonna be more of a straight shot, though. I feel like the planes would definitely have the right-of-way over that traffic, but what do I know? Daily frustrations of a pilot. Imagine being a pilot in this plane, though. In Denver International Airport. You know? Imagine being in a passenger plane and seeing this just, you know, bouncing around next to you on the ground. Let's reset this, even though... This is still like a cool camera angle, almost like an action shot. All right, careful. Easy. We're going a little, we're taxiing a little fast, it feels like, and I'm having some trouble lining this up. All right, there we go. Let's just even it out, ease it out. There you go, line it up. Foot pedal action is getting quite difficult. Driving in this is harder than anything else. By the way, in this mode, you can see the engine uh, down at the bottom left, if you were curious. All right, let's get a nice action cam here. I wish I could figure out how to elevate the camera. <gasps> uh, grass coming. Chat, there's some grass. All right, back to sim mode. Simulation time. Just sit up in your chair. Speaking of, there's actually a thing for that. Nice easy turn. It's like right here, upper position. So that way we're sitting like as tall as we can be. Gonna move this up and to the right, just to kind of clean the navlog space a little bit. Why are there there's so much traffic potential? Also, just so you know, um, we're not just driving around an empty airport, even though that's what it looks like. So right now, the game is actively simulating all flights going into and out of Denver Airport. So, if a plane comes in or needs to use one of the taxi designations that we are currently on, we'll either be rerouted or they'll reroute the plane for those purposes. So, any plane that you see actually taking off and landing, uh, are taking off and landing in real life around the same time. So, they have those same flight plans that they're actively translating. And this is roughly, I assume, what Denver looks like right now, in terms of both time of day and weather, so it looks like a very pleasant day. I don't know if they show the temperature anywhere. Uh, and also, I kind of have to cheat because I'm not supposed to be in this plane. Yeah, just a straight, straight line. If you crash in the game, you crash in real life. Check. I get some more comments about how I haven't taken off yet. I think they're really funny. But also, um, we have been in the airport less time than it takes to download this game. So think about that. No. This is over a hundred gigabyte game. IRL pilots waiting for virtual planes to <laughs> take off. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so it's like a reverse simulation. So instead of me 
uh, getting piped in data on where real life pilots are going and working around them, I am causing them to have like my exact flight plan piped into their air traffic controller. So they have to come to a stop so that the GPS that they're transmitting to my game allows me to cross an intersection uh, without intercepting them. And they're <laughs> just waiting for nothing. It's just like a ghost crosses and then they get permission to go again. They have to hold for invisible player planes. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get into get into the spirit here. Look how far away we are from everything. Are they just afraid that these, like, if they built the runways too close to ATC, there would be some conflicts or something like that? When airports make, okay, I'm assuming that these are just to make sure that the heaviest and biggest of planes. Like, how long is the runway of Denver compared to the average international airport? Somebody look that up. Say, somebody look up what is the average runway length in international airports and how big or small compared to that is Denver. They got a future proof. That actually would make sense. Just in case they need to accommodate even more. It's just to get you shitty tiny planes out of the way of important ones. You're, you're telling me they're sending me to, like, the worst runway? You're gonna use 5% of the runway. I know. I- I have, uh... That knowledge. Deep within me. But I just- I- I like getting this sense of scale. Because when you're dry, when you're flying over thing, it ju it just looks like fake. Like this is this is too scale. And something about that, even though it you could perceive it as tedious, is just impressive that it goes to that links. Is that a crosshair for a gun? I actually have no idea what that is. It probably is stunt related, if I had to guess. I just wanted to see the Denver airport, and I wanted to see how crazy it would be uh, to try and taxi like this. Attitude indicator? Probably. <laughs> All right. You know what, though? I'm glad that it took... Uh, almost two hours for our first takeoff because that just gets all the negative people that I didn't want to ruin the rest of the stream out of here early. So that filter, I think, where am I supposed to go? Did I get the ATC waiting, uh, waiting instructions? I almost just ran off the runway, ATC. Oh, they are still here. But yeah, that was, that was just the big chat filter. It was just coming over you uh, to make sure that I didn't have to read those comments like four hours from now when I'm having a good time and they're probably eating Cheeto dust somewhere, you know, because they open up the pantry and they ate all the Cheetos, but they were like, what if I want the crumbs later? So they rolled up the bag and put it back in the pantry as if they were ever going to open that again and just scoop them all in like a, like a drinking from a goblet, you know what I mean? Can I... Chat. What's my, uh... Request takeoff clearance. Denver Tower Pits Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready for departure to the south at runway 26. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra cleared for takeoff runway 26 south departure approved. Do I have to uh acknowledge? Okay. Cleared for takeoff runway 26 pits X-ray Golf Sierra. Here we go, chat. The moment we've been waiting for. Uh I am clipping. There we go. This is gonna take about like a hundred feet of this runway. We have no flaps either. Airspeed is 
Oh! Easy. This thing is a little bit... Oh, this requires rudder, precise rudder control, chat. Let's go. Alright, we're like 80 on that needle. Oh, this thing is light as a feather. Turning on a dime. Take a look around. Denver International. Uh, what? How am I supposed to figure out my attitude? Continue for your south departure. Denver Tower Pits Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra continue for south departure. Uh, do I have like um, a compass? Check attitude. I d that's that's what I said. I don't know how to read my attitude. Right now my attitude is pissed off. Also, this is falling off. Oh god. Follow the sun. Top, middle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Top, middle. Dude, look at that glare. <sighs> Hold on, chat. <sighs> okay. There we go. Now I'm ready. Flying right into the sun. I can't see any of my instruments. Uh, it's actually extremely dark on the screen right now, and I can't read a single one, but I'm glad we're flying. I don't think any of these are backlit instruments either. Uh, we're losing speed. Why are we- why are we losing speed? Alright, we need to put this away before we do something stupid and stall. Request touch and go? What does that mean, chat? Chat, what does touch and go? Does that mean I get to take control? I think we're stalling. Is the fuel mixture too rich? Oh, yeah! Oh! I forgot to do this before takeoff! Avionics are supposed to be on. I don't even know what that does. Uh, but I, <laughs> I was supposed to do that before I even lifted off. Uh, I have no idea. Avionics sounds important. Alright, fuel mixture, much better now. Okay. Acknowledge frequency change. Denver Tower Pits Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra frequency change. Sorry, I should have been looking at the airport as we were taking off, but I was too focused on nonsense. Tune Denver approach. Chad, do I click this? Yes or no? Request Class B airspace trans transition. Denver approach Pitts Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type Pitts Pitts three miles west of Denver seven thousand nine hundred feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Pitts Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Denver approach. Squawk seven seven two seven. All right, we're almost at nine thousand feet. Let's just chill out. This thing is pretty fast. Um, acknowledge squawk. Squawk 7727 Pits X-Ray Golf Sierra. Here's what we're gonna do. Make a save. Because I know you don't want to go through all that again. Take off. Um. Denver. Okay. Made a save. Alright, can I, um, can I start doing my nav? Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Pits X-Ray Golf Heading Sierra. 230. Heading 230. We're basically on the correct heading already, are we not? So we should have already started the timer. How am I supposed to maintain this heading, dude? Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm too tall now. Why am I so tall now? Request IFR clearance for instrument FP. I don't even know what that means.
Oops, my head popped out of the glass. F <laughs> FP in the plane. So we were supposed to be heading uh, for 6 minutes 35 this way. But I've got um, landmarks turned on so that we don't get super turned around. We can go ahead and minimize. This thing flies, like, actually pretty good. There's the nav log. Let's get uh, VFR map open. Okay, and then we'll take some nice scenic shots once we figure out how to get this, um, you know, stationary. Kind of pulling back on the throttle a little bit because we're cruising at like a hundred knots, which is pretty good. This thing's fast. All right, let's try and um, adjust our attitude, which I still don't really know how to do. Passing me off to a different to decimal, four, five. contact, I think. Golf, Sierra. One two eight point four five. Denver approach pits Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra seven thousand seven hundred feet. Well, we are exactly Sierra, that, yeah. Golf, Sierra, Denver approach continue as planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two. At italics. Talks, I won't give up until you turn on your alternator. What? Why, chat, why are you editing me? Okay, there. What does that do? It moved the amps uh, up to 30. But that's about all I know. Also, this thing also lists to the left a little bit. Let's get some better camera angles. Zoom out a little bit, maybe. Take a look around. Take in some of the scenery. Uh, heading is really difficult to maintain in this. It doesn't ruin your battery. Is the battery simulated? Oh, true, true, true. Probably. So how do I see my attitude outside of eyeballing it? Oh, that's the attitude! Yeah, so you line that up with the horizon line, I guess. That's, that must be my, like, side attitude, but man, it just drifts to the left. Literally nothing I can do about it. So forward attitude's gotta be... What, chat? Forward attitude, just line it up forehead? Like, I don't know. Parallel with top wing? Pitch will be the horizontal line. Okay, but it, man, what do you do if you just, first of all, let's take a look around. Oh yeah. There's downtown Denver. <gasps> look at the freeway. Downtown Denver in the distance. We're gonna head directly towards that. This is amazing. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and realign ourselves for downtown. We're getting a little low. Let's try and maintain. I mean, we're at what, 60, 6,000 feet? I'd say like 6,000 is good. We might need to uh, get the trim. Let's try and like fix, I don't, Chat, trim doesn't exist on this plane, I would guess. Right? No, it has to. It does. This game is so good. It is, yeah. Denver's flatter than I was expecting. I think... I think you're really gonna see the mountains beyond downtown. Oh god. This is very trim sensitive. That's a little better. Too much. A little too much. 
we are approaching 6,000 feet. Still listing to the left. Uh, downtown Denver straight ahead. I'll be honest, I know basically nothing about Denver. I've never been to Colorado. That's kind of why I wish there was an opportunity to pull up some information on different points of interest and just like have that Wikipedia data because I'd be happy to like just see some some little nifty factoids. Used to live in Denver. I mean, Denver is not that far away from where I am right now. It's really not. Looks like it would be a, a very comfortable place to visit, temperature-wise. All right, I think even though I have to correct um, the steering, it might nose up just a little so that we don't lose any more. Because I noticed um, we're getting some lag here as we load in. I'm trying to get this. This is the six position. So when this goes back to the zero, that's exactly six thousand. So that's how you can figure that out. So we're just gonna like trim up just a little. Okay, let's get some more glamour shots, shall we? Oh, yeah. The cockpit view is beautiful, too. Like, I really enjoy swapping back and forth. Let's go to just third person. Ooh. Look at that sun glare. Here comes downtown Denver. We're gonna fly right over the top of it. And then we're going to need to open up the nav log. And we're going to need to alter our heading to 164. And we're going to need to head that way for about 13 and a half minutes based on this. 164. But before we do that, let's, uh, ooh, a little football field over that direction. Some kind of park directly down below. Good rendering on most of these buildings. Get the first person view. Chad, did I just get ATC clicked? Can you not hear? One, two, zero, zero. Frequency change approved Pitts X-ray Golf Sierra. This is, this is definitely a not approved flight plan that we're doing uh, right here. Denver approach Pitts Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type Pitts Pitts 1-2 miles southeast of Jeffco. Request flight following. Pitts Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Denver approach. Squawk 2561. Chad, is that a stadium right here? Squawk 2561 Pitts X-ray Golf Sierra. It's right there on the left. Looks like it. Look at this stuff down here. We got some construction zones, it looks like. There are some pits that have been dug. Copy pits X ray golf Sierra. What are they telling me? I have no idea. <gasps> Baseball! Dude, that's where the Rockies play, right? That's, uh, what is the name of that park? Is it Coors? Did I remember that off the top of my head? Okay, good. All right, Chad, we got to pull. This is a stunt plane, yeah? Oh. I'm trying, dude. I want to do cool stuff, ATC. All right. One, two, eight, decimal, four, five, pits, X-ray, golf, Sierra. Century Link, screw you, Century Link. All right, I had nothing but bad experiences with you. Stupid data caps. Charging me $10 extra just for 10 extra gigs. Ridiculous, dude. Wow, that was, that was probably like a 2G whip turn right there. I did not fly over Denver just to do a quick pass through. All right, this is a delay. This is this This is just going a little bit above and beyond, but I don't want to fail the mission cuz I didn't do what they told me. Denver approach Pitts Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Real quick. Time out. 
this is not. <laughs> All right, well, time out. Okay. Suffers through three mile taxi for realism, weaves in between buildings recklessly. Listen, we're just gonna role play. That was part of the flight plan. Okay. I'm there to uh to do some stunts so the people of Denver could look up and see me, a professional stunt plane pilot, weaving in between their boring office job to try to entertain them. Okay? That's why we were taken off from Denver International, okay? It was a special event just for today. I am a licensed, trained... All right, this thing just falls off with a barely any provocation from me. I wish that I could have bought the professional one. This thing is just like immediately... Listen, if... Natural point is out there. If you custom make me a hat that is large enough for my head, or a or a visor, ideally, then I will wear that and stop complaining. And it can say natural point on it. Okay, you just have to make a custom hat that's big enough for my head, custom made. And then actually, never mind. Take the logo off. All right. I wanted to fix that, and I wanted to do this. Center up. 700 feet. It's Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf. Sierra Denver approach, continue as planned. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9er 2. It's X-ray Golf, Sierra contact Denver approach. Can you shut up? Never mind. We'll just go. We'll go. We'll go back on our normal bearing. Okay. We're going back on the normal bearing. Chad, I just want to point out that you can see the the satellite caught a reflection of that roof mounted. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Tennis court or whatever that is. First of all, that was an insane ascent right there. Oh God! He's losing it. Pull up. I turned crashing off. It's fine. Okay, let's just let's just load the save. Okay. <laughs> and this is why they haven't given permission. Wait, didn't I save uh before we got here? Whatever, it's fine. I turned crashing off. Just chill. Listen, just chill. This is this is the crash site of the plane. Um I'm gonna need someone to get out. Can you guys get out and just push hey, hey! Listen, you don't have to worry about jumping. Ooh, chat, do you see that? Did I just imagine this? No wonder I get stuck in traffic all the time in Denver. I don't know the shortcuts. They don't add that to Google Maps. <laughs> Inception cars. <laughs> All right, how do I? Watch out, man! I'm driving here! Hang on, I got this. I think the tail flap is the real... Engage reverse thrusters. We might be able to climb this. Alright, 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 alright. 
That's why we made a save, chat. That is exactly why. Can ATC help you here? I don't think so, no. Can you request pushback? Chris Sweet Piano, thank you for the 200 bits earlier, by the way, who said, thank you for entertaining me. <sighs> Listen, I, I was dedicated to realism, but I just wanted to see Denver because it, it was a beautifully rendered city until we got to that one spot. <laughs> Bravo Charlie Hotel, thank you for the seven months as well. Pretendir, also Sharon, the third month. Thank you guys for the subs and for jumping on board with me. We got very close to Denver. Yes. Very personal. Casually loading a save after killing all of chat. A passenger's wallet has just been discovered in the cockpit. If you believe this is yours, please contact the nearest flight attendant. But note, there is no longer any money in it. Thank you, the blank, for five gift subs. Very much appreciated. While we load back in here. Sleeper Pyro, Bikerand, Icon, William, Alexander, and Giggling Guinea Pig. Welcome on board. Now you guys at least can't say that I haven't flown yet today, okay? You didn't say I had to make it to my destination safely on the first try. See? Welcome aboard, Etal Air. Stealing money from ghosts. <laughs> well, the loading... That was just a good test of the loading system. And it works very well. Take the VFR map off. Uh, we should just be heading 235, I think. Alright, this one I'll do for real. Like, for real, for real. All the way in. But we need to have a little fun. Wait, 2.30 is this way. Wait. Why is it no matter which direction I turn? Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Alright, 2.30 is right. Level it out. Ooh, a little, a little jumpy. I said this is for real, but this plane is extremely... Take your feet off the rudders. I think that'll help. I need to get the dead zone configured on that rudder. All right, that's, we're looking if, ow, right here. Uh, that little notch is the, where 23 would be. So that's what we're trying to line this up with and just kind of head in that direction. Unless I saved this after we already made it to Denver, which I don't think we did. All right, this is the real one. Go ahead and fix the trim. We can kind of go, not hands off, but a little bit more sightseeing centric. Where is that? What plant is that? That's just suburban, I think. Where am I right now, actually? No alternator timeline. Okay. There. Gotta generate our own electricity. What is the green digital display on the upper right of the panel? Good question, let's find out. Uh, G's? Duration four zero, accelerometer. So I assume this is programmable. Displays the plane's highest positive acceleration ever. Uh, planes recorded accelerations, highest accelerations, club limitations, and default informations. So it seems like you do specific stunts in this and then record uh, exactly how intense it was. Your top score. You gotta beat the record. Can, can I? Can I? I can hit one, right? Okay. No more mouse. Hands off mouse. 
That was driving me crazy. You can just hit the number. Okay. So is there... I wish there was a hotkey to minimize that as well. That would be even nicer. Where am I right now? I have no idea. Alright, you guys want some G's? Tasty. <sighs> Give us some juice. This thing is a machine. That wasn't even full. Alright, yeah, there's downtown Denver right there. Alright, chat. You want some G's? Let's uh let's stall the plane again. <laughs> this is how we crashed last time. That is kind of how we crashed last time. Trying to see if I can get the fuel mix perfected. I'm looking at the engine at the bottom left. Trying to get that needle further into the yellow. If possible, build up some speed. I think that's as good as I can get. All right, we're gonna do a loop chat. If we die, we die. We got uh, 8,000 feet before we die though. All right, ready? Build some speed on the way down. And use that speed. Fold it over. Ooh. That was pretty clean. Yeah, we don't actually have 8,000 feet. You know what I mean. We're above sea level a certain amount. However high above Denver is, their sea level Minus ours. Look at that plane! Chat, that plane is upside down! <gasps> oh my god, this is happening in real life! Turn on the news! Somebody's doing stunts in like a 737 above Denver. If you, if you live in Denver, go look up in the sky right now and tell me what you see. The pilot's crazy! He just saw me do a spin, and then he, he did like a McTwist 720. Just a flex on my little stunt plane. All right, let's, let's take the throttle down a little bit. <laughs> that thing was going fast, too. It was like on the left side of the screen. I felt like I was, I felt like I was recording a UFO sighting. That's how it appeared. All right, we're almost at like 10,000 feet. Let's let's just take this down a little bit. I think there's like shaky cam because the camera's like attached to my head like a GoPro. Yeah, we want to we want to descend and like cut back on the throttle. So, okay, how How do you stall this out? Like, if I go full idle on the throttle, I assume the air passing through the propellers will keep the engine running. Unless you're going up, and then you probably just, like, hard stall. Now I'm glad Streamer is flying this plane. Actually, you know what? Since we're doing realism here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go full commit. Crash damage on. Stress damage on. St engine stress on. Icing on. And I'll make a save for downtown Denver. All right, here we go. We'll, f we'll full commit to realism. After we complete this flight, we'll start the multiplayer shenanigans. And then we'll do like passenger jet, okay? Multiplayer after we land. Must be a school or something down there. Resume on navigation. Contact 
Look at that park. Towards the left. Acknowledge handoff. Oh, this is amazing coming in. All right, I am going. This is a stunt plane after all, chat. Going to one two six decimal one pits X ray Golf Sierra. Soak it all in. By Denver. Oh, is that the Capitol building? Right there, the what, by the the point of interest. All right, we need to give this some juice, and we need a new heading. Navlog time. Where is the navlog? Chat, where's the navlog? Fuel AI basic checklist camera. Oh, it's already open. All right, so we need 164. Oh, we're basically there. Chat, where's one, hang on. 164. Do I know how to read this yet? 15, 16? It's the 16, right? Like right there. No, definitely not. Is not the 16? Literally right there? You got it. Okay, well then why is chat lying to me, huh? Alright, wait, let's go back to, um, let's go back to like, actually this, this is just a little stunt plane. We can fly a little low. I need to start this. Instead of, uh, 13 minute 40, let's just do 13 minutes, chat. And then we'll hit the new heading, okay? 13 minute 40 at the 16. Which planes do you get horizontal trim? Because I need that in my life. Never trust chat. We can't lie if we're dumb and don't know anything. Well, you know as much as I know in a lot of these cases. A lot of baseball in Denver. What is that? Something spiky coming out of the ground. Looks like maybe some silos. We got the highway running all the way down here. We should be roughly on course. Power plant, probably? See if you have rudder trim assigned. That's a good idea, Kyra Toby. We'll check it out. So, here's what you can do, chat. While we're flying in, uh, we're going to an Air Force base, by the way. We should start figuring out where we want to meet in multiplayer. And then I'll turn that on. Alright, so how do you do search by input? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not search. Is it search by name? The more I watch you play this, the more I think I need to get this for my dad for Christmas. It's really good. Are you telling me this is a dad game? Well, I am Midas' dad. What server is he on? The world server. How do you search? Remove a signed tag. It might not be bound. Okay. Search by name. Trim. That doesn't seem right. This, I mean, tr the word trim definitely exists. Has he crashed yet? Nobody tell them. Uh, how do you find... Okay, listen, I'll just look the old-fashioned way. It's fine. I'm a smart boy. I don't need chat to tell me exactly where to look. Okay, this is just... 
center rudder position. Flaps, spoilers, um, here we go. So we got aileron uh, trim left, control num four, aileron trim right. But if we don't have any ailerons, on this plane, on the wings, do, well, do we have to. Control plus num six. All right, what can I... I could probably change this to, like... I know we're on keyboard. I'm trying to find what it's normally configured to. And what I would... What What is comfortable here? Maybe this? Um, this is, I guess, RWD. Chat, what is, what is on, okay, let me show you. This says nose down, nose up, which is obviously trim. So what does LWD and RWD stand for? Set some aileron trim on your gray circle thing that's left and right. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking right now, actually. <laughs> Rear wheel drive. <sighs> Basically that, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll find out. Let's see. So we're going to go to Warthog. Then we go to... Engine Anti-Ice would be nice to set here eventually. Hold on. Can we just start with these... Expand collapse all. Actually, that's what I was gonna ask. Okay, uh, should be control trimming surface. Boom. It's already bound exactly to that. And there's rudder trim, which I is not bound. I'm assuming aileron trim is preferable to rudder trim because that's on the wings instead of on the back of the plane. So rudder trim would be. Probably not necessary yet. We can come back and bind that if we think we need it later. All right, well, big brain time. Wow, that's as easy as it was. All I had to do was just hit that instead of manual control the entire time. Are you kidding? Now it's going to see, now it's going too far. See, you have to be really gentle with how you line this up. So I also have to figure out which direction it goes, because I think it's opposite. So if I push right on this, it goes left. If I push left, it goes right. So right now, by itself, it's naturally heading to the right. So I want to correct by applying a little opposite, and then maybe just straightening this up, watching the horizon line, which is that crosshair. Still kind of listing to the right, so bump it one more to the right, and then... Straighten it up again. Still going to the right. No, it's not opposite. It's not. Okay, hold on. I thought it was. Well, no wonder it wasn't working then. Let me try and line back up with the 16. There we go. This plane is actually really easy to fly. Okay, so like that's basically lined up. Oh man, it's so sensitive though. That's almost perfect. It's so close. It's definitely better than it was. Dude. The uh, Greater Denver 
metropolitan area is massive. This very horizontal and flat. Uh, it just goes and goes. It doesn't really like this camera angle too much. All right, load it in. Got some lakes over there as we get closer and closer to the Rockies. The Rockies would probably be really fun to fly through. All right, let's try and get back on our heading. Uh, open up the nav log, see how long we've been going. About five, four and a half minutes. We just got a few more, and then we got a. Uh, we should be approaching at that point Colorado Springs. So we're currently heading towards Colorado Springs, and if I could get, uh, if I could get this perfectly level, which it's it's okay. We one dash to the left, maybe. Colorado Springs uh, is the largest city by area in Colorado. So this is literally... No, well, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. All right. Let me, let me try and learn a thing or two. Estimated population of... Metro population of 738,000. So it's this big, and there's only 738,000 people in this whole area? I mean, not, I'm mean, talking about uh, Colorado Springs specifically, but still, we're, that's where we're going right now. Oh, the sun's getting ready to set back there. Look at these little suburban cul de sacs. What are you. We got some solar panels on roofs. I wonder what kind of like age population this is. This looks like an older area, if I had to guess. Not a lot of... Well, I guess you're right next to Denver, so you could just drive to downtown Denver if you, you were a young person who needed something to do, but... that urban sprawl. That is some urban sprawl. Alright, I'm struggling to figure out where the trim needs to go right now. I think to the right. Just a tad. Now a tad to the left. I think we're like threading the needle. 2020, Colorado Springs was number 13 on the New York Times 52 places to go and number 10 on TripAdvisor's top 25 trending destinations. So I guess this is a hot spot, chat. Um, I assume because it's A, gorgeous, B, probably a lot of outdoorsy activities. I imagine that, uh, obviously the hiking, but would be the main attraction in the skiing in this area. But also, I'm assuming there's some pretty good camping out here. It looks like you don't have to go too far to be one with nature in any given direction. Garden of the Gods is a big attraction. I don't know what that is, actually. I went to Colorado Springs once, and my dad spent the entire trip in the cabin with an oxygen tank. Yeah, I guess the air is going to get really thin in different areas, huh? The lighting on the cockpit itself is especially nice. I know, it's so pleasant to look at. All right, let's get, let's get some more. I would like to, if I could get the trim perfect, I want to do some uh, cinematic camera shots. Altitude is almost just gently moving upward, I think. So I'm going to trim down ever so slightly. Trim left ever so slightly. Coasting too much to the left. Trim right. Seems like it's... This is as close to balance as we can get, like hands off the keyboard type of situation. Let's try and get uh, some camera shots up here. It's actually listing right. Hold on. 
Honestly, I need a finer control trim for the ailerons. Very sensitive. I'm just trying to like... Literally, whichever direction I go, it just starts pulling. Okay, showcase mode. How do you switch between these? Isn't it just like... Nope. Nope, that's not what I was looking for. That's a cool shot. In between the wings? What resolution and graphic settings? Uh, I'm playing at 1080p on my computer. Graphics are a mix of high and ultra right now, but the frame rate's gonna look lower because I'm streaming. And I've also got a three camera USB set up, so that's gonna hit frames. So I'm not getting the full 60, but I'm getting, it's very playable despite all that for me. I think we're definitely turning right now. Look at those reflections, though. Wow, we're turning pretty hard. All right, we can just correct for a moment. Just dangling off the wings. Uh, in my Discord, I posted a graphics guide. You have to log in to Microsoft Forms, which means you need to create an account with them. If you already have a Microsoft account, then it just asks for permission and you put an email address in. But the link there, somebody went and did every single graphic setting in the entire game and then um, noted whether it was CPU or GPU dependent and how much percentage they, they saw in their own experience it affected their frame rate. So if you're curious on what settings to tweak, I would recommend that. I've been trying to run this on 1080 Ti at 1440 with mixed success. If your monitor is big, I would change resolution scaling. And, uh, I mean, you're being very greedy with the 1440. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I know. You should be able to use what hardware you've got. But I would downscale the resolution to 1080p, and then it'll just re-upscale it to 1440, and you should be at least getting 1080p enhanced quality. So you probably get a bunch of frames by doing that. Props on that guy. I love when people do that. Yeah. Super handy. There's a ton of federal land in the west. Oh, you're not talking to me. You actually use the reply feature the way it's supposed to. Shame on you, Shadow Disciple. Everyone knows that replies are only for memes, not for actual conversations. <laughs> reply to this for one week of good luck. Your week's over! I love the Denver area, though. It's extremely verdant, extremely green. Lots of uh, natural growth here. We got some rural. We, I, I love seeing that, that sprawl, though. We went from downtown to the suburban metropolitan area uh, around that. And then uh, now we are very clearly like outside of the city jurisdiction where people just have acres of land. Each house is so spread out and disparate. We're coming up on Perry Park, which is actually, do we have to get permission? Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 7,800 feet. Mid Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Denver approach continue as planned. Okay, we're good. Altimeter 2 niner, decimal niner 2. Where is um, Perry Park in relation? The seatbelt sign is on, which means the five of you lined up outside of the laboratory will be presented with a cup. Please return to your seat and use it at your earliest discretion. Speaking of cups, gonna need a refill. Uh, is there a way to see 
whether we're going the right way. I don't trust my own navigation, which I think is fair because we are at 13 four right now and we're that, that's definitely not true so we should be taking on a new heading right now if we did everything correctly and I definitely didn't you are what mostly lost what did I say the radio guy sounds like TTS it is because it has to automatically it's a custom TTS you install with the game I love that hill that plateau right there uh, because they have to auto-generate artificial intelligence, text-to-speech, for every single conceivable possible solution. They can't, um, they can't voice record. It would be millions of lines. Can I go ahead and turn to 358, or is it too soon? Let's just see where 358 is. Should be this way. TTS funny call signs. I'm gonna try that. Well, that's 20. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going the. 358 is like. We already passed it. No, we didn't. I... Way too soon? Well, then why doesn't the nav log update the estimates to what speed you're going? Like, it should say, what, how fast does it think that you're going when they tell you? You know what I'm saying? So is this counting up from the left? Can you call ATC for your location? Well, we were going to try to go to Colorado Springs. I don't know if you can. All right, but if I was going to follow this would be 358, which should be like here. In just a moment, we should be lined up with it. Literally, it would be, I can't see, 340, it's basically the, it would just basically go north. I always overshoot it. I'm not used to this little spinny ball. Right there. It's really difficult to fly with just these instruments. All right, literally right there. Just line it up and let it go. Line it up. Let it fly. Take in some of the scenery. Do your pedals do anything? Yeah, they're for the rudder, but it's usually not a great idea to use them in the air because they cause... Uh, motions like this. They're more for like taxiing and certain maneuvers when you pull specific types of turns uh, you would want to use a rudder to kind of counter. So like see how tapping that it's not really because think about it like this. You're flying in a, in a straight line. If you pop the rudder, you're basically trying to spin the plane while it's moving forward. So You've got this, all this momentum going into traveling at, right now, 100 knots uh, airspeed. I don't know if that's indicated or true airspeed, but we're, we're going 100 knots in a straight line, and throwing a rudder is like trying to do uh, a drift spin in the middle. When you turn with ailerons, there's some yaw, so you use rudder to counter it. Yeah, basically. I don't, I'm not that advanced, though, but... You got the right idea, yeah. I don't really know how to go about doing that. But if you do a little bit, you can. Like, I'm trying to line... Trying to see if that works. 
All right, this is where we need to go for apparently only four minutes. We should be coming up on, um, we're not, but we should be if we were following the nav properly. Isn't it like all the way down here? What's it called? You turn around way too early. Well, mostly lost. I'm just trying. I know that. You've already mentioned that. I'm just trying to prove uh, and hopefully solicit chat to tell me why or how to reform my estimated uh, flight times and what speed they think that I'm going. Because this is the only instrumentation I have except flying by sight, which isn't going to work at nighttime. But it doesn't give me what speed it rated these maneuvers on. I've been trying to find my house for like an hour. <laughs> well, keep looking. But also, uh, the VFR map, I have to- I need to know the designation of the particular airbase that we're flying to. And apparently since we're going too slow, we're like barely outside of Denver right now. I, I could speed up, but I don't know what the safe... I assume safe flying is like 140, so we could throttle up and just like increase our speed by 40%. We're just coasting. Because I know it's south, but I don't know what its designator is. Maybe if I turn on GPS. No. Because, yeah, I, I have some room to uh, maneuver here. My RPM is kind of in the red, though. Which, I don't know if that's a good red or, like, just a maximum red. See, because we did the Tokyo flight, and I think the estimated time of the flight is not necessarily... Sorry. Scratch my head. Not necessarily accurate with what plane you've got selected. So we can just back out and go do the multiplayer stuff and then fly the passenger jets. Because I think we're really, really far away. Isn't it just CAF? We got Kappa, KCOS. Uh, it's the Academy. This is the one we were going to. How far away is... The navlogs, yeah, the navlog does have the right one, but I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know where that is on the map. Also, we are drifting up because I increased the airspeed. KCOS is Colorado Springs. Oh well, then we're not really that far away. And our airport should be north of Colorado Springs. Hollow Ranch. Someone just Google um, Air Force Academy near Colorado Springs. That's that's where we're going. Can we check out the Alps real quick before we land? <laughs> you want to check out the Alps? I think it's a bit northwest. Why did I choose Colorado? Go wherever you want. It's a sandbox. But also, there are 30 airports in the base game that have uh, higher than average detail, fidelity, and accuracy, and I wanted to see one of them. And I thought it was neat that this is proximity-wise near an Air Force base that we could land at. So I think that would be cool to check out. Google destination mid-flight. You mean someone Bing. That's right, Microsoft reps. 
It's in between Denver and Colorado Springs. I know, that's where I am. Is it CO93 though? That's Perry Park. Because that's the one that's almost directly in between. Because it's got to be either CO93 or KFly. It has to, unless it's not shown on the map. Maybe I need to zoom in more? Oh, there it is. All right, there's Calf. It's actually really close to Colorado Springs. Okay, I just have to zoom in more. All right, we good, chat. We good. I have no idea what speed it thought we were going. We are now... Um, so what we're looking at here is this gauge. And we can pump the throttle up to get even more speed. I don't know if that's going to be gas inefficient. Uh, oil pressure is still fine. Temperatures within normal boundaries. Uh, fuel, I think, is still okay. We start at half, I think, without a refill. RPM is obviously still in the red. It's basically going as fast as it can go without any kind of assistance. And then all we need to do, I guess, is continue to maintain um, that heading of 164. How high are we? We're like 9,000 feet. We can go ahead and nose down a little bit on the flaps. I kind of want to finish this flight. Okay. Let's change camera angle here. Plane go burr. <laughs> All right. Um, so once we hit this up, how far away are we from Denver now? Dude, this is not. This was not the thirty-minute flight that they promised. This is like a real flight. A little reservoir, a little basin down there. It's still crazy to me that people... Think about this. We're flying over, chat. Somebody do... Uh, what is... A hundred... We're going pretty fast now. Almost 140... Uh, we're heading almost 150, 145 knots. What is that in land speed? And then consider people live out here. Like, where do you go? What are you doing out here? That's like, this is like a, a neighborhood that they built just in this rural area. Every house has its own elongated drive. Oh, look at that sunset shadow reflection. Over the Rockies right now. 170 miles per hour. Okay, but it changes depending on if this is uh, indicated airspeed or true airspeed. So how do you know which this is rendered in? Wait, this says miles per hour at the top. I think this plane... Does this plane go in miles... Why does it say MPH? I think that's just how fast we're going, which still proves my point. We are flying, and it's still taking us this long to get where we're going. Then imagine that you have to drive from here whenever you want to go somewhere like this. If you look to the right as you approach the Air Force Academy Airport, you'll see the actual academy itself. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna loop around it. Um, hit up. Hold on. Descend and maintain. Is he talking to me? Air 
Airport Academy Airport Information, Quebec 01000, Zulu. Wind 261 at 3. Visibility. Yeah, I'm pit. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 2. 2.1 tree. Altimeter, 29er, decimal 9 or 2. Visual runway tree, 4 center. Visual runway tree, 4 right. Visual runway tree, 4 left. Visual runway tree, 5 left. Visual <laughs> runway tree, 5 center. And visual runway tree, 5 right in use. Landing and departing runway tree. Academy Tower Pitts Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is type Pitts Pitts 4 miles northeast of US Air Force Academy. Requesting transition. Don't talk. Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra transition approved. Report clear of Academy Tower airspace. It's still acknowledged transition clearance. We'll report clear Pitts X-Ray Golf Sierra. It's just crazy to me that like you have to communicate with this many different air traffic controllers. You know what I mean? Like, when the AI is not handling it for me, that's when I would normally actually acknowledge. Welcome to being a pilot. And I don't even have to know what to say. The game still says exactly what you're supposed to say. So I'm assuming the academy is down there. How close is the academy to the airfield? They got football down there, baseball, looks like soccer pitch. Getting, now that we're in Colorado Springs, you can already tell. We've gotten, it's gotten a little bit more dense. Uh, it's starting to fill back in. Sun's almost fully eclipsed behind the mountain. All right, so Colorado Springs is an actual POI. What we could, here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna see Colorado Springs, but I don't wanna make you guys wait any longer since we wanna do multiplayer, so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and request clearance because we have to go here, then back to CAF, and we're like right next to CAF. And I don't wanna debate chat on, lit literally I'm doing the th one thing that's not in the title. So let's go ahead and land and uh, get the multiplayer stuff going before it gets late. I think that's a good idea. Full stop landing. Academy Tower Pits Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra to land. I thought this was going to be a shorter flight, but we had to learn how to fly this thing. I actually really like this plane, though. It's 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 been very calm to fly. Um, now that I figured out how to do the ailerons and stuff, make straight in runway 34R. Acknowledge 34R, chat. 34R. Fly straight in runway 34R. Do I have to do number one? Okay, 34R. Should be... The heading. I am back. What did I miss? Well, we're about to try for our landing. Pretty soon. I got an achievement unlocked by the book. 34R wind at 261 acknowledge. Clear to land runway tree for right pits X ray golf Sierra. Let's go ahead and take the throttle down, obviously. Chat, I can't see in this plane. I'm gonna try and do this legit without using third person cam from this point on. We can turn off the map, get the distractions out of here. We don't have any flaps. So, it, I mean, it's probably just the main runway, 34R, so we just gotta line this up. Save, no, 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 it's all or nothing, chat. We have no flaps. Let's go ahead and idle. How are you supposed to slow down? I'm going to be coming in at, at 120 miles per hour, flip when I hit the runway. I think I have air brakes. No, I don't, do I? Absolutely not, okay. 
Well, I see the runway. We're coming in a little crooked. Flare up. Too high. Set her down gently. I'm bouncing a little. But we're good. Welcome aboard Etal Air. Oh, yeah! How fast are we going? Chad, we did it. We did it. I can't see where I'm going. All right, I gotta cheat because I. Slow down. Uh, acknowledge ground handoff. Ah, it's match number one. Yes! Going to 118 decimal 125 pits, X ray golf Sierra. I, can't, I couldn't even see the runway. Did, did I not say yes? No! Academy ground, pits Alpha Sierra, X ray golf Sierra with Quebec request taxi to the active touch and go. Oh my god. The stupid thing lags. No, I need different. I just requested that I could take off again and then go into a holding pattern above the airport. Taxiing hold short runway tree for center via taxiway Charlie Delta pits X ray Golf Sierra. What is it? Is it Academy Tower or what is ATIS? Air traffic what? Give me um, Academy Ground. They don't they don't let you cancel the order. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> no. Air traffic indication system. Yeah, I don't think I have the option to cancel or belay that. Whatever you say for air traffic, I have no idea. I can't request uh, an actual... Okay, you can't do that, but... Look, I'm just going to pull over here, and I'm going to say that we did it, okay? This thing has really, 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 really wide turns. I just went in a complete circle. Let's just say... Pull, you, you know what? You don't have to back in. You don't have to get fancy and back in. This should be it. Okay, fuel's off. RPM control, zero. Throttle down. We did it. Okay, we didn't do proper ATC, but honestly, that's just, it's just obnoxious. Like, normally, you wouldn't have to move your hand off of one of the important instruments. <sighs> we did it. GG. All right, it's multiplayer time, but first I need to BRB. It's been three hours. It's gamer deathbot time. We're gonna hop in, we're gonna turn uh, the systems on. You guys are gonna be invited to play. Anybody that's out there that wants to jump on, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable. We'll go to... Show traffic nameplates, unless somebody has a bad one. Please don't do that. Online on. Multiplayer on. Applied and change call sign. How do you do that? Stop tagging me. I'm not. I'll tell you what server I'm on. Obviously, we're not even in the game yet. How to change call sign? How does multiplayer even work in this? Do you just fly by each other? Yeah, we're just going to be flying around each other and we'll do like a race or something. But, um,. 
but first you can if you don't want to if you want to play with people in particular you can form a party is what i was going to say chat i know about the servers the, the ant this is not the question i'm asking but what server are you on <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to change my um, my call sign. It's not graphics, it's not camera, it's not sound. It's not traffic. It's not data, miscellaneous. Nope. It's in the map where you select departure. Okay. Uh, aircraft select ATC options call sign. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know this page existed. Tail number. Uh, chat, there's 626 of you. So you, chat, you're right on my tail. All right, you're right on my ass the whole stream. I'm just kidding. We had a rough first hour and a half, though. Let's calm down now. <sighs> Call sign. You can pick different planes? You can indeed, yes. Call sign Midas. <laughs> I mean, that one, that does make sense. That's, that's, that's a pretty good call sign, actually. Like, outside of the fact that it's just the name of my dog. Flight number, I don't know if that matters. Append heavy to call sign, which means show tail number on. I don't know what that means. Enable complete failure. So this is just like, uh, if you want mid-flight disaster to be possible, RNG, and you have to figure out how to put out the fire how to fix the fuel pump, how to stop the oil leak. So this is like next level difficulty. Obviously I have no idea where any of these buttons are, so I'm glad this is disabled by default. Weight and balance. So you can choose how much fuel goes into each uh, wing, I guess. Apparently I am 150 pounds, which is Absolutely not true. They can you can make custom skins and then I guess sell them or release them maybe for free to people for people to download and stuff. All right, chat. I'm just gonna say for the first one, let's just pick whatever plane you want. It doesn't matter. Not, we're not gonna get picky about that. Um, who cares? Let's just have fun. This Beechcraft looks fun. It's not super slow. Cruising speed of 244. That might be too fast, though. I kind of want to chill and not, like, noom. I want to I wanna be able to go slow, see other people, and whatever landmark we go to. Um, I actually just wouldn't mind flying the SR-22 from the tutorial again, but I know you probably think that's boring. <laughs> It'd be nice to fly something we've already flown so I don't have to relearn the controls. You know, let's focus on the multiplayer. Not on learning the plane for a sec. Because if I pick a different one, we're going to have to learn it. And you don't want that. Trust me. I know. I know better. Diamond has a big open cabin, it seems. I don't think we flew the diamond, though, did we? We could just fly, uh... Now that I know how to do aileron trim, I wouldn't mind flying the Icon again, actually. Very slow, probably good for... Got a good open glass front. Let's, let's do the Icon again. If we're gonna, when we do the big plane, I wanna do an actual flight and I wanna be able to sit there and learn it. So we'll do that after uh, you guys get bored of multiplayer. But I want to get a bunch of people in from chat. So you're all invited. We're going to go flight conditions live. 
We're going to go all players. All players will be visible regardless of their settings. We're going to go to live weather and time. We're going to go to choose our server, which uh, I think is just going to be... We'll, we'll do east. We'll do east. Because west is going to lag if you're overseas. So we'll just meet in the middle. And we'll go east. Do I have to, like, hide this screen? Let's just see. I don't think so. All right, East USA, I got a 72 ping. Okay, it has been chosen. Whoops. There we go. So I'm on US East. And... Let's go somewhere real-time daylight. You know what? I did want to go to Sydney. You guys want to do like a Australia actual flight or multiplayer goof? Or we could go to Queenstown. Zealand or Australia, chat? All right, Zealand wins. We'll go to we'll go to uh, Queenstown and. If, okay, but because Queenstown is going to be much more populated, just to give you guys a better chance, we, you can only see the 50 closest planes. So I say we pick like a regional airport, like Christchurch, where nobody is going to really be. And fly around there so that we are the 50 closest planes, hopefully. Hamilton, We've got some military bases here. Cape Brett Lighthouse. By the way, we don't have to pick on a spot. Coolest um, landmarks in New Zealand. Travel restricted, COVID-19 alert. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm playing video games. COVID alert. Seven of the most popular New Zealand landmarks, okay? Number one, uh, the Maori word for foam is hookah. Hookah Falls. Stunning waterfall in the center of New Zealand's North Island. Definitely foamy. The two, two is the Tongariro or Tongariro Alpine Crossing. New Zealand's oldest national park with a 12-mile hike that goes through water-filled volcanic craters, petrified lava flows, hot springs, and sublime alpine views. You may also recognize the area as Mordor from The Lord of the Rings. That's got that's got a nice uh, little catch right there at the end. Let's go to Mordor with chat. <laughs> I'm down. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to search this crossing in Google Maps. So if you didn't know you could do this in Microsoft Flight Sim, you can. By the way, is it weird to see my keyboard but not be able to see what I'm actually doing? Okay, then we're gonna click on uh, the button. There should, should be a way. To get uh, coordinates from Google Maps. So how do you get latitude longitude from Google Maps? How to make French toast is the number one? That's number one. How to get uh, coordinates from Google Maps. No, not on my Android. Open Google Maps in the search box, type your coordinates. No, not that one. Right click, select what's here, and then you see a card with the coordinates. Okay, we'll do that. So right click, what's here, boom, copy, here's the chords. And then you paste that into search. And it'll automatically create a custom spot for you. You just set that as departure. And uh, you can also set it as arrival if you want to. I mean, well, you can't, I guess. But you can just click fly. 
and then you will automatically just spawn in right there okay so you just copy and paste that into your uh, Microsoft Flight Sim search bar and presto you will spawn in the air in that exact spot what happens if 50 people spawn in the exact same location? Do we just break <laughs> servers? <laughs> Are we going to be like inside every other plane that is also in the air simultaneously? I would also recommend before you do this, uh, absolutely before you do this, go to your options, go to assistance, go to failure and damage, disable all damage. Okay because this could get chaotic. This is either gonna not work or be amazing. I don't know which. Oh, it still remembers. All right, before I click fly, we are going to BRB. Uh, I'm going to take my son out, get a drink, get a beverage, get a snack, and be right back. You guys go ahead and load in. Uh, I guess I could leave it loading while I'm, while I'm in the air and just allow the plane to crash because I turned off all damage. So, uh, don't be alarmed. It's out of my hands. I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you for waiting.
Yo, it's uh, a bit cloudy here. What is going on in New Zealand today? Hold on. Okay. Looks like Mordor, I guess. Uh, where? What is my altitude right now? Like 6,000? I'm just going to try and get really low towards ground level. Are my instruments on? According to this, I am flying downward, but this altitude is not moving. What is this, a car? Basically, this is like the beginner entry level flying. Is it actually going though? Like it's not paused, right? Let's just hang on, hang on. Let me get, let me get first, let me just pause. I don't know if it actually pauses like this. Chill for a sec. I know there's an active pause button as well. I don't know what it's hotkey to. But I've heard active pause is bugged, so I'm not going to use it. Did you turn on multiplayer in the pre-flight conditions menu? Chat, you watched me do that, didn't you? I'm being gaslit right now by Carson, who has edited me like 16 times about multiplayer. Oh wait, I forgot to do that. Well, you should do that. Carson, if you made me back all the way out to the main menu, and it's not necessary to change, I'm going to shadow ban you. Okay. <laughs> I will shadow ban you to the realm of Mordor, where the shadows lie. Okay, let me recenter myself. It's actually, like, pretty pretty perfectly centered already. Okay, no need to recenter then. Maybe just zoom out a tad. Let's just stall the whole plane. Chad, how, what is, okay, important note, how high above sea level is New Zealand? That's a great question. <laughs> At least two, I, I know, because we could hit the ground far above zero. 3,000 feet where we are. All right, I'm going to drop down to... Let's get the let's get this to just stall and we're just going to go straight down. Why do I feel like I am on magic physics right now? Like right now we're at um 4000 49 
Okay, yeah, 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 we see some stuff. Pulling under the clouds. Where you guys want to meet on the map? Dude, it is not pretty day in uh, Mordor. This is real-time weather and lighting. Play tag with italics. That's actually kind of a good idea. Who can find me first? That's not the worst thing I've... But what if I'm... But then again, you might never find me if Carson was right and I am not online for some reason. That wouldn't be possible. Look at those waves! I didn't think that I was going to be smart enough to, like, render some choppy water during these kind of, like, nasty conditions. What's your tag? My tag is Etals. You're not with us, Italics? You should see name tags. How far away do you see name tags? By the way, Chad, are you guys getting some nasty frames? How are your frames right now? It looks like you're getting a lot of chop. Someone said 60 and someone said 25. Because, uh, like, on my game, I think it's better than it is on, on the stream for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, I'm backing out so I can make sure I'm online. We can pick a different area anyway, because you can't even see anything. I want to go somewhere that has cool live weather, though. <laughs> Sorry, Winsoran. <laughs> Instant D-face after clapping. <laughs> I try to get cute with my graphics, so that's probably why. But they said high and ultra is actually a difference there. Um, depth of field actually doesn't do what you think it does. There's no depth of field unless you're using one of the uh, show cams. No depth of field in, in cockpit or third person steering. Unless you're using like drone cams. So you can actually turn that up, believe it or not. Ambient occlusion I already toned down to high, because that's very resource intensive. I, I I bet shadows is probably worth turning down. I high to ultra contact shadows, we're really probably not gonna notice that much. Clouds are the big one, but I really want the clouds to be cool. So I'm willing to put up with some frame issues for that. And I'm gonna stop being greedy here. And I'm gonna stop being greedy here. I think the detail is good. Cause okay, believe it or not, 100 is actually considered high setting. One to 200 is considered, 200's ultra I think. So this is actually still on high. All right, new spot, chat. You picked New Zealand. Uh, you were, you may still be right. There might be a part of New Zealand that is not rainy. All right. What about? Uh, A Rocky. How far away is that from Mordor? Oh, 
that's pretty far. So Mordor is far northeast, fairly close to between Hamilton and Wellington. And then the other one is for much further southwest, kind of west of Christchurch. So let's go here. All right, new coordinates are going to be posted in the chat. I don't know if the weather's going to be the same or not. But there you go. All right, now I'm going to double, double, triple check that I'm actually an online. Because I probably wasn't. Multiplayer, all players. Visible regardless. So, uh, who's getting shadow banned? You are. So let me let me um, quadruple check that it confirmed my options. Tweak. Online on, multiplayer on. I'm good to go, dude. You can't see anyone's names because you have it disabled. Deadrim? Is that true? Are you going to make me look again? Traffic nameplates on. All right, two, two shadow bans. Incoming. This is why, you, this is why most streamers don't read chat. They just pick a funny comment out of it. Enable live players so we're all in the same weather timeline. What? Shadow ban Ace Tech. Who said that? Oh, live players. No, no, no. This is, um... This is the one for realistic air traffic control. This is not for goofing. This is the RP mode. We're going to be doing a goof-off mode. I think live players is the one where they actually have uh, the simulated ATC operator volunteers. So I don't know if we're supposed to do that. Fog here is even worse. It's totally on the, it's like four hours Southwest. New Zealand is fogbound 365. All right. Fine. But everyone everyone's going to have to change their settings if we do this. Listen, chat's the one that picked um, New Zealand. I knew they weren't to be trusted. Well, you have to change your settings, chat. You have to go to live players now. Live traffic. East USA, okay? East USA is important. You told us to pick New Zealand. No, no, no. I said Australia or New Zealand. You guys pick New Zealand. You can't keep doing this to me. It's, it's not me doing it. I'm not the one. All right, well, I can just look at this and see the weather. See, I was going to pick uh, Sydney. And you guys said New Zealand. So look at your choice and then look at mine. You guys have like this insane cloud formation moving in here. Is there a hurricane here? What is this? Sydney resident sleeper. All right, indoors. Did you suggest something with your 16 messages? Go to Gibraltar, Pog.
It's nighttime. I want to go somewhere that's not going to be like a, a serious airstrip. Chat, don't let that one guy tell me what to do. All right, we're going to um, going to Brisbane. All right, chat, I'm going to Brisbane International, and we're gonna fly. I'm gonna set a departure from Brisbane. How far away is the Gold Coast? It's gonna be like an hour in this plane. All right, forget about that. We're just gonna fly around. It really doesn't matter where the arrival is going to be. We're just going to fly around Brisbane. It's pronounced Brisbane. Don't call it trash. We haven't even been there yet. Are we trying to throw my suggestions in the bin? I just stepped on this stupid piece of metal. Listen, I need to remind myself, this is a small price to pay for human technology. We've come so far. Just tape it to your head. At this point, maybe. Flight conditions, live player, live traffic, Brisbane International. Everything's online. I'm in this stupid icon, but that's okay. I want to see what you guys do. It'll, we'll be able to take in the sights at least. I love the icon. Don't call it stupid. That's just me. The downside of this is it's an international airport. So there might be way too many planes for me to see all of you guys. We'll just fly outside of it. <sighs> Nothing is free. It's as much a curse as it is enabling technology. All right, we're in. Brisbane Tower minus one, two, three, ready at runway one, nine, or left south departure. We're in. This is an AI generated airport if you're gonna ask why it looks worse than the other ones. Wait, did they, what did they call me? Did you say one, two, three? Midas, one, two, three? Someone just spawned in me. People are spawning directly on me. I saw that. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ultimate realism. <laughs> there it goes chat. Oh, man. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone just spawned in. <laughs> We're like racing on the runway now. <laughs> Laps up, wheels up. I see people. I see auxilia. Uh, a lot of people that direction. Somebody just took a hard nosedive into the ground. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be real interesting. Uh, people are going insane. That airport actually looks pretty good. Considering it's AI. Alright, you guys should be able to see me from very far away. Chat. 
I probably just froze in midair for all of you. Did I turn AI control back? ATC? What happens if you pause while you're in multiplayer? Oh, I'm literally just paused. That's so weird. Delegate ATC to AI. Apply. The floating plane. I can't pause in multiplayer, Mom! You're gonna have to wait till this match is over! I can hear people, like, sneaking up on me. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go, let's go to, like, there's Chargoth! <laughs> let's try, I'll, I'll try and level out, see, and, like, slow the engine down. So you guys can, like, get into four <laughs> I knew there wasn't going to be collision physics, and that's probably for the best. This would be miserable otherwise. Formation flying. There's actually so many people. Poge fest? Ryla knife? I don't know who you guys are in chat. Some of you, though. Club and cats? A lot of people I see, uh, Tree Snipe, Porkinator, Zarino, still on the runway. Let's, uh, let's all land, like... This is extremely dangerous airspace! <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, isn't there, like, an island over here? Hold on, let me just open the map. There are some islands. I'll keep the map open, actually, because you guys will probably be able to use that. Let's, uh... Let's all go land on this island. So if you open up your map with V, you should see it directly... <laughs> directly east uh, of the Brisbane airport. Hi, says Pokefest. I can see people in New Zealand, but now I can't see anybody. Well, that was my problem in New Zealand. Land in the water! Okay. Flaps down. This is, this is rated for, uh, water landings. The lag is bad, like visually or internet wise. For me, it looks like everybody's actually doing one to one maneuvers. I've been buzzed by like a dozen different airplanes. People are in formation. On my side, this seems like really well done, just in terms of. I thought it was gonna be like people, like, you know what I mean? Kind of teleporting through the air if there were this many, but nah, it's actually. There's not 50, granted, but still. It, it definitely looks like one-to-one -one update movement. Nobody's teleporting around. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stall out here in a sec. I've been to a lot of air shows and nothing this goofy. <laughs> Goes Poge Fest. Dr. Wong out there. Alright, let's uh see what this looks like if we were going for an actual You think I could land inside that little catfish reservoir, whatever this is? Like right in the middle of that where that road is? <laughs> this is act this is so cool. That people in chat earlier were like, what do you even do in multiplayer if you were playing with a friend? You just fly together? It's like, yeah, dude, you fly together. What are you talking about? You just fly together? Yeah, man, look at all these planes. You guys could take like you, you know like uh bikers? People that just ride motorcycles together for fun. That's kind of what we're doing.
Oh god, we gotta land before we hit that sand dune, chat. How do I slow down? Brisbane Tower minus one, two, three frequency change. Brisbane approach minus I'm gonna hit the one, bank. Three is type icon A54 miles northeast of Brisbane Zero. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Minus one, two, three, Brisbane approach. Squawk zero, seven, four, three. Don't need brakes where I'm headed. <laughs> Not quite the uh, water landing that I had in mind. <laughs> we've we've ran aground. <laughs> oh, look how many people there are. This is an interesting landing strip in general, though. I appreciate the attempt at navigating and <laughs> barely hanging in there. <laughs> this is a sick air show, dude. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if everybody else can can like pop in. <laughs> This is pure chaos. It really is, yeah. <laughs> did you beach a seaplane? I did, yeah. <laughs> Alright, what happens if you try to put the landing gear down like this? <laughs> People are just like buzzing this little landing strip. Chad, did you know if you try to put the landing gear down in this position, it uh, doesn't... How is that still land? Is the water just really shallow right there? I think everyone's trying to land and then changing their approach when they come in too hot. Chad can maneuver, indeed. Some of you are cheating. I saw you just slam into the ground. Is this a hovercraft? Why are we going the other way? Is your landing gear deployed? Uh, yes and also no. Someone gently bump him. That would work if there was collision. Uh, there was not. I can hit the pedals and spin. You guys' planes are so huge compared to this. I think you're doing great, thank you. Yes, I have attempted to extend the landing gear already. It uh ain't working. Might have ruined everything. Um, is there a way to like pump this into reverse? This is just a lawnmower, not a weed whacker. <laughs> Wait for high tide. Can 
I wiggle out? Dude, I'm stuck. I think I'm... That was a funny one-off joke scooting on the land, but I, I actually just ruined everything. I could restart, but then I have to go all the way back. Press Y on the keyboard to reposition. Yo! One person in chat had that secret sauce? Who said that? Darth Otis. Chat did. You can't take credit for Darth Otis. Stroke of genius. I can't move now, though. Also, uh, I can't go back in the cockpit view. So, still kind of stuck. Press Y again. Oh. Uh, someone just handed me a plane ticket. This <laughs> is the subway. <laughs> Fitting uh, timing, considering... <laughs> Considering we are not air for <laughs> really. <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna do that. I just didn't know who. <laughs> I'm just surprised it took that long. <laughs> Sub dudes. <laughs> uh, I knew this was gonna be fun. Sorry we didn't do it earlier, but hey, we're here now. No use, uh... No use crying over figuring out how to start a little red zip plane for an hour and a half, which I had fun with. I did. I was giving chat some shit. You guys were giving me some. It's whatever. I enjoyed myself. Um, master on? Did I just... Well, okay. Um... You guys stay put. I'm gonna get a new plane, and I'm gonna come back, okay? I'm going to come back to the same spot. <laughs> we landed. <laughs> I like that they have a reposition button, so you don't literally have to reset the whole level if you screw up. So that's nice. It's good to know. I just assume at this point that there's literally a button for everything. Dude, you can see the people from this menu? So you can, like, try and do community meetups and stuff, and no... Aw, oh, that's pretty cool. You can see them from the overhead map. All right, I'm going back to the exact same spot. Good detail. All right, let's pick, um... I assume Beechcraft is water landable, right? But I want to fly something familiar. So I don't have to push... I, I want each new plane to be its own kind of stream experience. And I'd rather save that stuff for some single player. Okay. You know what? Let's just do the icon again. Who cares? It's fine. It has a nice view. It's it's dumb, but I, I like it. You know? I like it because it's dumb. I can't help it. Yeah, we... Okay. All right. We could just take the new stunt plane. And that way we could say... That's true. We did just learn how to do this. And we could give it give it the old chat pass by. Okay. We'll do that. We can go faster. We can do some pull some tricks. Can you spawn on somebody like Battlefield? Technically, because you can spawn anywhere you want. I could have created a custom marker and started in the air, but it's not really that far. Do you suggest the controllers you have looking to get something like this for a friend? Well, it's extremely... This this is in particular is very expensive. Um, if your friend is not an enthusiast already, I would get something cheaper because this is going to break the bank currently. Also, they're out of stock. However, if you could find these at MSRP, which is not the scalp price I paid, I think MSRP is around 500 Um, 450 to 500 after taxes. Yes, I would recommend 
this is a combo. You can buy them individually, though. These feel really good. I think the number one thing is I was worried that... I don't know if you guys can see this. I was worried these these little holes right here meant that it was going to need to be screwed in. That got, gave me a little pause. But this is so hefty that it literally doesn't move. The table moves before this moves. So really happy with this make. It's extremely solid. Buttons feel good. Good clicks. Good flip switches here. This is a replica uh, A-10 Warthog. That's why it's called the Thrustmaster Warthog. It's a replica throttle and stick. So military jets and stuff like that would be right up this alley. If you want something for casual Microsoft Flight Sim, I would recommend getting a yoke. Um, Logitech makes some. The other big brand is, um, where am I? Well, I just spawned right up a passenger jet's ass. The other one is a uh, honey comb, honeycomb, uh, yoke and throttle. Do they make a throttle or just the yoke? It might just be a yoke. But yeah, I like this. This is just really grab and go. So remember how hard it was to get the plane started earlier? Well, if you don't care for that, there you go. We're in. So you don't, don't assume just because I'm taking a long time solving something like that means you have to. If you want to just hop in and go, the game is accessible like that. Spacebar gives you a higher view over the dash. Yeah, that's the shortcut for this button, I think, right? Yeah, upper position. Good to know that that's spacebar, though. I'll try to keep that. But spacebar in this actually kind of causes clipping issues with track IR. So I'm kind of fl fine just flying low. All right, chat, I'm heading back. They, everybody in chat panicked and then reset. I want to try a landing challenge, see if we can land safely on that little dune. Is just the yoke good, or do you think the throttle is necessary? Is that an egg joke? Or maybe it's serious. <laughs> All right, uh, the yoke in question is the Y O K E for a flight stick yoke. If you want to search different ones, but uh, I think both together in tandem, even if you don't buy the same brand, having a throttle and stick makes this experience significantly. Even if it's a cheaper one, they have plenty of great ones that are like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for the for the pair which I would recommend checking those out first and making sure it's for you. Um, but I would say yes, throttle and stick. You can probably get by without pedals. The way that you can get by without pedals the easiest is if you buy a stick that has a uh, twist capability. So this stick does not twist, and I guess some people have a problem with that, but other than that, it is the like top rated by most accounts. I did a lot of research on reviews, uh, from different publications, from forums, all these threads. And it was basically like, yes, the Thrustmaster Warthog is king shit, but it's like king shit for a reason. Noom. So there, there are plenty of other choices though. Don't think you have to spend 500 bucks on this because you absolutely don't. I would say prepare to spend 150 minimum that that would be like entry level and i i'm not <laughs> no experience there in saying that but i think uh that's that's the least amount i would be willing to spend so i'm not going to recommend you do something oh that was a bounce i can't it's really hard to land this just because Just gonna soak the engine for a minute. I want to make sure that we get a, a nice good wash. Keep the paint clean.
Are we online yet? Oh, we've been online, Xenon. How do we get in the same instance? If you came in late and you want to join, you have to check your server is US East. You have to be uh, in the flight configuration, live servers, and uh, live, we wait, what was the other setting, chat? It was live server, live something else. <laughs> so much salt water. Uh, it seems that that one Ace Tech joke had <laughs> flying upside down over. As the, it's starting to multiply. Yeah, live traffic and live... Bo both the settings are to the left. Basically. Let's try and scoot back on the land here. And just make sure your online is functioning. It's just crazy to me that if you turn damage off, everyone <laughs> sees what you're doing. You guys are doing great, though. Whoops. Oh, God. I forgot my throttle was up. Dude, check out these donuts, dude. <laughs> I can like hear the sound. Yeah, that's the sound of Lost. This is this is how JJ Abrams got the inspiration to produce and direct the first episode. I think this is the part uh, where Jack sees somebody get sucked into the turbine and then helps lift a wing off of somebody else. And that's when he became the hero in my heart. And then Locke is looking around all, all crazy. Did Locke see somebody get sucked into it? Uh, Jack spawned in the trees, right? Oh, right, that was Jack. Yeah, that was Jack, because he's the main character. They had to establish main character. If Locke saw the guy and then saved another guy, he would be the main character. Jack spawned in the forest, ran to see what was going on, and we were his perspective. <laughs> Locke tries to warn the guy who gets sucked in. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, uh... Unfortunately, the other half of the plane got the really shitty spawn on the other side of the island. Um, and they got spawn camp pretty hard by Dharma Initiative, I'm pretty sure. I think that they need to rebalance those for future releases. All right, chat. Here's what we're going to do. Upside down joke is plus two. I mean, that's... I don't think that they're committed to the joke. I think they're legitimately stuck. All right, air show. Here's what we're gonna do, chat. Every single person. Is that a skin on that plane, Sergeant Angel? Every single person. Uh, fly back to and land on Brisbane. This is very surreal. Because the game is so realistic looking and everything that's happening is like at odds with that. So it just has this weird, I feel like I'm in a Battlefield moment commercial, except I didn't know that I was the point of view. It's like all this scripted close shaves Okay, so everybody lands on, um... <laughs> Alright, 
All right, hey, well, hang on. We gotta pick a better spot than that because there's gonna be potentially other people there. Or are we? We're probably the only ones. So at least I can go like a, a reasonably fast speed compared to what we're doing before. Jets are so much faster, it's crazy. This thing is really fighting me on the trim. That biplane takes off in like 10 meters? Damn fun plane. Oh yeah. Now, would that have broken the plane? I have stress damage turned off. So is there a way to check to see if, uh, if that would break the plane and end the flight? Because this is a stunt plane. You're not in the red. What red am I looking at, though? Like that. Angle of attack, red. Dude, we spun out in this thing earlier and lost all control. That's how you stall the plane right there. <laughs> I'm doing six stunts though, I guess. I can't believe this is still flying. Dude, you could really do like an air show in this thing. We're coming in hot. I, I don't even have throttle up anymore. I'm gonna go to the end of the runway, chat. Okay, end of the runway. All the way at the other side. This game is so cool. Just that you can, this is what video games are about though. If you, whatever you want out of this, you'll get it. Do you want like a, hyper-realistic flight simulator where you have to push every single- like, the game we played at the beginning of the stream and the game we're playing now are two different games. You know what I mean? We're playing, like, GTA with no crashing at this point. And we were playing, like, full simulation at the beginning. Two different games in one. It's just a sandbox. What do you want out of it? You'll find it. And I love that. I wish there were more video games like that. Animal Crossing is kind of the same way. It does have a lot more objectives in Animal Crossing, which is kind of what I got out of it. And that's what I was happy to get out of it. Kind of kissed the runway there, but... But we good. Do you want it to be just this arcade goof fest where like 747s and 787s are just ripping by you with your friends? Just so you can see how psycho that looks? Yeah, you can do that. Like, what? <laughs> how did you guys just frame rate by the <laughs> Here come like the Dreamliners. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like a... A nightmare scenario, Thomas the Tank Engine, and, uh, like, all the, all the evil trains are, are riding up on me with smirks on their faces right now. Who was that main guy? Wasn't one, is, wasn't his name actually Tom? Wasn't Tom the Dick that looked kind of like Thomas? He was also blue, but he was, like, larger and bigger. And kind of, kind of a dick. Gordon. Gordon, of course. How can I forget my man Gordon? I swear there was a guy named Tom, though. All right, I'm gonna stall my plane. It's fine. I gotta look this up. Thomas Tank Engine Characters. Gordon did suck, but he had the coolest looking train. Oh, there's too many now, They because they have so many more shows. Hey, 
Anyway, uh, they have a- did you guys know there's a Thomas the Tank Engine fandom? Who's in the truck? Dude, I wish some of you guys could drive trucks. This guy's just peeling on up in here. Why is there a truck on the drive? Okay, so, uh, anyway, Edward is one of the other guys. Edward was pretty chill. Edward was also a blue boy. Wasn't James, like, a kind of a piece of shit? There's too many characters, Chad. There are 282 different characters. Tom's Tank Engine. There's also a blue boy named Bert. I don't know if that's a new one or not, because I don't recognize that. All right, enough Tom's Tank Engine. Let's do something with all these people. So here's what we're gonna do, chat. All right, you guys are crowding the runway. If you're looking in the stream and you don't see yourself, go further to the sides. Everybody try and line up like we were, we're in a Fast and Furious drag race, okay? Go as far to the sides as you need to be on the screen. I see, when you guys creep in, you just vanish. Why is this truck still here? Can I even hit that? Alright, or directly in front, I guess. <laughs> First of all, uh, while we hide inside to avoid the noise, can I just say I'm happy that, uh, we're even getting, like, 25 frames per second with all these planes on screen. And also, I'm happy that, uh, there, there is a lot of you. Because you might remember before these, these streams, I was expressing concerns that I was going to be like, Hey guys, come on, let's fly! And nobody was going to be there, or maybe like one or two people. So, I'm sorry for challenging Microsoft on their claim of 50 closest planes, because I'd have to say there's at least 25. That are maybe not necessarily directly around us, but within sight. I think there's so many of you that I don't even see name tags for the ones right next to me anymore. Alright, we'll give you guys another, like, minute or so to get ready, and then we are all gonna go on, uh, we all know which plane I'm in. You probably see my name tag. I'm gonna give you guys a countdown, and we're all gonna take off at the same time. Okay. Where are you gonna fly? Well, we're pointing straight down the runway. It's pretty much just water. Okay, so take off. Head directly straight until you hit the coast. Only then bank and turn and just follow the coastline. Okay. Where is actual, like, the city of Brisbane? Like, if I wanted to go check out the city, chat, which way? Bank which direction? I was gonna say left. Follow, keep the coast on your left. I can't wait for someone to fly into italics. They already have, many times. There's no physics for collisions. This is kind of spooky. Syntax, is it really like back here? All right, well, what? We'll just follow the coast up and around. Probably won't fly that far. 
So, you're gonna fly straight out. Don't turn till you're, the water is below you, then turn left and keep the coast on your left. It's on the river. So like, right here? I can't hear you over these planes. Well, I want I want to do a flight where everybody sticks together. Just follow the river, but we're facing the wrong way. And I'm not going to make everybody turn around. So... Are there any other points of interest along this? Because it's not going to be logistically possible. Hello, Vesper. How's it going? How do you get to stop saying landing gear? If you're flying, you probably need to put your landing gear up. So this is probably push the landing gear hotkey, which for me is a button on my thing. South to Sydney. That's too far of a flight from my little stupid plane. All right, chat. We're just going to do what I said. We're going to fly straight. Don't turn until you hit the water. Follow the coast and we'll just hang out. Okay? Sound good? Uh, everybody who's going to be ready, ready. I got like 10 frames per second because there's so many planes. Let's take a look around first. <laughs> Follow the coast left. Keep the coast on your left. All right. I'm gonna give this person a chance to line up. Stop doing donuts! All right. Everyone, um, at the same time, Engage your throttle, but keep your parking brake and uh, foot brakes on. Rev your engines as loud as they can possibly go while staying still. Jets. Oh my god. Sorry, so I, I was just trying to look. Don't follow me. Just do what I said. You guys gotta go in front of me. So I can see you all without turning around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go medium speed, but just follow the plan. <laughs> Ice cream man. Alright, I got- I'm, I'm gonna go like, uh... Throttle's like a 50% for me. You guys can zoom past me. Follow the plan. Straight to the coast, then bank left. Yeah, I know some of them are gonna go way faster than jets. I just wanna see them all... new on by. Okay, it's gotta, it's gotta be like total... That's gotta be 30 people. Cause I don't even think it's showing all the nameplates. You guys could try a formation, but my airspeed is measured... Well, yeah, it's measured in knots. We could try matching airspeed. I'll, uh... I could set an airspeed and we could try to go in formation. Alright, we are over the water. So we're gonna bank left. I know obviously I can turn a lot tighter than the jets. 
but that's why I'm here. All right, I'm going to set my airspeed at... Let's go ahead and fix the trim first. Let's go. We got to go slower for anybody that's in an Icon. I don't know if the big planes can stay airborne below 80. Let's go like 80. I'm going to try and match 80 knots. Going a little too slow. 80's pretty slow, but we've got some slow people back here. Look at everybody up there, dude. Trying to pull my trim down. You can actually see the trim meter. It's a little bit particular with where the trim actually goes. Like, on this utensil. Alright, I'm at like 85. I'm gonna try and throttle down a little more. Surprisingly, you guys are doing a pretty good job there. Alright, I'm approaching 90. Hold on. Whoever is... Whatever that plane is, is the most realistic sound. I got some aileron... as well, which I learned how to do today. I'm going, I'm going too fast. Alright, well, we're already at 90, so I guess 85 to 90. Hard to stay level. There we go. There we go. Trim is looking good. We're going a little too slow now. It's really hard to maintain a speed without an autopilot. Now the trim's too high. We're coasting right under a few people. But yeah, adjusting the trim to your, like, throttle is what really gets me. Alright, that looks pretty good. A little too high still. I want to see some of the land, dude. There's at least 10 to 12 planes behind. Probably even more. See, now we're going 100. Yeah, I know Sydney's the other way. We're not going to Sydney. Squid. The next major destination would be Cairns. Interesting. Okay. Look at... Uh, Getting a little close to the water there. <laughs> you faded out of existence. All right, where's the other uh, Red Barons that are here? Where's the other stunt planes? I want to see... I see at least two in the rear view. Checking to see if anybody's above. This thing is pretty slick. There's an icon. All right, maybe we're going slow enough for the icon then. Red Cliff is in five nautical miles, chat. Whoops, hold on. Welcome aboard, now there. <laughs> I can't even hear it. <laughs> Jake Sunshine says, nine months, my streamer baby is ready. Is this... Hello, Jake Sunshine. Weather right now in Australia is much nicer than in New Zealand. It's a really cool bridge. I wonder how many people got lost along the way. Was there a raid just a minute ago? Uh, I don't know. I saw somebody in chat mention it. Hello, people who just popped in. 
We're doing some multiplayer shenanigans right now. You're welcome to join if you want. We're on East Coast server, uh, just n northwest of Brisbane, on live. Sorry for those of you getting timed out by Nightbot. <laughs> I need to probably lax the uh, emote timeout. I haven't touched that in like three years. It's just been the same the whole way. Unofficial raid. Well, hello, unofficial raiders. <laughs> yeah, I think I said Nightbot, like, it, probably 2017, and then just haven't touched it since. But you know what? I like it because it establishes dominance early. If you're a new viewer, you got to understand there's a pecking order around here. And uh, if you step out of line even a hair... You will be smashed down like the nail that you are by the hammer of this chat, okay? So I just want to make sure that our first impression's accurate. Clubbing Cats is chilling down there. You see Chargoth way in the back? We got some nice fields going on right here. This is just like mind-numbingly incredible that you can fly around with this many people probably even more we just lost some along the way uh, I'll turn on GPS tracking and like zoom out a sec so you if you got lost you can kind of head towards us some of you are in jets that can catch up really really easily but I'm just gonna take a little detour from the coast because I just want to check out this little is there really water and like boats and oh that's awesome they have like they have their own piers hold on I don't think that... <laughs> I mean, they do have rules of flying. We are in Australia, after all. So, up till now, we haven't really been role-playing to that effect. But I think now it's responsible if we could all pay respect to uh, the rules of the road here. There's the Australia joke. It had to happen. Canals, that's the word I was looking for. Look how many people there are. What is this little, uh, it's not really an island so much as it is a little um, sandbank out here with a, with a couple of trees on it. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, crank up the engine real quick so I can take a peek. I live there. It's not a peninsula. Peninsula would have to be connected. Is that a bug? Uh, probably not. But there are bugs in this game, and honestly, they're hilarious. We saw cars driving up, um, some, the sides of some buildings earlier, and it was pretty funny. But yeah, you can just see that the satellite did what it could with this little zone. I, I do, I think I like it better to have the 2D boats than to have nothing. I like that it tried to AI imprint the image of what's there. You know, it's whatever. All right, let's go to Red Cliff chat. Meet you in Red Cliff. Do you make the rules for peninsulas, Italics? do now if you're here you're playing by my rules so where was the unofficial raid from what how did you even get here how do you how do you end up somewhere like this on an unofficial raid EJSA unofficial raid okay well thank you so much oh you hosted thank you so much for the host much appreciated. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little distracted by uh, the 20 frames per second and <laughs> all these people <laughs> chasing me. feel like I'm trying to get away. 
But I hope you had a good stream. And uh, thanks to new people for popping in. It's hard to look at chat and also all of this insanity at the same time. You overshot the runway. We weren't trying to land. We were just checking it out. Maybe, maybe they're trying to land. Touch and go. <laughs> I assume you might have been playing some Microsoft Flight Sim yourself. If so, I hope you had fun and I hope you had a good stream. Sorry for my uh, lack of courtesy and graciousness. But I do appreciate it. Welcome all new people. Whether you popped in, said hi, got wrecked by Nightbot, or uh, heard me open my mouth and then instantly left. Whatever the case may be, listen, I'll, I'll be your Jack Sparrow, okay? That may be the worst streamer you've ever heard of, but you have heard of me. At least you have now. Did he just miss that? I did. What, what happened? I see people with custom liveries. Do we got people with custom skins? Let's see. Show them off. Someone asked what GPU I have? Uh, do we still have a specs, um... Computer... Sorry, let me talk in here. Do we still have a PC... Exclamation something? Uh, to answer your question, it's a MSI RTX 2080 Trio. And I would be getting more frames than this if A, I wasn't streaming, and B, I didn't have three cameras plugged into my computer right now. Literally every single USB port that my poor computer could support is full. It's a good attempt. Tree Sniper, you're living up to your name right now. Chat has a... I feel like I'm in like a post-apocalyptic TV show when the first sign of trouble is a bird falls out of the sky. You know? That's what happened. And they go, hmm, that was weird. A bird just like died in midair? Mid I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. I'm just gonna go back to my normal day job. And then later on, they're dead and they were the fake main character. Why are you guys all flying behind me, okay? This is the stream. You're the one that everyone's supposed to be looking at, yet you're all behind me like, hey, look, the streamer's just up there. Oh, isn't this so nice? I love coming to Brisbane this time of year because it's got streamers in it. I just like to go people watching. I just like to fly right behind them and see what they're doing. Oh, because you don't know where I'm going to go next and you don't want to lose me. That's why. The <laughs> Mama Duck. They're afraid of veering off in one direction. I, wa I, I got all you guys in the game on stream so I can watch what you guys do. Not so you could just watch me fly in a straight line. Here, let me entertain you. We're fine. This is fine. <sighs> See? Easy. Joyce, uh, listen, if you tried to pull out of that tailspin with a keyboard... No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Now everyone else replicate that. The joystick there was integral. Everyone needs to get the same plane. Well, we... A nice job. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's, let's have a, a trick contest. All right, do you guys see um, that patch of beach north and east that's kind of sticking out um, into some kind of channel? We're going to do an air show. We kind of already have been, but you guys are going to show me your best moves. But you have to do it directly overhead, and we're going to score you. We're not going to keep track of it, though, because that's too much work. Oh, that's the custom livery. Cool. Maybe not. Maybe that just looks exactly like mine. Okay. I think it's literally identical. I just assumed it was different. Where is it? Alright, we're getting some lag when we look a certain direction, but there's just, there are like 30 planes being rendered when I look that way. That is not a beach. That is actually just an inhabited society. 
Alright, where's a good landing spot to put down? Too many forests out here. That field is way too narrow for most of these planes. Hmm. Nothing is clear over here. We could just fly to the airport. It's four nautical miles away. Head inland for desert. That's going to take like two hours. <laughs> we can only go like 140 miles an hour. And we're on the farthest corner. <laughs> okay. That was just a straight drop. That was like tunneling into the center of the earth. <laughs> Alright, this one's three. We're going to go to Kabulcher Airport. Just teleport. You you could just teleport. We're gonna go to Kabucha Airport 2.5. It's really close. <laughs> it's a uh, YCAU if you're looking at your VFR map. That's where we're gonna head. I'm on US East Live Players Live Weather. That's true. don't have a stupid username that makes me have to turn off all tags and stop playing multiplayer because I I mean honestly we are gonna stop playing multiplayer uh, sooner or later because I want to fly a passenger jet so my title is not a debate we haven't flown a passenger jet yet Alright, here we are. It's really difficult to slow down in this. But really actually quite fun to fly in third person mode. Look at the wind simulation. I'm coming in almost sideways. How do you land like that though? Alright, we got a touchdown chat. They have no shadow here. I'm going too fast! <laughs> I just crashed into another plane. <laughs> it's fine, we're just goofing off. <laughs> that guy's dead. Uh, we, we'll turn damage and stuff back on when we do an actual flight. <laughs> this is a pretty small airport, to be fair. Uh, the passenger jets ain't gonna make it. <laughs> I would just give you the cockpit view, but you can't see anything like this. Um, unfortunately, one of the worst cockpits to try and drive in a straight line with. And yes, I have hit spacebar. This is as high as it goes. I feel like we just did the thing where you know, you know in movies about sailing and being at sea, uh, when the little tugboat has just escaped, like, and they're, they're rowing along, and then they just see the ocean liner, uh, uh, like, getting just into view, and then they have to get out of the way because it's going right for them for some reason on the entire ocean. And then the the waves are gonna crash up against them. That's what it feels like when I when I'm driving this thing. I can barely see over the dash. In real life, you touch your left wheel down, then correct as you touch the rest of the plane. How are you? How do you air brake in this thing? I don't know how to. I guess you just have to start your descent and slowing down long before. All right, here's what we gotta do. First of all, I'm gonna turn the volume down. Remind me to turn it back up once we get into single player. Okay, I just cut it by half. So you guys should be a little better off. 
we're gonna go closer to the center and then uh, we're gonna look for tricks so we need some we need some people who are willing to do some stunts over this airfield got the brakes on but we're like off the ground All right, let's go, uh, this cam. And then we can, like... Okay, so that just zooms back around. There's really not a way to organize this. People are landing still. Why does that one have like a smoke trail? I think I see what's about to happen. Are you doing a loop? I wanna zoom in. How do you, oh, I know how to do it. I think I see where this is going. God, I have to stop hitting five. If you hit number five, it resets everything. It's really hard being the cameraman with the keyboard. No tricks, no points of, oh. Big loop. Okay, we got one single loop, really high up. I give you a three and a half for completing the loop, but from way too safe of a distance. I'm gonna be a strict judge. I feel like I'm watching real handheld footage of an air show. That one hit the trees, zero points, not a complete trick, and not proportionally over the airfield, Porkinator. The closer you are to the audience, from, I mean, obviously this is a safe distance you being on the other side of a monitor. Nobody has done any tricks that are like here. They're all like a thousand meters this way. Ace Tech's gonna give it a go. I don't think Ace Tech's... Zero points. Alright, well, somebody just... Hang on. I'm... This is all messed up. There we go. Go see if he's okay. All right, somebody volunteer in chat so I know who to look at, because there's too many people going different directions. How am I supposed to pick one? I'm trying to base it on proximity. Some of that you tried, but you're way over there. Yep, and you crash. Zero points. So far, no one scored. Three and a half is currently the leading score. Sergeant Angel, doomed. Just flying low over an airfield doesn't give you any points. Crashed. You'd think with this many people, there'd be somebody. Some of you guys are going to fade in and out of existence if there's more than 50 people nearby as well. So that may be part of the problem. There may actually be too many people around. I heard that, but I didn't see it. Alright, we got, uh, I'll give that upside down flyby. I'll give it a four. 
gotta start somewhere. Alright, I think this isn't a... No, it's Tree Sniper. He's just gonna crash into the ground right in front of me. Actually didn't. However, wow, you guys are <laughs> really high up there. I feel like I'm, f I'm in a kite flying park. <laughs> I know the reason you can't do tricks, because you're, you you're trying to do something. You're looking over at the stream to see if you're in camera before you, before you attempt it. <laughs> well, dirigible. Um, I hope the airbag deployed. Air show smoke DLC is genius. Hire Hypo Cube for DLC. That would be amazing. Alright, Ace Tech, uh, you try it again. Chat, I'm gonna say it's my turn. I gave you guys plenty of time. Maybe I just didn't see one of you doing something amazing. But if you're not in this angle view, you're probably not doing anything good. Chargoff's gonna give it a go. Ooh, uh, it's you, you touched the ground. If this was American Ninja Warrior Chargoff, you would have been disqualified. Your toe touched the water, but since this is not American Ninja Warrior, I will give you a, at least a six because you didn't bounce. So I say you're the high score right now. That was definitely, like, the closest best attempt. <laughs> All right. Uh, blocks, if you didn't crash at the end of that, was about to get, like, an eight, but I saw you upside down scrape the trees and the ground at the very tail end of that. Uh, that was actually going to be the best one. <laughs> Witness me. <laughs> That's basically what's going on. Uh, box? That looked pretty good, but I didn't see the whole thing. You guys are getting some speed. There's two blocks here, I think. Alright, Tree Sniper, I think, is actually trying. It was, it was a successful loop. But definitely not better than Chargoss. Yes, hello. <laughs> Photos taken seconds before the disaster. Like, freeze-framed right there at the end. I saw my life flash before my eyes. <sighs> Alright, my turn. Enough observing. Let's go back in the air. Can't believe my engine's still on. This is chaos. actually chaos. This is probably not good for the wing. I'm trying to see if, like, this changes anything. What's the fastest you can go? gonna pull back. I want to see how far you have to go before you can actually, like, act, lift off. Wow. That ain't very far, dude. And we pick up speed insanely fast. 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Alright, my turn. I want to do it too. That's a zero. That's a zero. Nose down, ass up. That's a zero. Okay, we're back. Everyone else is joining. I see that, yeah. 
This thing is extremely nimble, though. All right, see, woo, dead. Is this an oil patch? Oh my, that just shot me up to 140. Dead. All right, here we go. Look at the, look at how I'm just flying sideways. The wind simulation's crazy. All right, so I was just trying to see my limitations. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! He's lost control! <sighs> that would have been pretty sick. Dude, ATC must be having a panic attack right now. It, they must, yes. Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't... I hear someone. This thing steers so I can't see. Is there really an ATC? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Air traffic controllers are all over the place. So really, I just need I just need to be like building my forward momentum before I try anything like that. All right, let's try it. Let's get it. Let's get a nice runoff. Ignore the trees. We're just goofing right now. We'll do something serious in a moment. I know some of you were here for the, the simulation, but it's nice to blow off some steam. We've been doing, we did that for the first three hours. We're goofing for another two, doing some multiplayer. We should do, um, well, a race would be dumb because the Jets would automatically win. We would have to be same plane, and I just frankly don't trust all of you to get the same plane. Right now, Chargoff is probably the winner of the competition, Kyra Toby. I didn't, we were there for like 10 minutes. There was plenty of time, and there's like 30 people here. So there's like 20 people here now, but there were like 30 in sight. All right, let's try this. Build some good speed. Come in low. This just feels so strange. Come in low. That was not even a good loop. And you crash. Okay, I w this is actually interesting to me to figure out the physics of... Because I trust these physics implicitly. Yeah, laugh it up, chat. I know, it's hard, but, like, I, anyone can do a loop up here, right? When you have unlimited space to fall, that's easy. Doing a loop on the ground, that's why it's so dangerous. See, watch this. Like, if you're just this high in the air... And you got a nice cruising speed of over a hundred knots. And it's just as simple as hold stick back, let it fall a little bit, pull up, and you're out. Easy. Like it's it, a regular old loop. Nobody cares about. It's the one that's right off. I can do a loop on the ground, but it's horizontal. Do you want to see a horizontal loop? It's called stall your plane in midair. Almost. A little bit more space. Possible. Maybe. That was worth a one. I got a one. I looked at Timfish, and Timfish made me crash. All right, enough goofing. Uh, chat, multiplayer ideas go. What do you want to do? Icon race. Is the Icon a regular plane or a uh, deluxe plane? Grand Canyon race. But there's no rules. So how do I know someone that got there first didn't just fly up and over everything? Canyon run is a good idea. Is this plane... Regular or no? Six, 
This thing is just so much fun to barrel roll in. Or it's not, I know it's technically not barrel rolling, but whatever you call. Whatever the technical term is for that. What about a nose down loop? That's just not really doable. Aileron roll. Yeah. At least I knew that I wasn't technically correct. Any way to reset your logbook hours profile? I have no idea. I wanted that myself. All right, let's try, um... Let's try... I want to try, like, a... My favorite move in any plane game. Like, combat. The old up, side down... Corkscrew out. Oh, that's like not really possible unless you have good speed. You need a lot more room. Okay, let's try to build up speed. Change direction slightly. Okay, 140. Loop. You need to be you need to be like an X-wing for that. Okay, all right, that was better. Had to shake it out, but, uh, actually reversed our direction perfectly. We're heading straight towards, uh, the airport we just came from. That was pretty close, yeah. The hard part is, you kind of have to let yourself fly, see how it's straightening out. The seatbelt sign is on, which means the five of you lined up outside of the laboratory will be presented with a cup. Please return to your seat and use it at your earliest discretion. So you want to know what's something funny? Uh, I actually added some more Easter eggs before this stream, and I've only heard one of them. So I don't know if it's just broken or that RNG. Thank you, Xenophanes, for five gift subs. Much appreciated. CG Core Zard, Weekendering, EDSK, White Fox are all here. Thanks, guys, for being here, and thank you for the gift subs. Much appreciated. All right, I want to try that move one more time. So it's basically this. We're going to do it softer, then roll out. All right, that was smooth. That was about as smooth as I'm going to get. That one's really fun. All right, let's try um, roll, then f roll, then backwards. So, like, do the same thing, but in reverse. Oof. That's tough, and you're fighting against gravity because it's throwing you 140 miles an hour in the wrong direction. So it's like, hard roll, down. Mm. That's about as good as it's gonna get, I think. This plane is insane, though. The reverse Immelman. This plane's really fun. Oh, you can... Dude, I can target the closest plane with trigger? That would have been, like... You guys would have melted your brains. That would make the air show easier, huh? I think it's just it just auto switches to the closest one though, so it would actually mind melted. Yeah, see it would have <laughs> would have done that. So not as useful as you might think. But still. You can lock on other people, which is if you're flying with friends, like and there's only like a couple of you, maybe three, four, that would be really useful. Like, hey guys, I don't want to fly with name tags. Okay. You don't have to. Sure, that could be distracting. Where are you? And use this to kind of line yourself up with the... There, there are other hotkeys to configure as well. How high up can you go? I think somebody tested it. You can go pretty high up in the atmosphere. With this plane, you definitely can't go that high. We need a jet. Whose, like, country mansion is this? <laughs> Coming in for a landing. All right. Hey, tech counted. All right. Chat. Let's uh let's change pace here a little bit. 0. Let's change pace. Let's go to the canyon. Main menu time. I guess we're going to head to, um, is it most dangerous flyable canyon?
the rainy pass among Alaska's deadliest places for pilots. I don't think that's like a canyon course though. I think that's just like a dangerous place to fly. Thanks for visiting my country. We might come back, Squid. There's a lot, there's just a lot to see in the world right now, you know? It's fun to just go to all these different places. Honestly, it was beautiful, but you can see here's here's kind of like where the the verdant grass is and this is where the desert is. But it's crazy to think how much of Australia's population, right? lives from how green is Perth? Do you know where how I know Perth? Because it's in the best show that's ever been on TV, The Leftovers. Uh, someone just handed me a plane ticket. This <laughs> is the subway. So I'm assuming that the majority of the population is over here. It would make sense. But I wonder what population percentage is in this. Because it's just insane to think about how big Australia is, right? Which... Is it safe to assume since this is, um... Satellite image created Earth, right? That we're not going to have the standard inaccuracies that a flat map would when it comes to scale of different countries. Because that's really interesting to think about, right? Like, I saw a uh, Simcopter talking about this too. Like, when you look at a flat map, right? Antarctica, what's that effect called? Is it the. Co what, what effect is that? Play Flight Sim GeoGuessr, hide the screen, choose a spot on Earth, start flying, see how long it takes people in chat to fly up next to you. That would be good if all of chat was playing, but it's possible no one would figure it out. Mercator. Mercator projection, yeah. That's the one. But anyway, um... Consider, for example... Well, I wish I could light the entire globe. But, like, look at Africa, and consider how massive it actually is. But on on the world map, the United States here actually looks obviously normal size, what it's supposed to. And you could roughly fit the whole of the United States right here. So like at least three United States could fit in Africa, maybe four. Canada, yeah, as well. Uh, obviously it's hard to see right now. I could change the time of day. Probably, well. Greenland looks like the same size as Africa. Exactly. Canada, you're so icy. Where's my friend Alaska? Same thing, Alaska looks like a mega country by itself. And obviously it's a big place, but it ain't, it ain't that big as it looks. Keflavik. Well, I like that there's so many things on the map that the map is lagging. Also, um, let's change the time again. Dude, Indonesia is actually huge. If you remove the cloud cover, it is a massive place. Also, it's just insane to me that, like, after New Ze <laughs> after New Zealand, uh, aside from some islands, it's just like, 
Yeah, I guess uh, nobody wants to live there. This place kind of sucks. The, the Pacific. Man, just put some scattered islands that people can fight over. And eventually Hawaii coming to the U.S. You missed a spot. <laughs> but it's weird, right? You don't really think about that until you see the globe. That I am not zoomed in. I'm not really framing this in a particular way. There are areas of the whole Earth where we're looking at not really 50% here. We're looking at like 35, 40%, right? Of the whole Earth. And it's just Hawaii and a handful of, of islands. Can you imagine, though, like, before satellite imagery, trying to find all those islands? Obviously, planes uh, helped because they could have aircraft carriers and stuff eventually. I know these were settled long ago, but, like, planes are probably one of the things that made it easiest to find all these. People were sailing the globe in, you know, 15, 1600s, just looking for whatever they could find and sticking their flag in it as fast as they could for for generations people that's all they did was just sail around looking for land <laughs> it's weird to live in a time where we uh we know where every single landmass is big or small in the entire world like guarantee it's just weird now we gotta explore space and then someday Maybe thousands of years from now, maybe hundreds of years from now. If someone's going to say the same about us, like, can you imagine those idiots just looking out here? Dude, they didn't know that, like, Xenon 7 was right there. Oh, my God, those idiots. If only they would have gone there, that would have been magical to them. They would have understood the concept of setting foot on a planet and uh, the spirit of the world speaks to your conscience and grants your every wish and lets you attain nirvana as soon as you set foot on it. Those idiots were still like, they thought it was cool to simulate uh, what we now consider our permanent reality with rudimentary binary number combinations. <laughs> what did I just walk in on? Uh, that's a good question. Golden Fishy, thank you for the, the gift sub as well. The KBS <laughs> milk. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you. Man, can can the earth stop lagging IRL, please? Thank you. Melted Clowns doesn't know about <laughs> Xenon 7. <laughs> oh, th dude, I kind of want to go. I'm not going to do this now. But I kind of want to fly to SFO. I know it's pretty standard, but I feel like flying around Golden Gate would be a really fun flight path. And also, SFO San Francisco is a like fully detailed one of the, the airports that they did. That's near me! Dude! I want to see Area 51. Well, there's nothing there. Okay, Area 51's a myth. So chat, where's the best place to spawn in for Grand Canyon? Without any like identifying characteristics, I have no idea where around Arizona the Grand Canyon actually is. I just know it's about three and a half hours from Vegas. So I'm assuming this, this is only a four hour drive. This is only like a four hour, five, six hour drive. I think from, from uh, Las Vegas to LA is four hours. So this is about five. Flagstaff by that lake. LV then go east. Okay, so it's like north of all this. Oh, okay, gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, we'll set Flagstaff as the departure then. There's actually a Grand Canyon Airport, for real? was it called? Oh, here you go. Okay. Sweet. Wow, I didn't know it was that tall. I didn't know it was that high up. For some reason, I imagined it being like 
here. I'm very, I, I know nothing about geography, chat, but I'm not embarrassed to tell you because I feel like video games are a wonderful tool. I learned so much from playing Crusader Kings of uh, world maps, de jure areas. If you don't know something, there's no time like the present to figure it out, you know? And especially a game like this, or if you play GeoGuessr, it's a great excuse to just figure out where everything is. Learn a little bit. Not only are you figuring out where it is on a map, but you're gonna remember because learning map locations is stupid. Just looking at this and being like, hey, Grand Canyon there, nerd. Okay, uh, San Francisco, northwest of LA. All right, uh, Portland. Then we've got Tacoma in Seattle. And then we got Vancouver. All right, you can look at that and re regurgitate that information on a test, or you can play Microsoft Flight Sim and just click on a place, be like, hmm, I want to know more about that. Okay, here you go. This is my departure. Uh, I fly there now. Let's go check it out. Not only do you find out where it is on a map, you actually get, like, to frame that basic book knowledge around context that will give you something to visually identify and uh, recall when you are thinking about it in the future. So it's a wonderful learning tool. Honestly, Microsoft Flight Sim should be in schools. It really should. Just give them an Xbox controller, turn all the settings down to easy, and teach this in a geography course. Because I would remember so much more as a kid if I had been able to just go wherever the teacher was talking about in a video game and look at it. Sure, you can go there in Google Maps and Google Earth and stuff, and I think those are valuable as well for different things. But it's a little different when you're like, let's learn about the Ga Grand Canyon, and we're going to fly through it, by the way. Like, that, that takes it to a different interactive level. And you can just spawn in here. Now, uh, unfortunately, they made Microsoft Flight Sim for the schools of the future, because none of these schools are going to have... Uh, RTX-capable graphics cards in their computer labs. So, <laughs> maybe they can play 30 FPS on Xbox One. Does anyone, has anyone played this on Xbox yet? I'm, I'm curious how it is. Not out on Xbox yet, really. But it's gonna be, right? Did you just make that up? Oh god, everyone's here. They're all here! Maybe I need to get a graphics card from the future. Ooh. So chat, where is the like... Honestly, Grand Canyon is probably an insanely popular spot. Probably half these people are just here. Just because, you know? Now they're about to be invaded. Yeah, this probably is a really popular online spot. Uh, did I just choose? Wait a second, I changed my settings. So how are you guys gonna get into my game? Do you have, I just did all players? What did I choose? I don't know, I still don't know how to get in with other people. Uh, make sure your online is enabled in your settings, and then click on flight conditions before you launch and make them the same as the people you want to play with, or invite them to a group if you know them in person. We can still join, I saw you on the live map. You have the same weather as me? Yeah, you have to be on the East Coast server. That is also true. Satellite is going to be really, really spotty down here, because if you think about it, the way that they take pictures, the flatter the land, the better the image they're gonna get. The satellite would have to take, uh, the more shaped it is, the more pictures they have to take in order to get detail. Because they have to take it from s different angles. So that's why it's gonna look weird when we're actually flying down here. However, the shape is still correct, even if the texture's wrong. Well, or at least it's similar.
So like where see you can probably tell a couple of areas where the satellite was angled. It looks like it had a better angle of the left than the right. So if you want to see how scary this would be in person. This is uh what it would look like. Now this is pod racing. I see a lot of different planes coming down here. Hang on. Hold on. I gotta fix my tiara. Chat, don't crash, okay? So I can get more accurate, uh... Ooh, beautiful. What time of day did we pick? Okay, woo! Very dark in the Grand Canyon right now, as you, uh, as you might guess. Uh, the sun goes down. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm a streamer. I just stay inside and play video games all day where I have full control and don't have to expose my fleshy, tender bits to the nasty and heated gaze of the sun as it watches me with anger in its eyes. This part's really cool. All right, so here we go. We kind of got out of, this is a little bit wider chasm. So it's got a little bit more detail because it wasn't as shrouded and obscured. I love the little algae bits that are kind of baked into the texture. Gives it a really nice look. It's also kind of just fun to bounce inside the cockpit just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm a search and rescue team. <laughs> yes, we have found the uh, the downed passenger jet that got lost in the Grand Canyon earlier today. Dispatch, how should I respond? Yes, I can still see that there are indeed people on board. They're in the windows. They s Sir. I don't want you to take my pilot's license, but they all just vanished. We might be at a new Bermuda Triangle. It's moving. There's an idea for a television show. All right, we've already got episodes and TV shows about the Bermuda Triangle. What if the Bermuda Triangle started moving? And just different, like, triangular sections of the world just started slowly vanishing as it rolled across the landscape. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. <laughs> New SCP. <laughs> Ooh, easy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is what it would look like if you accidentally flew in. Playing this in stream multiplayer is as if you pierce the veil of the Bermuda Triangle and all you find is a purgatory where every other pilot is still stuck perpetually flying trying to get out. You, when you all enter, your timeline becomes the same. And you're all flying like different planes from different time periods. And everyone's trying to get out. Nobody knows how. Uh, and somehow it defies the laws of time and physics. Because you all, as soon as you get in, it just started. So nobody else ever appears. It starts everyone at the same time by that logic, right? No one else can enter after you. No one else has entered before you. You all enter simultaneously and just go. How, how are you guys stopping in the water and then you're ahead of me? By like a lot. Yeah, there was no way we were going to do a race here. But it's really fun to fly through. You just kind of talk and look at it. Seeing the Grand Canyon in the game anyways was kind of cool. You're not supposed to fly this low. Let's actually just pull up. Oh, we need to get we need to get some juice before we stall. Uh, it'd be cool to see this from above. Probably slow mo cheaters, probably. Yeah, there's like a thing you can do. They're probably gonna patch it out, but you can like use 
active pause to build up momentum and then slingshot. I don't even know what my active pause button is. Chat, what's my active pause button? Luckily, you can't win at Microsoft Flight Sims. So there's really no reason to ban anybody over it. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Cheating in a sim game. <laughs> All right, it's just... What is it? Pause break key. What is that? Are there going to be mods for this? I believe so. They have uh, the ability to make liveries, which are basically skins, and uh, third-party planes and airports that can be sold on the marketplace. Maybe people will release certain things for free. But they're not going to release any, like, full-scale planes for free, probably. Above page up. Oh. But I'm sure if you wanted to release something for free, you probably could. But someone's got to make it. A tractor beam. That's funny. Building up speed for over 24 hours. Ready? Three, two, one. How do you do it? That just paused me. That actually just worked like normal. Do you mash it? Oh, my speed is going up, yeah. Well, now it's not. Press Y. Wall paused? Y just resets your plane. Anyway, you should be able to do whatever you want. It's just a flight sim. There should be like a... Honestly, though... There should be a realism mode for people who really want the full simulation that to play with other people on, so there's not jackasses like me ruining it for them. But we're going places where they shouldn't be anyway. I've avoided the major airports, so I didn't ruin anyone else's fun. Grand Canyon, no one's gonna... If you're in a sim, you're not gonna be flying in the middle of the Grand Canyon. Brisbane, uh... and Mordor. We, we didn't go anywhere that is going to hurt anybody else's experience. So. We're just having some fun off by ourselves. This is extremely cool, though. Beautiful mountains. Marble Canyon Airport coming up, huh? try to see how low you can get. The third person is actually pretty flyable like this. And it's very mesmerizing, you know? It's really fun to fly in both modes. I usually go first person only, but for stuff like this, what is this? That is a tall bridge. We're going to crash into it. Is that a... No, we're not. That guy cra... What? Okay. Woo. I thought that was going to be like a, a hitbox. But yeah, it's just mesmerizing to fly in like this. Third person has its perks. Uh, drone cam has its perks. First person has its perks. Woo! <laughs> Trying to get fancy. Tox, thank you for streaming this. Well, don't thank me. I'm having too much fun. It's not uh, anything other than a pleasure. Like, it's just fun goofing off. And obviously everybody else is around here somewhere, too. Just hanging out, chilling with the community, getting some people in. Hopefully you guys' frame rate is okay with all these extra planes in here. For me, it's good. Will you crash? No, there's no crashes in Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, that's how they are able to license all the planes. These are all real planes. Boeing doesn't want you taking their planes and crashing it into stuff and then posting viral uh, Twitch. I mean, yeah, well, Twitch clips or Twitter videos. That'd be pretty bad for PR and also just kind of not cool. 
you know? But yeah, it's Flight Simulator. Right now we're basically playing baby mode, where there's no crashing, no engine stress, no failures. Uh, but whenever we want, we can just back out. We can go first person only if we want. We could go fly by instrument, do the whole checklist. I love. I like that there's just room for both, you know? How far does this go? This is insane. It's basically like being in the desert down there, except you're in the canyon. I am, yeah. You guys can see when I look over at chat. Oh, the water just changed. Uh-oh. We got a fork in the road. Qu Cliff Dwellers Lodge. Three. Ooh. Let's go right up top. See if we can get some, some air, because I'm curious how this looks from on high. Apparently the Grand Canyon is just insane. Actually, after seeing this, I kind of just want to go in person now. All right, let's get some like cinematic. I can't steer like this though, but it is nice to look at, you know? I feel like, oh yeah, this is pretty narrow. I feel like I am an X-Wing now. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna clip one of these little trees any moment. This was a good plane to, uh, to pick for this, for sure. I mean, those, these are some maneuvers right here. <laughs> See, like, a little bit bigger plane, and that's what you get. <laughs> Chat's catching up to me. It really feels like we're in a race. I feel like I picked, um... What, if, it, if this was Mario Kart, what character would I be? Not very fast, has extremely good handling, uh, good acceleration, but terrible top speed. Toad? Yeah, probably Toad. All right, let's see what this looks like. Uh, back in first person. I don't know if this is supposed to be a river or just a green valley. But this is pretty scary in first person. Just because you can't really see that well below you. Alright, the game lagged a little bit there. I'm lucky I didn't break. That was close. Oh, he's doing the stunts now. Oh, he's doing the stunts. Alright, all right, it's a little difficult. <laughs> Puke. Is damage back on? No, not yet. All right. Well, this has been amazing. Let's uh, let's change planes. I want to do a passenger jet now. It's been a blast though playing multiplayer. I want to I want to check out flying uh, one of the the big boys. We have we've been flying this little guy for like most of the stream, and honestly, it's been really really cool. This plane's awesome. This is one of my favorites, just because I am a sucker for a good roll. Whenever it lags like that, I think it's loading in a new chunk of terrain. Like, literally Minecraft chunks. Hello, Blackwing. How's it going? Full Simmer Arcade. Right now, we're, we're just chilling in Arcade. We got, uh... You can't see them now. We got a bunch of people in multiplayer. Um, we had, like, 30, 40 people before we started weaving in the Grand Canyon. Sorry for those of you that couldn't get into our, uh... 
You're not in the actual Grand Canyon yet. Well, why is it marked like that on the map then? Is he even in the National Park at this point? So what is it, just you keep going this way? Where's the actual Grand Canyon then? I'm going as fast as I can go. Like, I'm in full arcade max throttle. Is this thing, whole thing not a national park? Look at how gorgeous this scene is. Hold on. Alright, let me change my trim so I can actually do some, uh, some scenic shots without crashing. I could do active pause, I know, but I think it's more fun to try and, like, get used to setting the configuration. Alright, that should be enough. I wish you could hide HUD in this mode. I don't know, you might be able to, I don't know how. He's still in the tutorial canyon. This is a dumb, regular canyon. Keep going, you're almost to the Grand Canyon. You gotta do it in settings. Windows G to hide HUD. Windows? That's just gonna pop open actual windows. What does Windows G actually do? Chat, someone push Windows G and make sure it doesn't uh, open the stupid Windows thing. Windows Game Bar, exactly. You thought I was gonna get baited that easily? Windows G enable what? I thought, you don't want to enable game bar? Disable that. It takes system resources. All right, let's let's switch to a different uh place is amazing. What time of day is this also, by the way? You start to get a little too cocky with the controls, and next thing you know, you're flying off course. Be sure to enable sticky keys. Let me get right on that. That's dangerous. That, okay, this is all dangerous. Ooh, I got lucky there. Very lucky. Am I actually going the right way towards the canyon, though? Yes. Okay, so uh, I just follow the water, which I guess that makes sense. You're probably taking... You could probably just, as the crow flies, to go faster. You guys said I'm almost there. I don't know if I believe you. It's near KGCN on the map. That's like 30 minutes away. Where Hoover? We actually looked at Hoover yesterday. Um, so if you're curious, it's in that bod. We, it's going to be another half hour of flying in this plane to get to KGCN. Do they have jet fighters? No, no, no. This is a civilian, civilian craft simulator, but it is fully simulated. Um, there are no explosions, no crashes. There are crashes, but there's no detailed, like, there's no blowing up, let's say. But there are uh, 20 planes by default. Did I get that right this time, chat? And they're all one-to-one. -one. Have we been to Disneyland? I have not been to Disneyland. I haven't, I haven't even been to California in this. And then 30 airports that are hand-rendered. 
Uh, but then the rest of them are just AI driven, so they're still fully functional, but they're not going to be as graphically impressive. They're all AI driven, but there's 37,000 AI airports. So plenty of places to fly to and land, but the 30 handcrafted ones are going to be the, the like actual replicas. So like I can hop in to, if you wanted to play in sim mode, you would just stay in first person cam. Obviously, this is a little stunt plane, so kind of not good visibility and uh, not a whole lot of space here. But we can go passenger jets, and uh, they've got some luxury jets, business class, and then a bunch of prop and enthusiast tier, um, like, beginner planes. Like, a few different Cessnas, and um, they've got the Icon that we flew. Dude, we are Newman right now. I really don't think they were trying to crash. I was gonna say the like giant passenger jet crash meme has probably run its course, but I, th I think they're trying to stay airborne. Maybe. Is he playing Star Wars Squadrons? I am now, dude. Star Wars Squadrons with this setup is gonna be amazing. By the way, am I covering up my plane in this mode? Because uh, you guys could have told me that. Could have gone over here. Then you could have seen more when I fly to the bottom right. Just obscuring a little bit of map. Chat, I ain't gonna make it to KGCN. Are you serious? This isn't Grand Canyon? We could just teleport there. We're just going to look anyways, aren't we? Why don't we just TP there? Yeah, the canyon is getting larger and larger, though. You are so close. If you say so. We've lost a majority of the multiplayer. Well, that's not true. We got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's about twenty people. I probably skipped three. There's at least twenty people within range. Maybe twenty-five. Some people fading in and out. You'll know when you get to an area exactly like this, but larger. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get out of the canyon. <laughs> so many people. This really, okay, we're just all on a lazy river together. Me and Chad right now are just at the water park. We're just hanging out, drifting down, wherever the curves take us. Just resting. And Looking in the sights. You can see a little bit of what it looks like from above. We've kind of been flying in the canyon for so long, my, my mind is going numb. So we're going the same direction. I'm just going to go from above. Taxis for three hours can't fly a canyon for 30 minutes. We have been in multiplayer for almost three hours. And I'll have you know, in the first three hours, we completed a, the full Denver flight. Even if we technically didn't go to um, Colorado Springs, we did st we did kinda still do that. All right, here you go, chat. Let's get up here so we can do this. Did I just kick the camera? All right, let's do this. Let's get some actual cinematic views. If that's what you want, that's what you get. Hold on, let me let me level it out. Ooh. How do I do? I'm 
just gonna keep following the water. There you go. <laughs> All these other planes. Have a good night, Chargot. Thanks for flying with us earlier. It was a lot of fun, dude. Catch you next time. All right, let's get a little lower here. We're going too fast. We're almost to danger. Like 180. That's the danger. <laughs> we just cruised over that to 200. Oh, man. We should not just be max throttle for the whole time, but I just want to get to the park. This game is gorgeous, isn't it? I wish I could figure out how to elevate. Uh oh. I get to catch back up R and F oh my god thank you drone speed Whoop. how do I get it to come back control space maybe Okay, well that's just making I'm just making a, a YouTube video at that point. That was that was good idea though. Drone camera can probably make some sick flying shots. You know it'd be really cool if you could program a flight path and then watch the replay. And then <gasps> sign me up, Microsoft! Let me record my flights and then watch them on a movie. Good try, Dr. Wong. You scrape the bottom a little bit. And then let me move the camera and stuff. All right, let's try that again. Hold on. I have no idea. That ain't where it's supposed to be, chat. <laughs> Oops. I'm fine. It's okay, really. Zero. Stop. Why are you scoring me? All right, figure out this thing. I want the drone cam to come back. <laughs> Why? There's still so many planes. What? What do I do just to, um... Re oh, reset position at the top. Noom. Okay, there you go. There you go. F and R. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Chad, are we there yet? <laughs> Everybody turned around. I think just my engine's off. I can't go back into cam, though. Alright, there we go. Guess what? 
Guess what I can do? First of all, I'm going to reset this. So I can look down easier. Guess what I get to do? Battery master on. RPM, 100%. Throttle, 25. It's time for all of our learning at the beginning of the stream to pay off. Then, full richness. Fuel pump switch. One, two, three, cut, turn. Juice. We're on. Then, uh, alternator master on. Then, uh, I think we're ready to go. First try. Well, not first try today, but close enough. First try for now. I really need to figure out how to increase the dead zone of my, um... Of my pedals. That would make stuff like this a lot easier. Are we just... Yep. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get uh, any lift when you're trying to take off from a river, as it turns out. Don't know if you guys knew that. We might be actually stuck. Pilot lands and takes off in the Colorado. <laughs> in the Colorado. Where is this? We're trying to get into the uh, Grand Canyon here. <laughs> this is this is throttle max. This is as fast as I can go. Uh, maybe this is some land right here that'll let me pick up some traction. I don't even really know why I'm not going faster than this. All right, that. That's the game changer. Just ignore that. Okay, and we are back in the air. See, someone else is stuck in the water. This is like uh, getting trapped in oil. Chat, this is, are we in the Grand Canyon yet, mom? I'm surprised there's still this many people that are out here. Los Angeles Center, it's Alpha Sierra X ray. There is no oh. is type pits, pits two zero miles. That was just a little Request just a little kiss on the, on the side of the mountain. Just barely grazed the crown. Definitely <laughs> would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot reading chat. Missed the whole Grand Canyon. Is the 747 okay? No. Uh, any 747 that you see at this point is kind of like that one relative that you have that at every family get together. They learned a new joke, and they tell it to every single person who is at the get-together individually, but you overhear it like four times before he gets to you. And then when they tell you, you have to kind of like smile and laugh and, you know, just to save face a little bit. <laughs> I'm that family member. <laughs> Not me. I'm the one listening. All right, now this is cool. It's getting much wider here. Actually getting some trees blossoming at the foothills. All right, I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to fly. I'm tired of seeing other people fly the big boy planes. I want to fly the big plane. Grand Canyon's amazing though. 
I'm gonna assume that we're there, chat. So let's get some nice scenic views. Okay, let's go ahead and level this out. Nose up a little bit. Go down just a little and set it right about there. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Ooh. Turn your head just side to side. It is really cool being in an area that's just mountains. I can't believe this is just desolate. I mean, I obviously I know why, because no one can live here, but it's just weird to think that this just exists and there's thousands of places like this that are just untamable. Like there is nothing really that we could do that would merit trying to inhabit this. There are just certain areas humans have been like, you know what? Nah. You know what's crazy? Vegas wasn't one of those places. <laughs> Mankind was just like, I know it used to be green, but that's not going to stop me now. Okay. That just means it's mine. You know, this is, this is free real estate. What is that stupid meme? I'm glad that one died. I hated that one. It's, I still see it from time to time in YouTube comments, though. The only reason people do, though, guess what? They didn't really care. I like the rock textures. Uh, they didn't really care about Vegas itself or the region. You know what they cared about? They thought that there was silver and a lot of it. So they started silver mining, and it didn't go so well. You can imagine uh, the competition in nearby areas. By the way, this is an interesting river. But that's really the only reason why Vegas got to be the way it was, was because they were trying to mine silver. I've actually visited the old decommissioned silver mines. Uh, I took a trip out to... There's a series of mountains west called the Red Rock Mountains. And I took a uh, trip when my mother was here, like last year to go out and they have like a whole a full drive that you can go around and uh you can literally do the whole tour from the car if you want but got out explored the old silver mine area um mountains there are just gorgeous it's always about mining now this has to be the grand canyon it basically does i went down inside an old coal mine in tasmania it was cool I didn't go in the mine. I just kind of went to like where the signposts were for it because I think I'm sure it's not really there to be toured per se. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, let's just fly up a little bit and then get some nice aerial views. Not not too high, just enough to kind of see what's outside of our little bubble because some of these mountains are really impressive. It's like here looks good. Trying to set the trim. Too high. Too high. Too high. All right, a little better. There you go. I'll give you the game cam. So it could be more of a visual feast. I just... <laughs> see people just coming in behind. <laughs> Some of you guys, I hope you never run into a live newscast. You know, I don't want to know what you're capable of when somebody puts a camera near you.
This is incredible that this is just a video game. If you showed screenshots or video of this to anybody in 2002, I would say even 2010. I really think this wouldn't be possible with 2010 tech, and I don't mean the AI satellite mapping. I just mean, like, in general. Like, obviously, there's room for improvement for automatically generated textures. I'm not going to sit here and say it's perfect, but taken as a whole, it's just impressive. You remember that? What was that car game that came out? Did Ubisoft make that? That that did like the United States, not to scale, but you can drive cross country, and race your friends from city to city and state to state. The crew did that, right? So like the crew was an interesting idea for that reason, but it wasn't to scale, right? I think what makes this so interesting is that it's to scale. So, like, sure, you can do auto-generation wherever. And taken in a vacuum, this wouldn't... Like, okay, if this was just the Grand Canyon flying game, right? It wouldn't be that impressive. But what makes it impressive is, like, this is just something that exists. Literally no gameplay attached to any of this whatsoever. There's some buildings down there. They got capped and AI-generated. There's no reason to go here other than I want to, and I want to see what's there. It's kind of like... Um, generating chunks in Minecraft, except the seed has already been picked, and we are able to just... You, like, okay, you could travel here for thousands of hours. It, it would probably take like a million hours to see literally everything in this game that got satellite mapped. You know what I mean? This is where the canyon's name is on the map. Oh, is it? KGCN. I mean, we're basically there. The crew would be far better if driving the cars didn't feel like slot car racing. Yeah, it wasn't. didn't really feel the best. All right, let's get one last look around, and then let's go fly a real, a real one. I want to do an actual like sim, and I want to do uh, the big, the big passengers. I keep thinking you're gonna clip a wing. Well, this is a very nimble plane. We got, we're capable of a lot. As I was saying, uh, not going to clip any wings. Thanks for playing, everybody. Hope you enjoyed multiplayer. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Had a really good time. We're going to play uh, a real sim now. Let me take the TR off for a sec. Oh, it fell. I just ruined this fake jacket, by the way. Hold on, let me tuck Midas into bed real quick. Actually, it has been three hours, so I should probably take him out. That'd be a good idea. We're going to go to profile. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating and playing in that. We're going to swap over to single player now. But uh, we'll, we might do some more multiplayer shenanigans again in the future. But it would basically make a real flight impossible getting stream sniped. <laughs> like, just goofing off? Tons of fun. If I wanted to do an actual Airbus trip, not a good idea. You know? It, it would kind of not set the right mood that we're going for. But yeah, that was about three hours of multiplayer. I'm going to change over to... The Airbus seems like a good place to start. Honestly, I don't think we should start with the biggest. Let's go Airbus 320 and then see how we feel after that 787 Dream and then the Intercontinental. And if it takes another day of streams to get there, that's fine. As long as you guys are having fun and I'm having fun, then we're going to keep streaming uh, this game. Because I've got I got everything set up and it's fresh and it's new and it's fun. It's been really fun to learn and pick up. And there's so many different challenges. 
speaking of challenges, I really do want to do um, this live event landing challenge. You can set like a high score. And then they've got activities, which may not be filled in right now. They're probably going to fill this in more for if you, if you really need an objective. There's probably only a couple. Yeah. Nevada. Breckenridge to Yosemite. So they've got a few. These are bush trips. That's neat. Okay. And then the landing challenge, probably one. Famous, epic, or strong wind. Oh, never mind. We got we got we got some content here. Okay, I thought they were just getting rolling. I was expecting just a couple. Epic. But I, the reason I like this is because I wouldn't know that Microsoft considered landing in Honduras as an epic landing, for example. So it's like a good opportunity to be like, hmm, let's check out some new places. It's kind of nice to have that little guiding touch to lead you somewhere interesting. Strong winds. Oh, that's why you wanted to go to Gibraltar. Gibraltar looks pretty cool, though. Ireland makes sense. Austria. I've heard Austria is beautiful. I actually saw a thread from somebody that created a full custom course that goes through Austria. And they were like, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I've also attached a, uh, a docket of information on each of the points of interest that I'm sending you to. And you can just fly my flight path. And I'm like, that's a really good idea. Custom flight paths. I hope that they add that where there's like a community submitted series of flight paths with interesting locales that you can go by and then you can try and follow their specific flight path and have like ratings so you could rate them up and down and obviously they went a step further and like wrote information in a document but I didn't download it because if you stream or make YouTube videos number one rule of the internet you don't download zip files from strangers and unzip them so I just I was like man I really want to do that but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it uh, so that looks cool. Bahamas, that sounds fun. So many potentially interesting locations. I'm very tunnel visioned on the stuff that's immediately around me, I feel like. Vegas, San Francisco, uh, we, Grand Canyon was really cool though. But yeah, I like that there's some activities there if you're curious about things to kind of point you in a direction. We're gonna go, uh, I, I would like to create our own custom course via all right, we got the Airbus selected. Oh man, that is a beauty. We have not flown anything even close to this. Okay, maybe a little close. We flew one jet. This is gonna be a whole different ball game. Take a look in the cockpit. Oh, I took my uh, headset off. <gasps> look at all these buttons and view screens. We're going to do a full uh, flight. We're going to do grounds crew. We're going to get fueled up if we can. Uh, we're going to get pushback. We're going to get maybe baggage claim. We're going to do all that. And it'll actually make sense to taxi this. Los Angeles to Tokyo. We actually could do a long flight and then skip part of it. I would like to do a real, real flight if we could because I think that would be... I don't know. I feel like if you start... Skipping around too much, you get used to it, and then kind of um, not ruin the experience for yourself, but you know what I mean? What about flying along the Great Wall? That'd be pretty cool. New York to London, transatlantic. Like, time travel and Animal Crossing. It is necessary, though, because I understand you want to do real flights. And if you want to do a real flight, that's an idea. Chat, I'm going to go AFK. I'm going to go take Midas outside and get a water and uh, get something to, to chew on. When I'm gone, see if you can find a real flight that's going to happen in, like, 30 minutes or something. And we can just be that virtual, actual proxy flight could the whole of chat fit in the intercontinental mm, I don't know what the seating is for the big boy okay so we're gonna do let's just leave this on this view we'll take a look at the map I'll probably make a custom route I'll do some more research and maybe we'll do like a real real flight 
I don't think there's a 700 person plane. No, I don't think so. But there was a double decker. And I'm just saying, there's a lot of room in the cargo bay. So, you didn't say you had to be seated. You just said, could we all fit on the plane? And I'm just saying, I could put most of you into a suitcase if the suitcase was too big to go in an overhead compartment. <laughs> Tier 3 subs up to first class. Is the Las Vegas to LA in an hour? I think that'd be cool, but I want to go somewhere that's real time, and I think daytime... We could do a nighttime trip. I just feel like daytime would probably be more engaging to chat. So let's go somewhere in the world, because we kind of just did L uh, Las Vegas last night. I'll, I'll, I'll look for somewhere that's um that we haven't been, because there's so many places to choose from. All right, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, chat. Thanks for making this a ton of fun. The community stuff... Uh, thanks for everyone who participated. I hope you were all able to find us and uh, get on board, have some fun. I encourage you guys to got, get in the Discord, and uh, maybe you can find a couple people to fly with. You know, there might be somebody you could get like a little group going. And I don't know. I don't know if that there's a demand for that. Zarino says a 747 actually fits 700 people, but I don't know. But the stream's not over. We're going to do probably at least another three hours, I would say, reasonably. Seems good. And we'll try to get at least one. Obviously, there's going to be a learning curve with this. So we're going to study this a little bit. And then we're going to try and do like a real flight. I wouldn't be opposed to doing... Because I think that since these have autopilot, we could do like a real two-hour flight or something if you wanted. We could all just chill and hang out. We could. And then uh, hopefully not crash on landing. All nighter. Let's go, baby. But I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Hang tight. Thanks for waiting. And I'll see you in a sec. I'm just going to leave the in-game music on because it's very pleasant. And you can just check out these scenic shots. BRB. Welcome aboard Etal Air.
I got some snacks. I got my in-flight hummus. And it's not pretzels. Okay. We have much to do. And I am very excited about this because I have been itching to jump in one of these. Also, I got some beans yesterday. You may, if you were here at the beginning of yesterday's stream, you might remember. Somebody rang the doorbell <laughs> very aggressively. All right. There are different ways you can um, contact someone. Chat, you're either um, a call ahead and let them know you're coming. You could be a, like, that, that, that kind of entails, hey, leave the door unlocked. I'm, I'm on my way right now. You might be that kind of person. You might be a knock person who just bangs on the door until someone comes and opens it. You may be a single doorbell individual, which is, I would say, um, absolute neutral is a single doorbell. Knocking on the door is, I would say, lawful evil. And then you have, um, Neutral evil is like double ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. Like, okay, you didn't have to push the button twice. I heard you the first time. Now me, on the other hand, I am chaotic evil. I go a tier below that. If I'm coming over to your house, I push the doorbell and I hold my thumb on it for enough of a period of time until you think you're going crazy. Where is the other part of the doorbell. It just goes ding. And it just holds like 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 pushing the end note on a piano and just holding it down. It just like resonates and chimes. And then when it's been like, I don't know, I will wait like up to five to ten seconds in a row. Let it go and it goes dong. <laughs> just a just a single note both ways. I love, especially when you hear them coming, like, they're, you can tell... Welcome aboard, Etal Air. <laughs> oh, that was a good ding. You can tell that they're, like, on their way. You maybe hear footsteps on the other side of the door and then let it go. Oh, ding. Hey, Gratch, dude. Good level. Xenophanes. Oh, you get the gift subs a while ago. I saw you. Epi, though. Happy 26 months. Thanks, dude. Sadly, the newer ones are single tone. Really? Did they finally correct that? I did get some cheese crackers. That's a good That's a good in-flight snack. Is this level? I think it's, like, off. Okay. So we got a job to do. We've got our we've got our chaos. We got our fun uh, multiplayer. We are about to learn the ropes of the Airbus A320. From scratch. So buckle up, chat. This could take either this is going to take a while or Airbuses are so advanced that um it's going to be very user-friendly or something, which I doubt, but let's do it. Let's take a look at the specifications first. Curious. Launched in 84. Nearly 26 years later, they announced the A320neo, new engine option, to revitalize and sustain their line of world-leading narrow-body twin turbofan airliners. After extended development, the A320neo officially entered in early 2016. That's actually really recent then, so this is new new. This is only four years old. That's kind of cool. That doesn't come around too often, right? Like a, like a totally new airplane. Lufthansa. 
quickly became the fastest selling commercial aircraft ever. More than 7,000 ordered by 115 airlines. It's the plane the 730 MAX was supposed to compete with. Huh, that makes a lot of sense. Continuing the tradition established by the original A320, which was the first airliner other than Concorde, to use fly-by-wire control, the A320neo shares over 90% airframe commonality with predecessor models, but the introduction of two new-gen engines, paired with the company's proprietary Sharklet wingtips, sets the Neo apart. Fuel savings, extended range, increase max payload, and shorten landing distance are key advantages. Drastic reduction in, or dramatic reduction in noise and CO2 emissions prove why A320neo is not only commercial, but a significant step forward on aviation's path to greater environmental responsibility. Huh. I didn't know that. That, that was like one of the focal points. Is that just PR fluff chat, or is that like accurate? It's so fuel efficient that airlines are slurping up the 737 Max was made to try and challenge it. Well, that's what the other guy said, but but yeah. Stop tagging me every time you put I'm just kidding. I'm not. Large engines equal fuel efficiency through the roof. Finish off the last of that. Was that funny, Liuta? Cruise speed, uh, 45, 455k toss. Now, I learned because I was hanging out in Simcopter's chat last night. He was struggling because chat was backseating him constantly and unforgivably about his airspeed, which in his plane, I guess maybe he was flying something, maybe this exact plane. I didn't, I didn't know what type of plane it was. Um, and the issue was his cruising speed was much, much lower than this. By like a factor of almost 130. So what was discovered after much discussion in chat was that there's two different measurements of flight cruising speed. One of them is KTOS, which I can't remember what the acronym stands for, but this is effectively uh, something true airspeed. Knots. KT is uh, not AS airspeed. I think this is true airspeed. Um, and then the other one is indicated airspeed, IAS, if I recall correctly. So I believe the logistical dials and, um, meters, gauges, sorry, gauges in this craft measure in indicated airspeed, not true airspeed. So it's not, they're not one-to-one. -one. However, I don't, even though I know that information, I'm not sure why there's two different airspeed measures that are used interchangeably, even though they're both extremely different. What is a knot? A knot is a measurement used to indicate how, um, how long, basically it's the speed you're going to equal one latitude per minute. Or is it, yeah, wait, hour. Is it minute or hour? That's a big difference, I know. Close enough, I, I wanna say minute? But it's, yes, it stands for nautical mile. So ships use that too. As well as planes. A minute of latitude is a unit of distance. Yeah. Talks to you sleep on that dirty rag. First of all, my dog is in his blankie. That's not a dirty rag. Second of all, you will respect. My neighbor, Toro Toro, okay?
which was a gift to Midas from Kim. <laughs> I know it's not Toro Toro, I'm just messing with the weeps. I like to play both sides of the, uh, the fence there. My <laughs> neighbor to Tino's. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, why are there two different units of cruise speed measurement? His head is just sticking out the end now. Hey, anyone have the uptime? What's uptime? Actually, I think you screwed that joke up, Dental Hickory. Speed across the ground versus speed of the air hitting your plane. IAS is an important value for the pilot. It's indicated speeds which are specified in the aircraft flight manual for such important performance values as stall speed. These speeds, in true airspeed terms, vary considerably depending upon density altitude. Yeah, so effectively, chat... True airspeed is... Okay, yeah. Uh, so indicated airspeed is ground speed. And true airspeed also applies to the speed of the wind is factored in there. So that when you go up in altitude, the air gets um, less dense. It's reversed. All the way around. Okay, so true airspeed is ground speed. Because it's how fast... See, you could like, if, if you wanted... Let, let's say I could erase all your memories. I could convince you that either one was true. Because if you think about it logically, true airspeed, well, of course it's true airspeed, italics. It's how fast you're actually truly traveling through the air. That's, therefore, it's true airspeed. And it matches your ground speed. And then I could say, erase that, and you've just got erased. And then I say, uh, chat, it's called true airspeed because it's the speed when you calculate both um, the speed of the air itself as it passes over the wing combined with your plane speed. That's true airspeed because it includes the true speed of the air. So you could just you could just write that whichever way you want and make it make sense. It's all pretty arbitrary terminology. Not very accurate verbiage. Well, the word is verbiage. There's an I in there cascading. So before you call someone out, make sure you've got the right word. Okay. But anyway, true airspeed, how fast you're going, and it'll be the same on the ground as you are up there. Think about it like this, chat. This is how I think about it, and chat's going to tell me I'm wrong. But the way I think about it is this. Um, true airspeed is how fast you're going, even though the air is slowing you down. So, like, true airspeed is how fast... I mean, uh, indicated airspeed, god, this is actually extremely hard to say out loud because I just don't understand still. I'm trying to reason it out, though. True airspeed is how fast you would be going on the ground. Indicated airspeed is how fast you're going when the wind is factored in. Did I do that backwards again? I don't know what you're saying, but it's probably true. Alright, so think about it like this. Think about it like this, chat. And chat, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who know. This is important we understand this now, because we have to know the cruise speed of this plane in true speed. 
and then uh, look at the instruments in Indicated. So, cruise speed is 455 knots true airspeed. KT stands for knots, though, so whatever. Um, what this means is that uh, we are going to be traveling effectively... If, if some someone else on the ground could be traveling at that same speed, and it would be like... Even though we're at different altitudes and air density is completely different, if a thing on the ground and a thing in the air were traveling at that same speed, they would be moving one to one. Okay, they would be they would be literally right on top of each other. However, indicated airspeed is important because if you exceed certain thresholds, because it calculates the amount of resistance that you are encountering by hitting the wind, if you exceed those thresholds, you're going to stall. Because even if you're going... Um, fast enough in true airspeed because you haven't factored in the wind in true airspeed you can uh, hit so much resistance that your your plane reacts poorly to the it, it kind of includes the ambiance it includes context indicated airspeed includes context true airspeed is almost like in a vacuum It counts for the resistance you get from chat. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it any different. I think I understand, and I know it's more important, but I want you to understand too, because I want you to be able to be on the same page when we're getting into it. How hard engines are working versus your actual speed. That's probably a good way to put it. Okay. That that might be a, a way to explain. So let's just let's round these off to round numbers. Let's just make a hypothetical example. Let's say the cruise speed was 500 true airspeed. But 500 doesn't mean you're necessarily going 500 fast. It just means that the engines are working where, in perfect scenario, you could be going 500 fast. But indicated airspeed takes into account all of the factors that might slow your plane down and create dangers like stalling or, uh, as somebody else pointed out, um, never exceeding certain speeds in order to preserve the integrity of your engine and so on. But, so when you factor in that the wind is working against your true airspeed, that's what indicated airspeed is. It, it it combines all of those regions to get something that's that's going to be um, more beneficial to you while you're actually in the cockpit flying. How fast are you going? Five hundred fast. So we might be going. Um, the engine might be trying to push us up to four fifty five, but the act our actual speed might end up being like three twenty, three thirty because of friction, basically. This is basically like a frictionless environment. There's no air friction here. That should, that's all you need to know. But we need to understand that because uh, we're gonna have all of your lives on board. Okay, I wanna make sure that I, I treat you safely and get you to your destination if I don't know how speed works we're gonna have a problem other players will not be visible with the exception of group members so I think chat will still be able to see me but I'm not gonna be able to see them which kind of is the best of both we're gonna go live traffic live weather which I just think is so much fun. We're not... So, we could do a night flight. I think I'd rather get more comfortable during the day when I don't have to rely on just the void. I did want to go to Africa yesterday, so I might think about that. But we have so much up here that we really haven't even scoped out. Shanghai right there. 
We went to Tokyo already. Um, I'd like to go to an actual, another star airport. Where are we here? Faisal Mosque. Islamabad. Okay. Golden Temple. That would probably be awesome. Lotus Temple. Dude, oh, Taj Mahal is right there. I bet so many people have hit that up. That's a good one. Though we're not really going to get to see it. This is not a sightseeing trip. We're in a we're in a passenger plane. So let's <laughs> let's not pick based on sightseeing. I think going somewhere with some clouds. I've noticed we've been flying a lot in clear skies. And that's another thing that I love about... I, I keep having to remind myself this isn't a JPEG. These are actual cloud formations that you will be flying through. Some of them might be rain. Some of them might just be... Um, I mean, look at that swirl. Is it swirling live? Kinda. I don't like that. That's too scary. Technology's gone too far. It's actually animated and moving. Not that fast. I know, but it's it's going it's showing me what direction it's spinning. Are we still in arcade mode or are we gonna do some realism? No, we're gonna do some realism. But I gotta learn how to fly this plane, so you need, you guys need to buckle up. Because this is new plane, new territory, lots of buttons, lots of meters, and uh, I'm, I'm going to sink my teeth in. Oh, I know it's a storm front. That's what, <laughs> that's what I was saying to chat, was that if you want to fly in those conditions live, you can just pick somewhere to challenge yourself, or you could set it up if you want. I think let's go through some nice puffy clouds. I mean, the Taj Mahal would be sick. I don't know how to say some of these. I've changed my mind. Can I get off? Whenever you like. Whenever you like. What do I feel like? I'm kind of just looking based on... Based on the... Cl It'd be nice to have a mixture of cloud and no cloud. Uh, we did Japan yesterday, so I'm going to go somewhere else. Cairo. Chad did want to go to to Egypt, but it's a little too sunny and clear there. I'm trying to pick based on weather, which, which might lead us to somewhere interesting. House of Parliament. How you doing, UK? How you doing, Spain, France, Portugal, Italy? How you guys feeling? Um, what time is it here? Um, you guys have a lot of good suggestions. Moscow to St. Petersburg looks semi-cloudy. Didn't, I think we were... Didn't I try to fly out of Moscow yesterday? What's up, my guy? Hello, kill... Letters. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Copenhagen is cloudy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, where did chat say? Where'd you guys just tell me to go? What was I just... What was I looking for seconds ago? You, that just that just threw me off for some reason. Moscow to St. Petersburg. I actually don't know where... Would you guys want to leave from Moscow or leave? I don't know where St. Petersburg is on a map. Also, the map is occluded by clouds. That, uh... That day, that's not it. Uh, I know enough about geography to tell you that St. Petersburg <laughs> is not in Florida. <laughs> there is probably a St. Petersburg, but not the one. All right. You're very funny game. You really going to do this? You're really going to do me like this?
Pulkovo. Okay, Pulkovo. So we're gonna set... Uh, do you guys want to fly into Moscow? Time to learn some Russian geography. Do you want to go to Heathrow? That's too long of a flight. Heathrow. From Moscow? Alright, let me try to take a uh, photograph of this. You know how I'm going to remember where uh, Polkovo in St. Petersburg is? I'm going to look at um, what I do know. And I know that we've got, like, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland. Bam. Just go, just go east. Hard east. And it's right there. Okay, chat. You know what this shape is? First of all, it's a dragon. That's the eye. And here's the wings. And it's got a fire trail, like a phoenix. All right, that's a that's a Moltrix or something. And you know what else it is? It's also well, actually that's all I see now. That's a duck. If that's a duck, that's like Darkwing Duck. Saint Petersburg to Amsterdam. Saint Petersburg to oh yeah. Let's just look at the chat. You guys. This is this is all clear skies right here. I'm gonna choose my own adventure. I'll choose my own adventure. Dude, look at all that. That'd be beautiful. What time is it here? Can't tell. All right next to each other. Hagia the ha is it Hagia or Hagia? We go and play Civ 6 right now, if you want. I gotta go steal some technology real quick, BRB. I gotta go get some points. Chat, you just wrote that five different ways. Let's go, um... This is a pretty important, like, decision to make. All right. How far is it from Frankfurt to Innsbruck? Actually, no, let's go a different direction. Let's go... Smells like gamers in here. Grubbles get destroyed. Sim raiding me already? How long have I been live for? Hello, Simcopter. Thank you so much for raiding. Uh, welcome, viewers, from Sim's beautiful channel. I hope you guys had a glorious uh, flight, I assume, playing some delicious simulation. Chat is uh, hissing back at you, but don't be alarmed by them. We're currently plotting a course. Uh, this is going to be a little strange for you guys to watch, because I've been told, and I've witnessed myself, that you're very familiar now with the Airbus A320neo. I'm just about to start learning. We just had our first multi-leg journey. I've been awake for 22 hours, though, so I am tired. <laughs> Fair enough. Understand. That's a long time. I had a pretty rough day yesterday in terms of hours as well. But I'm about to start learning this. So, uh, thanks for your patience, even though you've already watched a master at work. I assume that you, you feel pretty comfortable in this particular play now. A couple people in chat said that that's been you, one of your mains. Feels like you're flying a freight train. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to. I've been flying these really nimble, light stunt planes. But thanks a bunch for the raid. Hello, raiders. Zach. What's up? Bacon. I see some uh, hybrid emotes in chat. One psycho this, one psycho that. What's up, Spit Live? Dreadhead and Save the Llama. Hello, as wells. Karistama. And everybody else is just popping in. I hope you guys had a good stream. Thanks for pushing me up to like 10 short of a thousand viewers. Very much appreciated. And a huge uh, shout out. Really had fun hanging out yesterday. Sim has been doing like a hybrid of 
hanging out with chat while also RPing as um, the actual pilot of the plane, and I thought it was really cool. So he'll uh, be up in the gate and actually like simulate boarding and call in different groups of passengers and luggage and uh, just kind of hang out and chat while that stuff's happening in the background and then does like legit flights. So multi-leg flights, do you do you um, pop into one place and then continue that the next time you play or did you do it all at once? We just did PHX to LAS to Seattle. LAS. Los Angeles. PHX. My first guess is Philadelphia. I don't know what that is. PH. Phoenix. Phoenix would be my second. Don't tell me, chat. Phoenix to Los Angeles. Why'd you just write out Seattle? You did the code for the first two. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We tried doing it all at once, but it kind of bugged out, so we had to separate it into two flights. That seems like a fun trip, though. So you have to see the whole coast. I want to go west coast, but for now, we're, we're about... We're, what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of picking a, a destination. We're going to try and do a full flight in the Airbus. I'm trying to pick something that's not going to break the time bank. A couple hours, I think, would be good. We'll just hang out, chat. I'm trying to pick something that has a not necessarily inclement weather, but something that's not just going to be clear skies. I feel like we've been flying clear skies all day today. But welcome, uh, to everybody who just popped in. Glad to have you. You're here at the beginning of a of a adventure. So I'm trying to pick something that's got a mixture of interesting weather conditions. I'm trying to fly real time. I'm trying not to time travel for this one. We just goofed the last three hours. We just did stunts. We got 40 people from chat into the game. People were uh, zooming around in every single type of plane that exists doing uh, barrel rolls and loops and crashing into the Grand Canyon. Brussels to Hamburg. Yeah, these German flights look like they've got a little mixture, which might be cool. However, I think... Do we got some range? The Airbus has some insane range. It'd be cool to get a little water mixed into this. There's so many choices and none of them are wrong. You know? They're all going to be fun and challenging for different reasons. But yeah, 22 hours, I have a good sleep, get some food, and I'll see you next time, Sin. Or you hang out as long as you'd like. How do you change the company of the plane, Italic? Company? If you want to fly a different plane, you just click on it. And then you can fly whichever plane you want. Um, there's 20 planes in the base game. So I've got the Super Deluxe Edition with 10 extra ones. But yeah, we're going to be learning the A320 from literal scratch. I'm just really indecisive right now because I'm going to I'm gonna commit a two-hour flight like for like a real one. I haven't done that before. So there's not, like I said, there's not a wrong answer, but I want it to be special. I want at least one handcrafted airport. Okay, so let's just let's just pick based on that. Frankfurt would be, I think, a solid choice. Let's just set that as let's set that as departure. How far is it to Brussels? It's only twenty-two minutes by plane. Okay, well we've got some range then. Frankfurt's airport terminals suck. <laughs> Talk, stay in cockpit view as long as you can. Well, that's the idea. I'm going to try and go full sim on this. You know what's going to be fun? Here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to go Frankfurt to Donegal. I, have, I don't even know how to say this. An American. This is Dungal. Press W, chat. Twenty-two minutes of cruising time, basically, so more like an hour. Okay, that makes sense. Alex Donago doesn't have a terminal. What? <laughs> well, okay. This looks like a challenging runway. <laughs> I just zoomed in, Sim. <laughs> 
It just had a star next to it, so I severely overestimated its capability there. I just thought it'd be cool to fly into the eye of this uh, storm front from outside, you know? How about we do the reverse? Why don't we fly from inside of one of these fronts outside? That way we don't have to land in it. That would be nice. I'm sure, um... You know what? I think I just don't want to fly in this side of the world right now. Very, very indecisive. I don't want, I don't want all clouds and I don't want all clear skies. Iceland. Well, let's look at, let's look at the Denmark area first, because we do have a history here. Uh, with our Crusader Kings play. I wouldn't mind starting in Copenhagen. Well, it'd have to be from Kastrup. This is a reasonable sized airport. Let's set that as departure. This is probably about the flight time we're looking for. This will probably end up being a two hour flight. Denmark to Northern Italy. I think that's gonna be way too long. We're looking for around here because this 54 minutes is, is apparently cruising. So we're not gonna be cruising the whole time. We're gonna be taking off, landing, taxiing, uh, on the runway for a long time, and I gotta learn controls. So we want something that's gonna be, you know, fairly gentle. Chat did wanna go to St. Petersburg, but this might be too far. Hour 21, how long do you think that flight's actually gonna be? Like two and a half hours? This has never been accurate, but I'm gonna be going so much faster in this plane. Time is it now? 12? Might be biting off more than I can chew there. If you guys are down for it, then I'm down. We're gonna be hanging out for a while. We're gonna need some stuff to talk about, because we're just gonna be airborne cruise control on. Yeah, I'm gonna start at the ramps. I'm just trying to figure out actual flight time. Because I kind of like this because we start in thick clouds, we get some clear, we get some clouds, and then we get kind of clear the rest of the way as we pull into St. Petersburg. Watch a nice movie on the flight. The flight basically <laughs> is... <laughs> We could, you know, we could... I did say I wanted to go to a decorated one. We could go, um... Heathrow is, like, a real... Um, obviously, it's a real airport, but it's it's one of... Is it one of the DLC ones? Additional airports. We got Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, that might be good. Heathrow is in the Premium Edition. We can go check that out. I think that would be cool. Copenhagen to Heathrow seems perfect. Yeah. Do they spell a word out like this? <laughs> All right. Um, chat, somebody look up a Copenhagen to Heathrow airport and give me a gate. Give me like a, a real life gate. Amsterdam airport is awesome. I'm sure it is. We got plenty of time. We're going to play this again, I think. I'm just having a lot of fun. Yeah, I've actually got a list fire that I just consulted. But I got mine from Real Sport something. There's somebody right now. That's that's just a player. So any green planes or other players? I have hidden them, but they can see me. So chat, you can follow along if you want, but I'm not going to look at you. You like my tiara? For those of you that just came from Sims Channel, uh, this is my good luck charm. I like to wear it to ensure a good stream. And this is this jacket was actually given to me by um, I don't know if you knew this, but the Italics Channel was actually an abandoned platform some two years ago. I met the real Italics at TwitchCon, 
and he gave me his stream key and his jacket, and he said, do right by me. I trust in you. So I went ahead and took over from that point on, and ever since, I wear this every single stream. Just to make sure that wherever the real Italics is, he's living his best life. He mentioned uh, something about, like... <laughs> working at Wendy's or something as a plot to get free four for fours? I don't really know where he ended up, but I hope that wherever he is, he's getting to eat as many cheeseburgers. Junior Bacon, I'm sure. As he possibly can. It just said, fly out of Terminal 5. Actually, it's for track IR. For real. Fly out of Terminal 5, gate C61, if you're flying out of Heathrow. No, I'm going... We're, are we flying out? Are we flying out of Heathrow? Let's fly into Heathrow. So give me a give me a departure date from um Castrop. Dude, select IFR on the top left. We, we haven't even it's fine. Once I push the start button and play, then you can dude me, okay? But wait until then. Nothing this this page hasn't changed. Alright, I'll look it up, chat. You're not to be trusted with keyboard controls. Castrop to Heathrow flights. Live. Still streaming. I'm amazed. Hello, Xenon. We were talk <laughs> talking about you earlier. <sighs> All right, here we go. Chat, no one flies into Heathrow from Castrop. That's the problem. All the departures are from Heathrow. Max Exodus. From the UK into Denmark. Confirmed. <laughs> All right, well, let's just do, let's just do that then. But I want to fly in because I want to be able to see the air... Well, that's fine. Let's just do the reverse. All right, here we go. Actual flight. SK-502 is the flight schedule. SK-502 flight schedule currently on time. Updated seven hours ago. Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. Okay, so there's not really... We can do whatever we want because the not even the internet knows right now. So whatever, I'll just pick one. I don't know if they list. Terminal, okay, these are A, B, C, D terminals. So I would assume gate three is probably like C somewhere. Let's just say C33. We're gonna go backwards. We're gonna do departure there. And the other one's Terminal 2 from Heathrow. That, that's definitely not... A, this is an A, B, C, D, E system? I have no idea. Why travel to the UK? Because it's a storm front, and I want to see what the cloud formations look like here. This is the edge, though, so it might be a little messy. Okay, where, uh... Wait, where am I? Chat, what did I just click on? Okay, so we're gonna go departure from this, yeah? No, arrival. Arrival from that to this. Sorry. Um, looking at I was looking at the wrong airport. So we got gate A, gate T. We skipped a handful of letters. What was it? There's a gate E. We go from A to E to T. Check SAS homepage, then fly from Castrop to Heathrow today. Well, if you... Why, why do I have to do it? You... <laughs> we're just gonna pick, okay? 
if you're not willing to do it, chat, then I'm not willing to do it, okay? You don't want to put the effort in? I'm not going to put the effort in, all right? I'm just, we're just going to pick one. Let's go to E3, arrival. Isn't T for transport planes, not passengers? So would A be arrival by that logic? I don't know, chat. I don't know any more than you do, apparently. So let's just go before somebody freaks out again. Like at the beginning of the stream. C is a normal gate. For sure. A, B, C gates. That's totally normal. Okay, this claims to be about an hour nine. It's going to take way longer than that, but this is good. Talks top of the screen says that E3 is a GA gate, not an airline gate. I don't know what a GA gate is. Chat, I've noticed that you, you don't tell me how to be right. You just tell me when I'm wrong. Have you noticed that? We've been here for 20 minutes. I haven't gotten good information yet. I've just gotten how all my information is bad. Have you guys realized that? What does GA even stand for? General Aviation. Thank you, uh, Escape Pods. Okay, well, why don't we try one of these big boy ramps? These ones are really spaced out. Let's say 592 arrival. Ramp GA large. That me. I'm not paying attention, but I'm sure whatever you just said was wrong. I am going to be a pretty big plane. Click live airport activity to see real flights. Loading. Carson, I'm tagging I'm I'm tagging you for ten minutes. The whole stream. I can see chat. Imagine why does it oh, I gotta turn that highlight feature off. All flights have been canceled. Also, I did say that Carson was going to be shadow banned for claiming incorrectly that my multiplayer was disabled, and it was not. So that was a long time coming. There actually just may not be a single flight that's doing this, which is fine. We're going to do it. We're going to be the ones. This is still a real flight. Let's go before I lose any more patience. Streamer is so pretty. Thank you, antagonist. Thank you. I think um, I think so too, especially when I wear this beautiful headband. I think you're making me blush. All right, did we say anything else? Are we good? Time to learn the new plane. That's where all our time should be spent, not on trying to get the actual perfect gate. No, we tell. Why are we taking an A320 to a general aviation stand? Well, imperfectionist, it's because in your 27 messages, not one of them uh, was anything that gave me a suggestion on how to do whatever it was that was going to make you happy. Instead, you just waited until I clicked play to complain. So basically that. We were, we were literally there for like 25 minutes trying to pick the right gate. And uh, nobody said anything. I, I did all the suggestions. I clicked on live flights. Nothing came up. I googled it. Nothing came up. I clicked on four different ones I was told were wrong. Now we're just going to go, dude. <laughs> Alex firing from the hip. <laughs> I am firing from the hip now. Also, technically, there's no passengers on my plane, but we're not gonna. We're going to put passengers on the plane. They're gonna be you. Okay. 
Also, we have to learn the controls anyway. We can always change our location whenever we want. I've actually seen this game start wars between streamers and chats. So from my experience, this is pretty tame in comparison. I imagine there's an infinite amount of backseat in this game for people that are actually wizened. We've already experienced some of that, but not to a very high degree. All right, I'm being now I'm being chastised for not going to the SAS homepage. All right, SAS homepage says the person on mobile who can't open a second window. Chat phones nowadays can have Twitch open while you look at a browser. I don't know if you knew that, but the the screen just continues to play the video while you access the other app. But no, you got to write six comments that I got to do it. By the way, I got to find Scandinavian Airlines. Okay, we're going to go from... We're going to put this to bed right now. We're going to go from Copenhagen to Heathrow. Outbound now. 821. Literally right now. Return doesn't matter. You could return tomorrow. All right, search flights. How do you how do you look at live ones? All right, the earliest one is at like 1405 to 1850. There's no information on these. I'm just I'm I'm in checkout now. I just added it to cart. I'm going to earn 1500 flyer miles with this flight. SAS homepage only says what terminals the flights fly out of and into. LOL. Says another person in chat. Here. Sim, I'm sorry you came here and you sent all your viewers here to watch Choose the Correct Gate stream. I'm sure on your stream, a professional broadcast and uh, consummate expert especially with regards to geography, that you were up in the air longer than you were in the main menus, trying to pick the right uh, appeasement of to, to try to get the people in, in your chat to behave themselves. <laughs> Gate creator. <laughs> but you, you sent everybody to the wrong place. All right, where am I? Oh, couldn't see through the clouds. Depa wait. Departure. We had a fine departure. B10. Depart. Medium. No, we need to go big. Small. A. Ramp. That's general. That's the one I got chewed out for last time. It's got to be in here somewhere. I'm not medium, am I? Alright, they're like in the bees somewhere. Can you disappear? That's GA again. It's gotta be one of the bees, dude. B9. An A320 is medium. Is it? This is why, yeah, this is why flights are delayed, because the passengers start, like, loudly complaining. Hey, uh, pilot! What? I think you're at the wrong gate. I don't know. It says GA over there. I just looked it up on my phone. <laughs> How'd you get on the plane, then? Uh... I don't, because they, they use apps nowadays. We don't print tickets out anymore. The phone just tells me where to go. Mr. Pilot, uh, I looked here at the card, and I've got a map of the entire Heathrow Airport, and I just wanted to let you know, I think your arrival is set to the wrong destination. All right, apparently I'm medium, chat. Chat says I'm medium now. But I don't believe you anymore. I 
A320 medium. That's what we're going to say. Some, at least one person said I was medium. Gate heavy. That doesn't say GA though. It just says heavy. You know what? Carrying you all on my back, not that, not that easy. Maybe I should just roll with that. Hey, pilot, I don't like this aircraft. Too bad. Gate heavy means it's a busy airport. You know what? I'm going to roll with that. Because I found one that's not GA. I mean, it's like a needle in a haystack here. Let's try this one. Okay, we found one that's not GA, but it's small. Why doesn't it just tell you when you mouse over it? Wouldn't that be better? Gate medium! Gate medium! Gate medium! B9 to 305. Okay, we've done it. Let's go. Now we gotta learn how to fly the plane. You don't need to set a gate for arrival, do you? You do if you want to uh, do the simulation. We're gonna taxi... We have to request permission from the ground screw to taxi. We're still going to use taxi assists because navigating these major airports is not going to be possible without that. But other than that, I'm going to try to go full realism and go. we'll go third-person cam once we're at cruising altitude. Uh, so we can look around and stuff in third-person once we figure out how to autopilot and stuff. Which... I don't know how to program autopilot. We, we really have only flown one plane that had autopilot. So that's going to be a different learning thing. I only came here for the gate finding stream. What's harder, Dark Souls or finding the right gate? We, <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. All right, let's, let's not get in a rush. We, we've already spent 30 minutes looking for a gate. We may as well look and see how the Copenhagen AI rendered airport looks. <sighs> I would like to, like, learn a couple airports and be able to navigate myself, but I think that's only going to come after I understand how to fly the planes consistently. Thank you for your patience, chat, and some of you... I have to tell you, thank you for your impatience. You all make the stream better. Even when you just... Uh, I can't. I can't lie anymore. All right, back to it. What have... Uh, everything I've said is false. Oh, we won. All right. We got him. Where's your captain's hat? I don't have a captain's hat. But I do have five frames per second. And. Why, yeah, why do I have five frames per second? Better? Not really. I actually can't tell now. It is a bit... It, it's probably like 25 FPS for some reason. I bet it's because I... turned this setting, which I'm scared to do in the heat of the moment. How can you check your frames? Well, I used my eyeballs. I can just tell what it should feel like versus what it does. Um, let's do generic planes, AI traffic on... Bye, banana. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> you know what I really might need to do? I have had the game open for seven straight hours. There might... There might... Because that's... Maybe it's just all the buttons. 
Maybe I just have super high res switches. Cause it seems like it's once I look down at those. Cause this is relative. Eh. Is there a memory leak? Probably not. Why is your FPS limit at 60? I like to dream big. Maybe one day I'll hit 60. Look at all these cool buttons, though. 4K textures. That's actually just so many switches. Punch stuff in by the alphabet. Flight plan, ATC comms. All right, so we're looking at possibly map slash flight plan here. Oh, boy. I bet you could spend a whole day just learning some of these computer subsystems. If there are six buttons per side, and then five buttons, well, some of these are inoperable, but still, buttons here, I bet that that's its own subsystem that you have to learn. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and learn how to get the plane going, look at some of the buttons, then I'm going to restart the game, and then actually do the flight once we figured out how to get everything systems go. Because I want to clear the cache and just make sure that we're getting as many frames as we can, because I really don't feel like playing with this FPS, unless this is just how it's going to be. Maybe this is just a big, chunky plane. Oh, no, I looked backwards. Those aren't even buttons. They just liked buttons so much that they decorated the wall with them. Those are fake buttons. This is just like a wallpaper. Is that a calculator? Is that an abacus? <laughs> yes, uh, what's our heading? Well, based on the direction of the green, we've got like, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is, uh, 200, and if we add up, uh, white and subtract the green, that's worth five, add the black back in, and we've got our heading. <laughs> that's like how they determine it. <laughs> Fake buttons behind the co-pilot. Uh, we got a third seat for when it take your child to work day and you couldn't find a babysitter. Are any of these real? That, well, they are real, but these are inoperable. Auto switches, norm. I'm assuming if any buttons in here are inoperable, it's because they, people, they just put them in for fun. You know what these actually are? These are like decoy buttons. So that if anybody ever, like, finds a parked uh, Airbus and the keys are still in it and it's unlocked and they try to get in and hotwire and stuff, they put all the decoy buttons in there. Probably one of them, like, shoots out blue paint so they can identify the culprit. Something, yeah, it's an anti-theft device. Okay, so really, like, I think our focus is on this upper center console because I'm seeing some autopilot engagements, which I think is going to be very important. Uh, then we've got adjustable headings to configure the autopilot, I assume. Switch to different units. Airport info. Waypoint display for the map. Barometric pressure. And we've got various types of Location, equips, ADF, one and two. I'm going to say these are mirrored. So the co-pilot can do some stuff. Which screen for the in-flight movie? Do you like in-flight movies? You're in one. But anyway. Delete Jeff. Jeff's already been deleted. But yeah, we're just experimenting, mousing over some stuff, and uh, taking a peek. So, obviously, throttle here. We got some more important info around the throttle, including auto throttle, which can be manually disengaged. So, this is actually engine one and engine two. Interestingly, if you take a look at uh, this big boy, this is actually... I don't know how to disconnect this without looking at it, but there we go. I think it's like up and then, hold on, chat, there we go, okay, 
So check this out. I don't know if I can... There's probably a hotkey, but I actually have independent uh, throttles on this. So if I really wanted this to be separated for some reason, I could simulate that. But I don't know why you would want these to be disconnected unless it was an emergency. I made a checklist for this plane if you're interested, Italics. No pressure, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Like, we spent a, a good amount of time figuring it out. Did you make this checklist, Sim? Hold on. You made... You made this? Dev in chat? I'm just kidding. You're probably... uh, You could probably do this blindfolded now. Now, that being said... Hang on. How do I reconnect this? Oh, it was off center. That makes more sense. Okay, these are now connected. Uh, I spent a couple hours at the beginning. I mean, you were there for part of it, but uh, it's just such a comfortable feeling, isn't it? Sorry for making you guys motion sick. I'll zoom out. This is the head tracker. Um, such a comfortable feeling, like getting to know one of these machines a little bit more intimately where you understand what went wrong, what uh, is the pr proper procedure. Like, being able to recall that from memory just feels like its own accomplishment in this game, and I enjoy the almost puzzly aspect of trying to figure it out. But I will def I will probably defer to you mid-flight if you're still around when I actually get this up in the air. Because mid-flight, that's definitely the room for backseat information, because... I, I guess I could active pause and figure it out, but I like to try to avoid that if possible. Increase indicated out altitude. Important distinction there. Indicated versus ooh, display on. Okay, so what we'll do is... How do you guys like to do it? Do you want me to just push stuff? I kind of am interested in that. I'm kind of interested in just see if I can figure out the sequence, do you think it's impossible without looking at the, uh, the checklist? Hey, Anatashi, what's up? Push stuff and see what happens. The sequence of this plane is kind of weird. I imagine it is. I'm curious if APU actually does something on this. Or not. Wait. It did, but I turned it off. May have short it, shorted it out. Okay, I saw the I saw the dash come on briefly. All right, Chad, this is your no back seat warning. I will let you know when I ask for help. I can hear something spooling up. Already broke it. Stop figuring things out for yourself. Well, I mean, the, the game backseats you if you want. It's literally all right there. Uh, but it also is nice to just push stuff and see what happens, because we're going to end up restarting the game anyway, so... Okay. So where is the... Here's my... Shut up, air traffic control! All right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm already getting pushed back, and I just turned on the plane. My co-pilot's like, "Oh my god, I was waiting for this moment. Let's go! I got places to be, dude." I didn't know chat was my co-pilot. All right, let's turn that off for a sec. Actually, yeah, let's go check all this. Assisted checklist off. Assist everything off. Delegate ATC to AI. Gone. Aircraft systems are... Auto mix off. Unlimited fuel off. Aircraft lights off. Gyro drift auto calibration. Mid-flight recalibration in certain aircraft. I don't want to do that. I have no idea how to do that. Crash damage on. Aircraft stress on. Engine stress on. Ice on. No idea how to de-ice. I have not configured any of those hotkeys. Navigation, route, and waypoints. We have GPS anyway. Taxi ribbon has to stay on because I have no idea how to navigate. 
landing off smart cam is fine. POI markers. I'd like to know what I'm flying around, just so I can look at it. Like, I don't want to fly... Oh, whatever. We're going to be so high up in the air, it's not going to matter. All right, all markers off. I don't think we're going to see any, like, fauna, but there you go. Notifications. On-screen notifications about aircraft systems. First time flying? I think yes. We don't, I don't want to go full hardcore. Like, software tips? I don't even know how to use the, the systems here. Al Gillis, what are you trying to spell? Jeff? <laughs> uh oh. What is uh, July? <laughs> Just win the game. Easy. Aircraft system. Third highest viewer Microsoft Flight Sim stream. Well, I've had some very generous hosts, so I owe it to them. From uh, EJSA and SimCopter both. Look at your crotch in the head tracking. Why did I read that out loud? I beat this game with a Guitar Hero controller. Easy peasy. All right. Enough from you all. Okay. User experience. ATC UI panel. Open it. No, no, no. ATC voices on. Show message log? Why would that be off? Checklist UI panel. Open it. Start. VFR map, open at start. Nav log UI panel, open at start. Don't worry, I'm going to go back and change the flight style as well. I have to change one of those settings. We're not actually going to fly yet. I kind of need to restart now because I'm already getting pushback from my stupid co-pilot. And I'm lagging like crazy. Welcome aboard, Etal Air. Hey, what's up, Weirin? How's it going? Turn pilot voice on. Do something? Okay. I, I can do something. How's that? I just wanted to make the chat experience better for everybody. This has been a long day. <laughs> no, it's been good. <laughs> chat is like rejoicing. I've never seen that kind of reaction to somebody being a bug on the windshield. Um, but that's how you activate the windshield wipers. So, are we still... I think we're still being pushed back because the poor little car that is under this is fighting against my foot pedal brakes. So I can toggle those off. I don't even know. I want to know where the actual lever is. This plane is so many levels above that biplane you got started with. It is, yeah. <laughs> Fawn windshield. I can just screw with him. Like, throw my brakes on while he's pushing. All right, we're going to restart here in a minute anyways. I actually have no knowledge. I feel like going through the flight book is probably going to be nice. Because this is talking about APU bleed. Oh, I actually did this on accident. APU bleed switch must be set to off. Master switch must be set to off. I would never have found that. That would have been like a word search. Because I, I can push the button on here, but it's almost like cheating if I don't know where it is in the game. Because I did it, I already did these to start, um, get power, but I, I did it wrong, technically. 
How could you ever find that without help? You could, yeah. I I don't know, you just have to read, I guess. I think this is what I'm going to do, because there's like... Oh, that that's after you start the engine. Oh. Yeah, this is... uh, That's the final page in the booklet. Okay. Sim, did you figure this out using the check... The checkbox? Or did you actually look for each button that was on there? Out of curiosity. Why am I in the middle of the cockpit? You know what? Just quit the game. This frame rate... But I'm worried it's going to be like this no matter what. But it wasn't earlier. Maybe, maybe it is just is this plane. Because there's no one else even here. Am I still being pushed back? Who's pushing me right now? Am I just free floating? <laughs> uh, what was the plan here? Air traffic control, I got a report. We've got a, uh, a driverless boat. No, there is a driver in there. Pushback is currently forcing me into the terminal soon. This is the slowest episode. Wait, how many- how many speed movies were there? You can ask ATC to stop pushback. No, I don't think I will. Oh, we died. I see. We phased into the terminal. Alright, let me get- let me give a good game restart. I might turn down a setting. I didn't crash. That was that driver. That sh he should be fired and probably sued for damages. I would go for punitive if possible. All right before we reboot. Well, that uh, uh, depth of field doesn't matter. We'll leave generic plane models. Oh, I did the wrong one. I turned on off multiplayer. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one was wrong. Ambient occlusion I already turned down. Windshield effects don't matter. Shadow maps I could bump it down to 1024. That might help. But I really like good shadows. Alright, well that, that's probably a little bit more greedy. Okay, super sampling off. Texture resolution ultra might be actually one of the things because there's just so many buttons in there. But it is nice to be realistic. Gate <laughs> finding stream again. Oh boy. But yeah, we've had this game open for eight hours. I feel like the main menu is lagging a little bit even. I told you guys to buckle up. Like, 40 minutes ago. I told you. We're in this for the long haul. If you can't handle the pre-flight, you're not going to be able to handle in the air. What do you think is going to happen when we're at cruising altitude for over an... Over an... What's that noise? Something was just... Something was just making a weird electronic noise. Maybe maybe that's the sound of different, like... To tones and wavelengths dying in my ear. But anyway... I'm buckled in, chap. I'll be here for as long as this flight takes. Chat may come and chat may go, but Etal being in a plane on the tarmac is forever, you know? Who would have thought 
that pilots are paid extremely high amounts of money because of their commitment to learning and continued education. Because planes are hard. Who would have thought? That's going to be me, dude. Dude, why doesn't Elon Musk make a plane that flies itself? Okay, but seriously? You went from cars to rockets. Why did you skip a step? Hmm? We could have all had like a Jetson mobile by now. We could have each we could have all been like flying around in cool individual spaceships and stuff. I don't know if this will actually make the frame rate any better. We'll see. Would you trust a plane that flies itself? People are already scheduled to take a rocket, right? I believe the um the rocket ships are already booked for atmospheric space flight or what uh there's a couple different companies that have already sold seats. I'm sure there'll be people on board though. It's not going to be autonomous, but I'm saying like if you would do that, wouldn't you fly in an automatic airplane? Obviously, we're not there yet. And probably won't be for a while. I mean, look what happened to the... the Maxes. When autopilot goes wrong, terrible tragedies happen. But, like, technologically... Technologically, we're probably... less than 20 years away. Realistically. Will people still do it? Probably not, but... It'll probably exist by then. Remember I was lagging on the world? This feels a lot smoother. Maybe it's just a... Maybe it's just a coincidence. Okay, so... Once again. That was the other thing that was weird. We weren't um, in a super populated airport. So the lag there didn't make any sense. There you go. Gate C35. Heavy. Wait. Didn't we want to do medium? Chat said I'm a medium. There you go. Gate A9. Medium. Two... That's also heavy. How did I find heavy on the first try for both of these? After we just searched. There we go. Medium. Oh, that's G8 a large. Never mind. Why does it zoom me out every single time? Where? <laughs> where? What? Where was the one that I wanted? That's small. So we found. Where's the Goldilocks zone? For gates. There we go. Boom, boom. Check, check. Double check flight conditions. That's why. Weather and time. That would have been really embarrassing. Live, live. Good. Try again. This time, AI is... Oh! I was supposed to change to the thing at the top left. It's... I remembered. I remembered. Someone in chat said it. I know you did. I know. Just remember what gate I'm on. Who was it? I bet it was Carson. Yep. Round two. Do the next one that's getting timed out. Talks don't scream, my cat is sleeping. Hello, kitty. Talks, what are you eating? 
pita. This is the last piece. And some hummus. I have to change the setting so we can actually use GPS while we are flying. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to get to our destination. Like, <laughs> would not be, no, <laughs> would not be very fun. <laughs> All right, chat, have I been flying in, in this heading for an hour? In 10 minutes, it's time to turn. That's what it would be like. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me change this first. I think it was like here. Nope, it was like right next to that though. Hi, I'm new here. I'm sorry, Lewis. Hummus sucks. Hummus doesn't suck. What flavor? Mediterranean style. Wait, this is... Hang on. Direct GPS, low altitude airways, or high altitude airways? We're going to be real. We're going to be like 32,000 feet, roughly. So depending on what you choose, it's probably going to change the formations as well. All right. Anything else I need to click? How did it reset the weather? Almost, almost didn't get live weather again. Tries to reset that. Mediterranean food in general? Craigasm, yeah. Click Navlog to see heights, I think. Like, yeah, we'll... Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, we can just trace our flight. Oh, this is nice. So we're going to reach cruising altitude of 38,000 feet. It's crazy to me how distant the ascents and descents are. Low sounds more fun. <laughs> you don't just get to be like, you know what? I don't feel like cruising at 38,000 feet. I don't think you have an arrival gate selected. Yeah, I do. Did the gates get messed up after I changed to IFR? Some of that did it or not? Holy moly, we still haven't taken off. We're not going to take off for another hour. You can go take a bath or something and come back. Five messages in the chat, and that's one of them. You said hi twice. What to do to make money as a merc? How'd that go for you, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Hiss at the newbies. Oh, come on. Smooth and out. Give me some frames. Wait until it all loads. I'll probably smooth it out once we get a airborne. Smells like hippo in here. Hello, psycho fam. What's up? Welcome. Um, I hope you're... Chat is ready to complain about not flying planes in Flight Simulator. If so, you're in the right place. Weather looks good out here. Nice and cloudy. Looks very volumetric, realistic. Love it. I made tons of money in Mercenaries too. 
how to make money as a merc. Let's go not fly planes. Let's sit in them, though. That's what I'm doing, okay? That's exactly why I'm here. All right, so we have full control. Chat, before we do anything, there were two people who are trying to possibly gaslight me into thinking I didn't select a travel gate. So I am going to check my... I believe if I didn't select a gate, I wouldn't have a taxi option to travel to. So let's check our flight plan, which is navlog. Oh boy. I don't think this is going to tell me though. Uh, from here to here. It's fine. They'll direct you to a gate. Yes, I'm sitting at one. We're <laughs> okay. Kappa didn't work. You selected parking, not a gate at Heathrow. Right, but I can request a gate. They don't, they don't, ass they don't assign you a gate before we don't have a takeoff time. Right? Usually, like, some of the time you don't even get a gate while you're on the plane until you actually get there, especially when you're flying somewhere like Heathrow. They assign that. All right, let's go checklist. And here's what I'm going to try to do just to annoy you all, okay? Because I've already done such a good job of that already. I am going to manually do... I'm going to manually do the checklist without using the eyeballs. Okay? And that means no, uh, no help in chat. We're going to see if we can figure this out. Battery switches on. As the first one, I got an idea. Well, I kind of cheated, but I already bound this key, so it counts. This is lighting. So I know where that is. Okay, um... That's going to be how we can see better once we get the battery and external power on. Don't tell you, chat, no back CD. Put chat in emote only. Nah, I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of slack. Only some of you know how to do it anyway. Simcopter has already got a paragraph written. He's like, just say the magic word, italics. I will guide you in as if I was your air traffic control. Sim, you want to be my ATC? Yeah, like I'll just pipe you in through one ear. I'll be like, uh, air traffic control, this is... I don't even know what my flight number is, actually. What gate are we at? Sim, tell me what gate are we at, Sim! That's him pulling up right now. He's going to hop out and be my co-pilot. All right, let's take a look. Listen, if I was a battery... I might need... All right, this is not really that good to look directly up with. Oh, God, it's getting caught in my hair. This is like... Listen, if you made a bubble gum, natural point, and used that to attach this to your hair, it'd be kind of the same thing as what I'm having to do right now. This piece of metal. All right, I'm sorry. Now I can look up better. Just just get a custom knit hat stitched together with the with your tears. Did I switch them from off to on? Fault. On slash fault displayed. I looked over and saw a back seat. So it was dealt with. 
give you the benefit of the doubt. One time too many. Are you winning, son? No, antagonist. I'm sniping Jeffs. But thank you, Hippo, for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, chat, chat's a little stressed right now. They don't like learning. That's why they're on Twitch. And uh, they also only like to see takeoffs and landings. So we're just, you know, the worst of both worlds there. But thank you, everybody, who just <laughs> came in. I hope if you were playing this or something else, you had a fun time and a good stream. Because I am here to take you down a notch, <laughs> if you were. <laughs> I have to hold my head very still so I don't make chat very dizzy. All right, what did I just hit? Turn Battery Master 1 and 2 on or off. It says off, so they should be on. But I'm scared to I'm scared to check this. Both battery switches have been clicked, and now it says turn off if you do click. So I am going to tick this tentatively. External power has been also hit. Looks it seems like there's two of every single button. But here's what's gonna happen. If I if this is Sudoku, okay, chat? We're playing Sudoku right now. And if the numbers don't add up at the end, then all we have to do is use the eyeball to fix it. It's not that hard. There 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 is a cheat sheet right here if we want it. Alright, engine generators on, fault displayed. I assume there's not more than two generators, because that would be weird. I look over and I and this can't be a real comment. But it is. You can tell that it's real because it's the one the comment that you saw for a millisecond that you thought it can't be real. No, it's a real person. They're not even following the stream. That's how you know it's real. Engine generators. Okay. Check check. I'm gonna say they're both on. Engine bleed air switches. Engine bleed. Ooh, hello. Are they not? Why does it say turn off? Are, so, hang on. I really need to clarify this. Does this mean they're on or off? Because if it says to turn off, then I think it's on. You can answer that question, and you won't be deleted. Eight ball, will this plane ever get off the ground? Don't count on it, Archive. Don't, never say never. On when dark. Okay, good. So, bleed switches are on. This says fault displayed. Check, check, APU master switch, which I can do. But, uh, I'm gonna do this on my thing. I see APU gen right here. Which, that is currently on, so that can't be the master switch. I want to try and find it, even though I can just turn it on. It's got to be in this general area. Don't look at chat. Airflow, cockpit, cabin, aft. Engine pumps. We got inoperable fire push. I thought you could, are these operable if you do a disaster mode? Um, emergency generators over here also inoperable. If you do disasters on, do these become operable? I didn't touch those engine one and engine two buttons when I flew. Really? Well, they may not be what I need to push. Wait, what? Which ones? Gen 1 or this one? Engine 1, Engine 2. So 
So if these aren't engine generators, then what type of generator is this? This isn't an airplane, this is just a plane at this point. Is what Kitsune, why did you plus two that? What does that even mean? Engine one bleed and engine two bleed I didn't touch. Gotcha. Did I touch that? Okay, see APU. But there's so many different APUs. We got two different types of pumps that lead to engine one and engine two. We're not there yet. And then, um, I know where APU gen is. It's already on. I just need to find the master switch. Because I see APU bleed. And that's here. So I've already found that. Those are lights. Hmm, I'm determined. I already know where the shortcut. I have the shortcut on my thumb. It's got to be literally right in front of me. Because we got APU master switch, APU start, wait for available lit, bleed, external power, and fuel pumps. All right, chat. You guys have to go. You have to go in the hole. You're in the hole. How did some of you type after that? Reach out. You know it's necessary. No backseat arena. You only get to learn this once. You can do it uh, by getting Game Pass, or you can do it by watching me do it. But it's your choice, and this choice is mine. Found it. On my own. Master switch. On. APU start. On. See, isn't that much more satisfying when you do something yourself? Instead of having someone lean over your shoulder to do it for you? Chad, have you ever been playing a game on console and one of your family members or friends takes the controller out of your hand to do it? That's basically what unwanted backseating is. Okay? It's not the end of the world. You're not going to cut off all communication with that the individual who does that. Uh, you can still be friends with them, and you can still, you know, treat them normally outside of that circumstance, but it just rubs you the wrong way, okay? That's basically what it is. It's not, it's not anything personal. I'm not going to take this to the grave. If you do it, I'm just going to tell you if it's, you know, necessary or not. Thanks for understanding. APU start and APU bleed are next. Okay, so we've already started APU. Wait for available lit. Check. Then, uh, Sim said he didn't do APU bleed, so it may not even be necessary. But since it's here, I'm going to just check it just to check this off and see if it does anything. It might just be a precautionary measure. And we're in the area, and in fact, I don't even see the bleed. Oh, there we are. I heard something just tick on. External power? Off. Okay, so we've already turned it on, and I need to remember... So that just, like, switches, basically. So external power is we should literally be plugged in, right? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, I mis I misunderstood. You did click APU bleed, but not ing one ing engine two bleed. I gotcha. Which would be these are by the way, chat. I do have ice turned on. Ice is up here above the lights. Really good to know. Also, I think anti-ice extends to the wings. Yeah, so this is very important in, in case... Because we're going to be frosty up, up high. So we need to know that now. Also, rip channel points. <laughs> channel point correction. See, there's engine one, engine two bleed. Okay. 
Gotcha. External power off. But not... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Already checked. Fuel pumps on. This might be in a different... Dude, this is actually like... It's just solving a Rubik's Cube, and it's so fun. So, it, fuel pumps on. I mean, I see engine one, engine two pumps, but these are both inoperable, so it can't be that. I might be looking in the totally wrong place up here. Because I see pump. Turn on CTRTK pump. TK pump, TK pump, 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 pump. I feel like I'm on who wants to be a millionaire, and if you cut that down to 50-50, I still don't think I would get it right. Maybe it's just all of them. It's either that, or it's not even up here, and it's like, we haven't even really looked down there. But it seems like they've, they've delegated a lot of the most important stuff to this kind of one central location. Emergency electrical, oxygen... Chad, I'm turning that off. You guys, you guys definitely don't need that. Um, if if oxygen masks came down in chat to resuscitate this chat, and the flight attendant says, "Please equip the mask on yourself," as follows, and then turn to your neighbor and help them, you guys would do neither. That's how contrarian you are. You would probably take the mask and put your fists in the mask and like strap it around your hand and then like pull down on the two cords until they popped just to see how much resistance until they gave way. Try to suspend yourself from the, the rooftops with them. And then when you pass out, you complain that... Uh, the pilot's still trying to deploy oxygen for you. You know what I mean? Hey, I can't believe this streamer, uh, instead of just flying in a straight line in arcade mode for four hours, is actually trying to figure out the game as Microsoft made it. How dare you? How dare you create content by figuring out how to start uh, an Airbus on your own, just using a paper checklist? and your eyeballs, so that if you're ever on such a plane in the future, and we're at 32,000 feet, 38,000 feet, I know how to de-ice the wings in case I have to take over, because the pilot and the co-pilot are trying their best to calm all the hysterical people in the coach first class sections, because they keep just pushing the notification light button and when the flight attendants come over, they just go, Hey, can you just get to the destination now? I'm trying to get to Heathrow. Could you just fly? All right, I know you're trying to, like, do important things like pump fuel into the plane and turn the electricity and the batteries on, but could you just fly? And then the, both the pilots are there wrestling you to the ground. When that's happening, I can go ahead and slip into the pilot's chair, with permission, of course, and figure out how to get this bad boy airborne. Okay, that's what I'm preparing myself mentally to do. All right, I don't know where fuel pumps are, so I'm just going to push literally every button that says pump on it. Did I do good? Probably not. <laughs> now I'm going to click the eyeball because I genuinely don't think that's right. <gasps> it was right! I did it! All right, we did it. Uh, I just checked my homework, and I went for the gold, and I was rewarded. Okay, so I, I assume that's all of them. There's six. Tick that. Beacons! Hold on, how do you reset this? Don't tell me. Oh, God, it reset my... Uh... I had it perfect, and now I goofed. Beacons? That's gotta be lights, dude. Got it. Puzzle solving extraordinaire here. Alright, let's check our work. Beacons on. Good job.
Okay, before starting the engine has been solved. Well done. Now we actually get to try and start the engine. Thrust levers, idle. I wanted to do this a few times before I actually memorize it. Uh, because I'm not even close to that. Thrust levers, idle. Okay. That one we can actually do. Engine mode selector, ignition, start. Hmm, this is gonna- this could be tough. Engine... Well, there's a parking brake. Speed brakes? Interesting. There's flaps. Turn on engine 1 and 2 master. That's right there. So selector is this. To ignition start. Engine 2 master on. Engine 1 master on. Engines confirm stabilized. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, okay, lit literally on the console. Okay, I would never have- I just had to click that because I don't know what I'm confirming. I got an achievement called Start Me Up. Why is everything so sensual right now? Manually start the Airbus engines without using assistance! You're watching a uh, first try blind achievement hunting stream. You thought you were watching Gate Selector. Actually, I just got a legit Chivo for starting this thing without using any help. Okay. Engines confirm stabilized. I assume they're still powering up. I don't know what F used means. That just sounds like something a uh, New Yorker would say. Uh, then we got oil quantity, I guess. Q you're a QT. PSI, so pressure. IGN gives this game uh, an A, but then they changed it to a B after they realized that people didn't agree with their first review. It's got a little, you know, how does the phrase go? You know the rest. Tat for sat and uh, GW. Fob. Forward operating base weighs 10,000 kilograms. We'll be there in no time. I have no idea what any of that actually means. That's okay. I assume the engines are actually stable right now, though I literally don't know. Chat. Here. You can. I'll let you breathe for a moment. You can be temporarily free at least. Tell me, uh, what do I look at here that actually tells me if they're stable or not? I assume as long as PSI's not in the red, that's the only negative indicator. Put me back! <sighs> Engine 2 is on fire. Just look at stabilization. Forehead. You're doing a good job. Thank you, Kyoko. I feel like we're doing actually better. <laughs> we're doing better in this Airbus than on the stunt plane at the beginning of the stream. Does it look stable? Look at N1. What does the O stand for? Zero, I assume, is like not in use, and then red. And this is probably the threshold. IGN equals ignition. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I don't know how- I don't know how to interpret these little Star Wars lines. Alright, I confirm stabilized. After starting the engine, APU bleed, master switch, and engine mode selector. Um, did I already- uh, crap, I don't remember. I was like, hey, I need to remember where this is. And then I immediately forgot. Oh! 
dude! That sound! I have heard... Chat, I don't know if you can hear that. I have to turn the volume back up. Hold on. That sound, you guys have all heard this. Listen. Turn. You've been on the airplane while APU bleed has been on, and you've heard this transitional sound. When it gets really quiet, you know how loud it is when you first board the plane, and then like they f you, when they finally hit that, that's when you know, okay, we're actually about to go. That's like, oh, we're, we're getting ready to shove off right now. All right, APU master switch. Off. Engine mode selector, normal. Wow, this is difficult to look at. Hold on. Okay. Chat, we uh, are done with the checklist. I still have no idea how to fly this, but we can technically go. Emote only made me realize what absolutely cursed emotes chat has. We did that all without really consulting anything. And honestly, I think we did that in a fairly timely fashion compared to how difficult it, the red plane was extremely difficult to start up because it had a very precise three second wait time. You had to, you had to turn a, um, a switch, count to three, turn it off, throw the throttle, uh, actually no, throw the fuel mixture precisely then flip the key at the same time, almost. Just push throttle, yank stick. Ground control to major italics. Speaking of, speaking of, we need to uh, get in touch with ground services. And where, chat, I need to figure out where things are. So at this stage, there are certain things I will ask for back seating on. This is fuel used. Am I at max gas right now? F used. F used, chat. Is this my gas gauge? It's oil. But I don't know where gas is. This makes me want to play this game so much, it actually simulates the whole process. I know, Coronis. That's what I'm most interested in. You're probably at 50%. That's what I thought as well. Are we going to or from? We're going from Denmark, explosive Danish, to, um, to Heathrow. FOB is mass of fuel on board. Okay, that's the acronyms I need to know. So FOB is 10,000 kilograms. Fuel on board. I'm pretty sure getting good at this game would at least get you half of the way to a real pilot's license. Certainly with like a Cessna or something. Unless you change it in settings, it defaults to 50% of max. All right, how do I check my power? Because we got a ton of stuff here. So obviously, in hindsight, uh, I would have started this while we were figuring out how to set that up, but I was really laser focused on getting the plane turned on. But I did say that this was going to be a full trip chat. Imagine coming into flight training already knowing the entire instrument panel. That would be cool. All right, let's let's gas up. I think we start Airbus at 50%. Could you please send a fuel truck? Um, how do I see... Honestly, though, I like this better because I want to actually see this happen. If I can. Uh, this is new content to me. Sweet. This is going to be a 24-hour stream. <laughs> 
Where, how can I see my max? I guess here's how you can see it. Uh, the cheat way is fuel supply and just see how much higher you are than 10,500 10, after they fill it up and then do the math. Request power supply. Listen, we gotta have some weight. We gotta get some extra fuel, chat. Because there's no people on board, so we gotta weigh the plane down to simulate it. Volts are on your overhead panel, otherwise N1 shows engine power. What does N1 stand for? Nice one. <laughs> um, volts are shown on the overhead panel. Battery 1, 28.5 U. Castro ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320. Could you please send a ground power unit? Why am I doing this, you might ask? Because I will... Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320, ground power unit. All right, Chad, I'm going in third person cam just so I can see this. Um. That's the fuel truck. Cheater, this whole flight won't count. I'm not even- I want to see the graphics! I'm not, I'm not cheating. I just want to see how this looks. This is all new. Oops. Oh, is that what- hang on. So I have to dictate. When the fuel truck comes, how much I want. And where I want it. Pilot. 185. Co-pilot, 185, business class, forward baggage, so it's, it is it is simulating passengers, so you could try and simulate an empty uh, red-eye flight, or you could probably figure out exactly, push the max on 60,000, so I could be like, let's say there's an extra thousand pounds of baggage, for example. Let's say there's an extra thousand economy class, and then an extra just they're just really heavy on baggage. You could do that, but fuel-wise, I think you leave the allocation. So this is filling up the center. So we could just say. 100% left inner, right inner, and then 0% center, be at 57%. You don't need that much fuel. I'm just experimenting because I want to see the, how the gameplay works. And then you could, instead of typing these in manually, you could just go max or empty, and they probably fly totally different. But yeah, you can try forward baggage, rear baggage. But business class is better than economy. So there's more there's more business passengers, but there's also more rear baggage. Right? Also, we're not even at 50% payload. I think we'll be pretty balanced. Hey, what's up, God Wrecked? How's it going? We're just learning this plane. I saw you the first time, though. Rear baggage. <sighs> Chat, which, who of us doesn't have rear baggage? Everybody who comes in here has some kind of baggage. Including me. I'm carrying you. Alright, I don't know what you're carrying, though. Easy. Easy. Speaking of baggage, sometimes it's a heavy load streaming after 1 a.m. chat, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let us um, say this is good. 
Do I have to confirm or just click X? Four twenty-four a.m. Eh, it's one twenty-four right now. The sky looks beautiful though. I have emotional baggage. <laughs> Don't we all? Speaking of baggage, let's call them out. Castro Ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero. Could you please send the baggage? Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero. Baggage is on the way. So I know we're we're not doing anything that would involve cheating. I just want to see. I know they're gonna teleport. <gasps> Dude, the door. I wouldn't be able to see this. I don't have like side mirrors and stuff. Cheating! So it's gonna like probably s like. <gasps> How close does he get before he pops into place? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, here it comes. It's on the little cart. That's close enough. I'll count it. I don't care. A little clipping is fine considering you're just simulating all of this. Because you can be in whatever spot in different gates. See, there it goes. Kind of moved over. So, like, next times we do this, I'll stay in cabin. I just really just want to see the content of the game right now. It is our first time flying. <gasps> oh, it actually goes up! They even simulated a per bag. I really didn't expect that it was going to drain one at a time from the baggage cart. That's really impressive and cute. So detailed. See, I love this. This is why I saved the, um... The passenger stuff, we probably, I mean, it's eight and a half hours, but that's fine. We don't have to stream tomorrow. Just like Satisfactory, get that conveyor belt up to Mark Three, baby. You can start on the next one. I like this person's job. Just look busy. <laughs> are those all the bags? Or are you taking a lap for fun? Also, this must be the electric charger. Didn't really give this attention. So confirmed we were at 50% fuel. By the way, this is a beauty. <gasps> look at my invisible co-pilot. Beautiful plane. All right, they're backing up. Hi, are engines supposed to be running? I believe that's the only way for us to uh, not be on battery power. The engines are creating that electricity for us. So I would assume yes, considering we followed all the pre-flight code. Being at the airport at 4 in the morning for an early morning flight <laughs> versus watching a streamer RP as airline pilots at 4 in the morning. <laughs> Are there passengers? Hmm. I don't know if that is simulated. I know that it simulates their weight. So we have to get food and stuff, right? Castro ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra it's Jetway Connection, yeah? Could you please send the catering? Should be jetway connection. This is a jetway. I think. Can you do both at the same time? What are the? I don't know why, but this. They're going to be my co-pilot, dude. Don't they normally enter from the left, not the right? First of all, that's amazing. It even, like, curves with very good accuracy to your plane. Uh... 
Uh, yeah. May have clipped a little bit into the truck in front of it, but I'm, I'm willing to forgive because it's just... Oh, is this catering? Ah, that's catering in the back, too. <laughs> oh, they even have this rendered. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, you can't go you can't go see the passengers. But anything that you actually do, you can see. I'm glad that they let you clip though, instead of just forcing you outside the bounds so you can explore and experiment. They got like a little mirror. Look at the little uh fake people. Actually it's just fake chairs. It's like a graphics effect to make the windows look like there's chairs in there. That's actually really smart. I kind of, I think that you couldn't simulate this because if you put 400 individual units on the plane that you don't even see while flying, it would probably be an insane drain on your GPU CPU to keep track of all those people and render them. Now do a barrel roll. Next trick. <laughs> I haven't flown in so long. I'm actually excited to be stuck in an airplane when it's safe again. That's kind of why it's fun to do this. Will catering service just go on its own? Castro Ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320. I am done with catering services. How do I know when everyone's... Oh, I disconnect when I when I decide that they boarded. Okay, so I can you can like RP that if you want. Take you can just simulate how long you think it would take. So while people are boarding and stuff, you could be running your pre-flight checks, and then when you're done, say all classes have boarded, and then go ahead and disconnect. That's really cool. You can put as much time into this RP as you want. Please do the safety instruction. I don't trust these passengers. Your fellow members of chat? I wouldn't trust them for safety either. Listen, chat. Um, do you know why you're sitting here? This is the emergency exit in the event of a, a water landing. We're going to be passing over quite a bit. If you feel like we're going down. I want you to pull open the lever on this door. Shove it open. It's going to take a little bit of strength behind it because the air is going to be fighting against you, trying to rip you out from the very soul of this aircraft. But I need you to take the first person who back seats, push them in front of you, okay? And if you get them just so into the engine, you might save us all. This plane runs on tears. It runs on blood and sweat and the complaints of those around you. See, you ever see Mad Max Fury Road? You know when they start drinking gas and spewing it into the very engines that they are using to make a trail across the desert? It's kind of like that. You're feeding the engines when you do this. You're empowering them, and that might be enough to get us back in the air. All right, so now that I understand how all this works, uh, when we do one of either this plane again or the bigger plane, we can RP this whole thing. Uh, now that I understand how to do the ground surfaces as well. But let's say that the jetway is ready to be disconnected for our purposes right now. Ground, Airbus Alpha and we can have that going in the background zero, while we're getting our checkups and our pre-flights on the actual plane. All right, I'll go back to RP mode. I'll go back to cockpit view and kind of just hang out here until we, you know, get to hopefully cruising altitude safely if we can. This is actually going to be the interesting hard part. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to clearance. Request IFR clearance. Someone can go ahead and tell me what that means. If you want. Technically, every passenger is a backseater. It's true. Instrument flight rules. 
But if I click this, is it, is it saying I'm ready to go? Like, what does it give me permission to do? Getting clearance from ATC for exactly what? Flight plan check? Okay. Castro ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 IFR to Heathrow ready to copy. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is cleared to Heathrow Airport as filed. Take off runway 12 climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Departure frequency is 120.255 squawk 0171. Squawk 0171. Read back and acknowledge. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 cleared to Heathrow Airport as filed. Take off runway 12 climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Departure on 120.255 squawk 0171. Okay, we repeated it back to him. Airbus 320 read back is correct. Contact ground on 121.725 when ready to taxi. Next level immersion. They introduce a uh, voice recognition software where you physically... You actually have to read it back to them perfectly. Danish 157 taxi to gate Delta 12 using taxiway Bravo Victor Sierra. Uh, con... I need to... I need pushback, right? Castro ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting pushback. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray... Let's be smart about this. Airbus pre-takeoff. Pushback request accepted. I made a save. I have to request. Taxiing to gate Delta One Two using taxiway Bravo Victor Sierra Danish One Five Seven. Chad, I think he's gonna disqualify me. Danish One Five Seven, hold position, caution, other traffic. Castro ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Three Two Zero. Forgot to disconnect the, the power pushback. truck. Airbus Alpha Sierra it's disconnected. Request to end pushback received. Danish 157 continue taxi. Castro ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting pushback. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 pushback request accepted. All right, let's make sure he can actually push us. Roger Danish. This is a whole ordeal, isn't it? All right, he should be hooking up right now. He told me to hold position for traffic, dude. Nav lights. My beacon just turned off, though. Alright, let's say pushback steer to the right. Castro ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320 requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. If he goes right, I go left. Airbus I'm a Alpha genius. I don't know what's behind me, though. How am I supposed to know if there's a bad guy behind me? Isn't this their job? To, like, walk out with me and give me, uh, batons and stuff? Castro ground, Airbus Alpha this should be Sierra, good. X-ray 320 requesting... We're kind of in the dirt. Back. We're in the dirt. Airbus Alpha Sierra, X -ray I couldn't even see that dirt. Received. It's fine. Okay. So he's gone. Request jetway. No, no, no. Go back to clearance. Tune to ATIS. Air traffic something. Castro Airport information Mike 0800 Zulu. Wind 088 at 10. Visibility 6. Sky condition. Few Who am I supposed to contact right now? Few clouds at 4,100 feet. Few clouds. Do I have to redo my plan? Taxi IFR, right? 
Castro up ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 with November ready to taxi IFR. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 taxi to and hold short of runway 12 by attack. Taxi to and hold short. Kilo Kilo One Fox Drop One. Contact tower on 118 decimal seven when ready. Okay, so I taxi contact tower. Let's acknowledge. Taxi to and hold short runway one two via taxiway Papa Yankee Mike Zulu Kilo Kilo One Fox Trot One Airbus Tree Two Zero. This is insane compared to the other stuff, though. Just the sheer quantity of things in there. All right, so I tune in to tower when I'm ready. Do I throttle up to go? What? How do you move? Are there electric wheels, or do we have to use? This is scary. How far is the throttle already? 22%. I don't want to go above, like... Electric wheels, I'm dead. <laughs> you know what? Okay, Elect here's the thing, though. That exists. There's trolley systems. I was holding- I was holding the brake because I'm scared. Okay, so imagine a pilot, if you will. Uh, what do I do with traffic here, man? I'm basically gripping the armrest, except in my case the armrest is the throttle. That's how afraid I am of this. Chat, these are gonna clip. How do I get traffic to just go? They're waiting for me to pass, but I don't want my wing engine to clip them. All right, we'll just steer to the right. Some need to be sacrificed. <laughs> brake check them? How do you brake check in an airplane? <laughs> you pretend like you're gonna cross, and then you throw on the brakes and hope they hit you? What, for insurance fraud? Chat. Is the wing going to clear them? I assume the game would tell me I have full damage on right now. What's the throttle at? 20... I don't want to go above 25%. Airbus 320, hold position, caution, other traffic. Airbus 320, continue taxi. You, you just brake checked me, air traffic control! I just threw 300 plus passengers to an abrupt halt thinking I was about to collide with traffic, and you just said, got him, at the end of the transmission. Acknowledge. Roger, Airbus 320. <laughs> Ow, my head. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of frames on this. This airplane in particular is way more resource intensive than the other ones. But also keep in mind, my god computer would probably be fine if I wasn't streaming and using a three cam setup simultaneously. That's a lot of processing that I'm doing right now. I'm happy. This is this is still playable though. It's not like you have to make a lot of, you know, split second decisions in this thing. Let's go ahead and slow this down, dude. There's there's no gentle brake because I don't have a pedal toe brake. So brake literally just goes. If this was a real passenger plane, that's not me. It's like I'm throwing on 100% brakes every time I hit the brakes. Let's try and take some looks around, enjoy Denmark while we're here. Taxiing to gate Alpha 50 via taxiway Bravo Zulu Quebec Foxtrot Yankee Lima Wide Road 305. Not me. Yeah, we're under 20%. Um. I don't know, how fast do you normally taxi? How fast am I going right now? Wait, I don't even know where any of my instruments are. The pilots also wear Nike trainers. No, they have to know the difference between Nike and New Balance before they're allowed to fly. It's on the test. Chat, any feet camera joke you made, we already made. 30 times yesterday. You should have been at that stream too, okay? Can't believe you missed that one and you thought you could just do a makeup do-over exam. Alright, what'd they say? 
20 knots or so, I think. Where do you see that, though? So, you're teaching a man... I need to teach a man to fish. Alright, so now we have to go, uh, tower? Dude, you can't just hard turn left once I get here! GPS! Okay, this is actually fine. I have to tune into the tower, yeah? Let's get to a- let's get to a stop and then request clearance. There's- there's no hurry here. Let's get this better lined up, dude. Driving this is like... This thing is thick. Also, my heart is racing. I need like a... I feel like I need a, um... A heart rate monitor for the stream for this. How's the turning radius this good? We're at the front, Rat Boys. There's a wheel under us that we're turning with. So we're leading the train, right? We're at the front, so we're the axis that is turning. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just take a look at this. Eh, could have done better. Not really lined up, but I thought I had less room than that. Alright, we're gonna request... Takeoff clearance IFR. Astro Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 ready to go runway 12 IFR. Sweat check. I might need that. I'm scared. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 cleared for takeoff runway 12. I'm clear for takeoff chat. Take a deep breath. I, ha I have no idea what I'm doing. Are my flaps... Do we want flaps down? I assume we want flaps down for this. Like we do with the other planes. Wait till you hear the noise stop. Airbus 320, did you copy? Oh, acknowledge. Cleared for takeoff runway 12 Airbus Flaps Alpha are down. Sierra, Am I forgetting anything? Probably. Airbus first takeoff. I don't think you want to see that entire lead up again, do you? In case I screw this all the way up. Three, two, one. Clear for takeoff. I don't know how fast I'm going. Where's my instrumentation on speed? We're going fast enough to fly, I guess. Over speed. Over speed. What? Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. On the altitude. Okay, so I'm going 220, I mean 240. Acknowledge handoff. 120.255. Where's my map? Chat, I don't know where the GPS is. Danish 77 cleared to land runway 22 left. Follow the aircraft on final. Wind 088 at 10. Cargantor 646 clear. I looked over and someone said throttle down and then I started stalling. down. Clear to land runway 22 left Danish 77. Danish 77 turn next taxiway. Oh my god. Gears? Gears! Whoops. <laughs> I just set the alarm! Did I lock it before I went in the grocery store? <laughs> I had to check it twice. I walked all the way up to the front counter and had to go back out to make sure. 
barely above the horizon line right now. All right, we can we can climb again. Look at those clouds! Malmo Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is out of 7,600 feet for 6,000 feet. What is my altitude? Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 Malmo Center continue to Alpha Lima. We are ascending really fast, I think. Chat, am I at 10,000? How fast are you supposed to ascend? Around 9,000 is what they said. I'm at 10,000. No one likes a boring flight. Shake the plane a bit. Are there any mods left in chat that can ban the flaps guy? I already put up flaps like five minutes ago. Your flaps aren't high enough. I... They're all the way up! Do you hear any noise right now? No. You know why? Because the flaps are up! Airbus 320, please expedite your descent to 6,000 feet. 6,000?! Chat, stop writing flaps! I gotta be at half my current altitude! Request cruising altitude increase by 3,000 feet. Malmo Center, Airbus 320. Request flight level 410. Airbus 320 descend and maintain 6,000 feet. Expect flight level 410. It's gonna get a little uh, anti gravity in here in a moment, my passengers. Okay, uh, this is your captain speaking. If you've ever wondered what it was like to be weightless in the atmosphere flying uh, f far above. Uh, typical levels. Well, we are about to acknowledge instruction. We're descending to 6,000 feet very rapidly. I didn't know the ascent was supposed to be that gentle. <laughs> hey, you guys were back there like... Uh, request vector to next waypoint. Malmo Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Over speed. Over speed. Now I need flaps. Chat, I just see the ground. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. I'm putting flaps down to slow us down. This is Oh no, we're just going to crash. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Airbus 320, please. Shut up. I I don't have a co-pilot today. He had a day off. Over speed. Over speed. It's a global pandemic. There's extra sick days now. Heading 275 Airbus 320. We're gonna stall. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Oh my god, we're gonna stall. I was just at 14,000 feet! You told me to come down here, I acknowledge, and now you're sending me back up the other way! Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Are we even going the right direction? Airbus Absolutely not. Continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 275. 275 chat. Continue to ALS. Continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. 275. Is this the heading? Right here? Two seven five. So we need to go gentle. We're gonna go one notch. I'm pointing at the screen. Do you see that? We're gonna go one notch for now. Let's zoom out. I want to try and maintain around two forty. Imagine you keep. If you're in the back, you keep hearing the engine up and slow. Down, we just went like above the clouds, then dove like 7,000 feet back down. Oh, uh, you should be using autopilot. First of all, all right, they don't make them like they used to. Second of all, I don't know how to program autopilot, so we're gonna go to the second notch. Malmo 
Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree Two Zero. So just look how beautiful it is out the window as we go through the clouds here in a second. Airbus Tree Two Zero, continue to Alpha Lima Sierra, turning and following heading two seven five. Two seven five. So that's like what twenty seven and a half. I'm going the wrong way. Chad, we're going. We're gonna. How far? How far can you go? Can I, I'm not gonna zoom out. I said this was gonna be realism mode, even if we screwed it up already and had to go up and down. I acknowledge. Continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. Speed is consistent. Clouds as far as you can see, we're in the clouds now. I'm gonna stay zoomed in like this. I'm sorry if that's disorienting. I need to be able to see my instruments. And I need to see how much we're turning, my horizon line. So the, the brown with the little white line over it, that's the horizon. We're staying above that, so we're still steadily climbing. We're supposed to go to 14,000. So we're gonna even it out now. Climb and maintain flight level two zero zero. What is flight level two zero zero? Okay, we're right at the horizon line now. Uh crap, where's my nav? He's rising. I'm at 14,000 feet. I'm literally on the dot where I'm supposed to be. And we're supposed to be at vector uh, 270, right? Turn on autopilot. How do I turn you off? Is there a button for that? Two minutes ago, you guys were all like, Wah, please fly, stop being in the airport. I don't like it when you push button. Next thing I know, hey, can you turn on automatic? I'm tired of you playing the game and steering. Can you let the computer, this is really too much gameplay for me, I think. Please expedite your climb. I don't know where that is. What's FL200? Malmo Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320, continue to Alpha Lima Sierra, turning and following heading to... 20,000? So what, what's FL? Continue to Alpha Lima Sierra, turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. Flight level, so why is it, why do they just leave two zeros out? Do they really save that much space by abbreviating 20,000 to 200? Why couldn't they write 20K? It looks like knots. No, it's KT. All right, we're not, a, we're, we're basically on, they wanted me to expedite my climb. Is what they said. All right, we're, we're going pretty good clip now. 16 uh, and a half. Okay, so chat, this is my heading, 27 and a half. That's my vector, 20, 275, 275. This is my speed, so we're losing speed, so we need to give it some juice. This is my, uh... This is my elevation, so we're 17,000, we're climbing to 20,000. The nose is pointed a little too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the trim. Stop it from automatically nosing up. We're maintaining a slow but steady speed. And trim is still slowly climbing, but we're almost at 19,000 feet. All right, I'm gonna zoom out and just take a look around. <gasps> it's gorgeous, I wanted to look at this the whole time. I missed out on all this beauty. Look at those clouds, dude. Also, I can be over here. Oh. 260. Okay. We can do that. Give it a little more juice. I haven't 
I don't know if you can do... Airbus 320, did you copy? God, yes! Climb and maintain flight level 260, Airbus 320. Chat, am I stalling? Airbus 320, no, what, that just flipped! What? Acknowledge handoff. Going to 119er decimal 43 Airbus 320. Wow, these are some clouds. Copenhagen Center Airbus Alpha Sierra we need to cut the climb. is climbing through flight level 225 for flight level 260. I'm off my waypoint. Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 275. I screwed it. Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. I want to unzoom so that you guys don't get dizzy. I'm trying to see if I can set trim on this or not. That seems better. Better? Barely moving. All right, let's zoom out. And take in the whole picture. Your passengers are starving. You're still climbing? Yeah, I have to climb to 26. We're at 25.5. Um, so we're going to start leveling out now, I think. And throttling down. Climb and Never mind. We're just going to keep going, I guess. Acknowledge. We're going all the way up to 34,000 feet. Flight level 340, Airbus 320. Okay. We gotta continue to follow. Why is my vector changed? Am I following the green or am I following ATC? Am I following the green diamond or am I following him? Do I trust the diamond? I've been off course a little bit. Fearing the worst is yet to come. Yeah, landing. I'm going with the diamond, because that just seems like what we should be following, but it moves when I chase it. So what does that mean? It's literally just running away from me right now. Now it's even further away. But it's gotta be this, right? That's my flight line. So just follow it. Okay, we'll follow it. We're still slowly climbing. How about there? Because we're going to intersect with our own vector, and then we can adjust. See how uh, the green diamond is now on the other side of the green line? So we will line up if we just fly this way. Gonna vomit! What, from the head? From the tracking? It's okay. You have to get used to puking when you're in this chat. I gotta zoom really far in to see this, though. Okay, and we are at 27. We're supposed to go to 3... 36,000 right now? I'd say this is a good steady climb. This is a pretty long flight, chat. So, uh, how do I check... What's crazy to me is how relatively stable this thing is in terms of east to west aileron 340. Um, if I wanted to do autopilot, I'll figure out how to do that. I like doing this manual right now. I think that's beautiful. Chat, am I allowed to uh, take a cinematic shot now that I've got this stabilized as we're just slowly climbing? Doesn't look like speed is moving, maybe slightly down. Give it a little juice.
Oh, the nose is climbing. That's what it is. Honestly, I just don't think that I have manual trim. And if I do, it's not doing anything. It's just climbing, no matter how much trim I try to put on. There's probably a graph somewhere that shows me if I am applying trim or not, but it just not, not doing anything. The problem is, I think there's a weird sweet spot in this. You guys ever have like a like a like a lock on your doors? Where the key, in order to turn the key, you have to like push or pull on the door to loosen the lock. That's kind of what this feels like. Oh. Chat, am I following the green diamond or am I following the flight line? Let's just request a vector. Hello, very sensitive. How's it going? Pretty close then. So ignore the line. 240. I'm basically right there. Acknowledge. Continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 240. Resume on navigation Airbus 320. Basically on course. Hi, London Controller. How are you doing today? It scares me that you have controller in your name. Am I talking to you right now? On the horn? But hey, everybody. That's just popping in. Maybe. <laughs> well, be gentle. I literally uh, just took off in this plane for the first time. And believe it or not, judging by my cameras, this is my first flight sim. But I'm having a wonderful time. And I'm flying manual right now. It looks like we are picking up a little speed as we nose down. Seems like we're at a safe quantity. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to get you guys on that zoom. We're supposed to be on heading 24. We're approaching our uh, target of 34,000 feet. And uh, speed looks good. I think chat, do I have do I have permission to leave the cockpit to get an aerial view? Air France 1150 contact cast drop approach on one Everything one looks pretty clean. One. All right, permission from chat granted to get aerial view. We've done everything in cockpit up one till one now. Decimal, one for Air <laughs> Hold on. Let's get this one. I got some ice. Uh-oh, chat, you shouldn't have given me permission! No, I'm just kidding. It's just because we're so high up. <laughs> this game is magical. Is that me? Who said that? Oh, I just, I thought... Copenhagen Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra, X-Ray 320 requesting... I think my engines just froze. Airbus 320, continue to Alpha Lima Sierra, turning and following heading 265. You thought I didn't know where those were, even though I've never clicked those buttons before? I don't know if there might be more buttons you need to click. Two six five, Chad. I thought the needle's supposed to be going the other way. Did I just suddenly forget how to turn the plane? Are my instruments freezing? What's going on?
Did I just suddenly forget which way you're supposed to turn to move the the heading? At oh, I'm sorry, I overshot. I'm overshooting it, but I think we'll straighten out and be fine. All right, we need to ex expedite our climb. Is that what he said? Two six five. All right, we're almost there. We're on two six right now. We just need to go a little further. Let's bump this up to ten. I don't know what do these numbers mean. Ten twenty degrees. I'm assuming. All right, we overshot that. Sorry. There's really a lot to look at at the same time, but this is really, really satisfying in a way that the stunt, like, completely, totally opposite of the stunt plane. Continue climbing. Okay. Well, up we go. Four one zero. Maintain flight level four one zero. Airbus three two zero. Uh, climb and maintain FL four ten. Maintaining, I assume, the same vector. 41,000 feet, chat. All right, we're at 36,000 and climbing. Let me go ahead and straighten this up if I can. And make sure that we're gaining speed. Nose down if necessary. I don't want to dip below 200 if I can help it, so we're going to level this out. Okay, we can resume our ascent once the engines, I don't know how long the de-icing takes. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. It's probably very cold up here. Oh, fuel mixture. Chat, did you know that we have been a zero fuel richness mixture since I took off? Uh, what type of richness mixture? Do you think... Uh, I have no idea what mix is good for um, an Airbus. I have no idea. I knew but didn't want a back seat. Uh, it's a likely story. In the small planes, 100% stalls it. It mixes on its own. Incorrect. I have that uh, not only disabled, but my thruster overrides it. So, unless this is a different plane than every other plane, um, which it may be, I don't know, I've never flown this before. Airbus 320, please expedite your climb to flight level four. Bro, I'm gonna be traveling at unsafe speeds. You can't change it manually on this one. Well, I guess it's just a coincidence that my speed went up as soon as I moved this, but I'm not saying you're lying. How do I get more gas, then? To climb faster for this guy. He's so needy. Because if I angle above about 10 degrees, I start draining speed. I feel like I'm climbing at the, at the safest rate that I can climb. We're at 40,000 right now. 6,000 feet per second. It's not per second. It's about 100 feet a second. Which is still insane. 6,000 feet per second would be absolutely uh, death levels. All right. Um, 410. We should already be there. Vector. Let's go ahead and vector up. Copenhagen Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320, continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 240. Proceed on course. So this is bo like I'm heading down even though I'm at the horizon line. Continue to ALS following heading 240 and proceed on course. All right. Let's go ahead and start turning this to 240. Okay, start evening it out. I'll get the camera switch for you when I'm comfortable. Uh, right now, I am prioritizing 
My bad, my bad. Thank you for asking before failing the mission. We're losing some altitude. Okay, let's start picking that back up. We're exactly on the right vector. So good job there. We're back above 40,000. Things are pretty chill. I bet it's nerve-wracking to be an ATC. How do you think I feel? <laughs> but yeah. All right, uh... I say... Chat, why am I losing speed, though? But yes, making the pilot acknowledge is probably a worrisome thing. So I'd like to keep it, like, right around here, if I can. Still struggling to manually adjust. We're probably going to need a new vector. You're really going to... You're really going to chafe my ass over 300 feet out of 41,000, my dude? Do we not have a... a like a little grace period or something? All right, I need to figure out how to do autopilot at this point, chat. Time to teach me autopilot. Hagen Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra, X-ray 320, requesting vector to next waypoint. All right, now we're under. God, this is manual at this stage is insane. So as long as I'm under it, they don't really seem to care. All right, acknowledge 240. Continue to Alpha Lima Sierra turning and following heading 240. Resume on navigation Airbus 320. Okay, let's zoom out. We'll see how high up we are. I want to I want to like a out of out of the view. Wow. This is so different from uh, all the other planes. We've never really gotten above the clouds before now. This is the first time. Is it normally this icy? That's me. <gasps> Who's that? Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is at flight level 400. No wonder I had to be this high. There's another plane. That's a real plane. That's somebody's like in real life flight path. That's like an actual plane that just flew by. Going back where we came. All right, we need to uh, go up a little bit. Dude, I gotta stretch my legs, but I don't want to hit the rudders. Ugh. You can see the streamer stretch in real time. That was still a close encounter. I don't think it was. I've seen planes that close just looking out of a window before. Real plane, yeah. So we have real time traffic, real time weather right now. So this is actually what it looks like flying from Copenhagen, time of day, uh, weather, other planes in the sky it actually simulates all that you can you can look up the one that it said and see if it's actually going right now didn't it say Ryanair all right we're a little too high let's just mellow out Airbus 320, you are 300 feet above okay thank you I I realize that I know thank you acknowledge descend and maintain flight level 410 Airbus 320 My bad. Okay, we need to figure out, uh, nav. That doesn't sound good.
It's got to be around here, dude. Autopilot was... Well, I have an autopilot button on my console, but I want to actually push it. Don't tell me. I mean, you, you're going to tell me, but I'll look anyway. I found it earlier and was like, hey, I, I'm going to remember where this is. And now, I feel like it was... Here. What is it? AP2? Autopilot, what are you doing? Ah. Sorry, uh, first day on the job, me and the autopilot haven't figured out how we're gonna work together yet. You have to set it correctly. No shit. You think I can- Hang on. Autopilot, what am I thinking right now? What number am I thinking of? 41,000 on a vector of 28. How did you know? But he still nosedive me. All right, let's do this. Let's still, uh... Peace on out. Let's click on some more buttons. Uh, uh, adjust selected heading. Ooh. All right, let's chill. Let's chill, let's chill, let's chill. Have you ever seen the two-handed flight stick technique? Behold, I will trim the plane with both hands at once so that the nose does not climb. One zero thousand feet. One zero thousand feet. That's, uh, I guess that's good. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me play with this. So, give me a vector. Bremen Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Mach 8.8. .8. Airbus 320, continue to Delta Hotel, echo turning and following, heading 240, resume on navigation. Why'd they put altitude over here? It was trying to take me to 5,000? Well, no wonder we were sinking, dude. Over All right. Speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Okay. Over speed. Okay. Over speed. Okay. Over speed. Okay. Gotcha. We have air brakes. Okay, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Listen, I got a lot on my plate right now, buddy. This is my first day on the job. It's a little wild. Forty-one thousand. What is my vertical speed? This is like how fast you. That's like how fast you're ascending. What's the max? Chad, what's that? What's what's like a high amount? Is this feet per second or something? Descend and maintain one zero thousand feet Scandinavian. Five what is two. turn approach? Turn. We don't even know. This one doesn't have a tooltip. Turn Loch Ness monsters on. Uh, display. ADF. Let's try this. Ready. Uh, you good? You freaked me out there. That was kind of a hard. T What's my heading? Airbus 320, you are 500 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain flight level 410. Climb and maintain flight level 410. Didn't I Airbus tell him to ascend to 41,000? He's going back down again, you dick. Don't- I know- I know where I parked my car, okay, honey? 
Listen, it was on aisle C7, okay? I always look, because remember that one time where we walked around each parking lot and I was beeping and then someone else beeped theirs at the exact same time and I, it was just freak accident. It was the exact same car and I got in there. So I was so embarrassed when I called the police on them because I thought they were trying to steal my car. We'll never have that happen again. From that point on, I always tattoo it on my forehead whenever I get out of a grocery store parking lot. All right, let's get um, let's get a, let's get that vector again so I can plug this in properly. Bremen Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero, requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus three two zero, continue to Delta Hotel Echo, turning and following heading two one zero. Why is it in increments of like? Oh, two. Wow, this is insane. Okay. You are. Uh, listen, I know you're on my team, but. Continue to Delta Hotel Echo turning and following heading two one zero Airbus three two zero. What should my airspeed say? Show me, show me magic. What setting did I click? Chat, why heading why heading gets erased? No, it's good. Did I say 22? No, 210. Okay, so he's turning. What was this plane chat? I want to look up some pictures. How's this for a picture? The Airbus A320. Is he killing us again? He loves sinking. Chat, 41,000, why is he killing us? What a... <laughs> why does he always go down? Airbus 320, please expedite your climb to flight level 410. Die, human. Basically that. All right, seriously, you can tell me now. What am I doing wrong? If you plug in the altitude and turn it on, and it doesn't, it goes down. What am I supposed to do about that? Didn't hit submit. Oh, is there a submit button? Is that what lock means? All right, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Why am I steering left-handed? I'm nervous, chat. I love how far off course we are. That's what my favorite part is. We've probably been doing a giant S-curve the entire time. Press on the altitude button. Oh, the button itself. Okay. Didn't he tell me to go 40? Okay, one more try. There's got to be a better hotkey, dude. Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Set the switch next to the altimeter to nav. Airbus 320 continue to Delta Hotel Echo turning and following heading 230 resume on navigation. This is the altimeter right here. You just have to be really specific with the autopilot. Below 29.2, above GPS. Alright, hang on. I got 16 people talking to me. Continue to Delta Hotel Echo Turning and following heading 230. Proceed on course Airbus 320. Alexa, activate autopilot. Still going up. <laughs> There's too many things! Alright, what was my course? 230. One thing at a time. Let's just panic later. Heading 230. There. Over. 
speed. Over speed. Over speed. Fix it. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. That's why there's a co-pilot. Exactly. Over speed. 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 Airbus 320, you are 1,900 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain flight level 410. I think we're finally going to do it. Over speed. Over speed. Climb and maintain flight level 410, Airbus 320. Barely. Calm down. I'm not much of a plane flying guy, but I think you might have some overspeed. <sighs> Too much buttons? We're doing alright. Alright. I think we, he's done it, chat. I think I finally solved autopilot in this with the help of whoever told me first to click on the button. I already did this. These are all locked in. We can set that, so if it has a dot next to it, it's not locked in, I think. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I didn't know what that was. <laughs> landing gear 5000. What if I zoomed out and landing gear was still down? How funny would that be? Like, we just look under here <laughs> and the wheels. Like, why am I going so slow? Oh, I think I know now. Chat, one more incorrect backseat, bless your soul. I already did that, and you get the blades, okay? I will throw you in there and see what comes out the other side. Only correct ones, Mary Skipper. Uh, Weirin and We Russ are both subbed. Um, sorry if I missed you earlier, Weirin. I'll look at uh, your message momentarily. Just looking at this beauty. A lot of ice up here. I already have D ice on the wings and the engines. Look, listen to the sound of the wind, too. They just nailed the sound effects. Beautiful. By the way, just this cloud cover is insane. All right, let's get back in and see what's going on. We're doing fine. Now that you've conquered Autopilot 1, time to tackle Autopilot 2. How much does this game cost? Well, it's really gonna run you if you, you have to have a good computer. So the first cost is how good of a computer do you have? Second of all, this is why you don't listen to chat. They're telling you $60. It's on Game Pass. So if you've never signed up for Game Pass, I think you can get a trial for like a dollar. Um, if you haven't, then it's only like $10 a month or something. I don't know how much it is, but it's cheap. So I would try it on Game Pass and make sure it works. Don't listen to what they say. If you really like it, you can buy it for 60 bucks, And then there's three different versions, I would just get the basic one first, and if you like it, you can upgrade later. I'll never get over how great this game looks. It is a thing of beauty. Let's see if we can get an update. Bremen Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra, <sighs> chat. requesting vector to next waypoint. Sit back. Airbus 320, turn right, heading 265. And then I'll figure out how to change nav, okay? Turn right, heading 265. So I don't have to lock... I don't have to put pump that in. It's just doing it? That's a little scary. How do you unengage the heading? I guess turn off autopilot if you don't want it to happen right then. So he's just chilling, going straight to 265. We can get a little comfy now. By the way, that Ryanair flight that passed you just landed on Copenhagen and is taxiing. Wow. 
Click up on the heading knob to let the autopilot do its job. You're out of course currently. Well, uh, it's already going. Engage managed heading mode. Selected heading mode. Okay, so you can go up to make it just do whatever it is supposed to do without getting updates from you. But like... What do you put cheat codes in all of your games, huh? You like to play with the cheats on? We should drive this the whole way in by stick. For our first go. So, okay, that one person was trying to tell me... Uh, a nav button that was somewhere next to my altimeter. We've got this. And then we got this. Left of the autopilot italics. Master, master, side, FD, LS. Oh. So that changed this thing. Oh. Oh. So is this my, what are the dots? So nav is like in a circle around you and also shows your heading on this. That's super handy. I have no clue what anything does, by the way. I'm just reading chat. Dots are your flight plan. Well, yeah, I see that. Rose, ILS, VOR. I'm sure each of these has a distinct purpose and characteristic, but this is just really fun to check out. All right, so yeah, nav seems like super useful for heading. Arc is even larger. Is there a reason to use nav over arc? Can you ask autopilot to fly faster? We're actually basically at max speed. So chat, why don't you take a look? Google how fast is 250 uh, indicated airspeed, IAS. 250 IAS to miles per hour. Is that close to 250 miles an hour? How fast is that? ILS is for doing radar guided landings. Huh. Yeah, the plane is going at Mach 0.8. So what I can, I can do is either increase myself manually. I set it to 0.8 because I didn't really know how fast that was. Though I actually was watching Simcopter stream yesterday and got to do some research on that. And apparently 0.87 is leaving the safe zone. So what we can do is increase to around 0.85. And watch how, see those with little red? That's overspeed. That's when you start to risk structural damage. So you really don't want to be in this. That's why it gives you that really loud warning. 463 kilometers per hour. Chat, where's uh, American? Who speaks American in here? It is, I know it's 530 East Coast. We should hopefully have some of you to represent us at this point. Maybe Americans hate planes. That's understandable because none of us are flying anywhere right now if we're smart. And um, the rest of you probably can use planes mostly like normal by this point, I would guess. So it's understandable that you would be more willing to watch a flight simulator stream for that reason. Over speed. Over speed. All right, so maybe Over just speed. a little. Over speed. Over speed. Go point eight three. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. I speak American. Over well, Amer speed. so Over Kenneth says two hundred and ninety miles per hour. Over speed. That's the reason why none of the other Americans answered is because uh, 
Well, they just don't like looking anything up. And they would rather someone else in Europe do it for them. That's the only conclusion I can come up with. Kenneth, though. Not you. We're contacting Amsterdam. Alright, so it's just gently slowing down. By the way, look at this. We're actually getting on the correct course right now. The super autopilot is doing its job. If we confirm... Like that. Then we don't have to get extra vector updates. Because it's impossible for us to get on this exact vector, so we're gonna let him do his thing. Let's tune into Amsterdam and see what they say. We've literally just curved like that through the air. Oh, but look at the window! Look at those clouds, dude! This is such an amazing view. What time is it local right now in Amsterdam? And I know you could just look at that, but like, is there a way to find out in the Amsterdam game Center, local Airbus time? Alpha, Sierra, X -ray, tree, two, zero, flight level 410. I'm American and couldn't be arsed. Well, there you go. Are you sure you're American if you use arsed? Oh yeah, we could check the nav log for stuff. Uh, we can also have, like, try... I think it would be a really fun challenge once I get good at this game. I don't know if we'll get this to this point on stream or if you guys will get bored of this and me by that point. But it would be really cool if you got super comfy with all this setup to try to do a complex route without autopilot. And, um, or at least with limited autopilot, where you can set it to maintain, but not to autocorrect your course. And just try to go based on distances, headings. I think before that would be possible. Really need to get a grip with how fast it expects you to go um, for these time estimates. It says local time right there, Italics. Are you pointing at the screen? If so, uh, I'm not seeing your touch screen. I don't know, I'm just, me just messing with you. <laughs> 11.41 a.m. local. <laughs> Luke, it's fine. <laughs> In the nav log, boomer! Yeah, I know. Got him. All right. So beautiful outside. Chat, I think there's a way. We could we could open the map map. I, I would almost feel better if we didn't know exactly how much time was left in this trip, because I feel like you'll end up just counting down and being like, wow, we've really got that much further to go. And the answer is yes, we do. So while we're up here, let's do a couple things. Number one, let's get some nice scenic shots. And just appreciate the, wait a second, is that a jet? What are you talking about, Talix? Do you see that? Is that a jet stream or is that a texture on the surface? I think that's a texture. All right, I thought that a, that's a beach. I thought that was like another plane's trajectory or something. Honestly, I'm shocked that anything renders from up here. I'd like to know where I'm flying over right now. I feel like that would be very informative. Maybe I will open the map. By the way, check out that cloud formation in the distance. Mountainous clouds. I don't know anything about clouds, but if I did, I would guess that was like a, a Nimbus or something. I don't know, because listen, if it's good enough for Harry, it's good enough for us. Netherlands probably, North Netherlands. I mean, we did just hook up to Amsterdam, so that would make sense. All right, I'm gonna open the map. It's interesting how it, you can definitely see it wobbling back and forth. I can't believe this all simulated. Where that's because of, it's wobbling not because it's animated to wobble, it's wobbling because it's actually reacting to the physics of the simulation of the wind gliding off 
of every aileron and uh, the rudder and whatever you call these back fins. I have no idea what these things are called. What's the technical term for that? Obviously, it's on the tail, but what is it? Elevators? You can, you can actually see the different weather formations in the distance over there. See how the clouds are so much different and how there's a, there's a path carved? You know why that is? We're flying into that, uh, I think that, that front. Um, probably going to get a little stormy over here. Every oxygen atom is simulated. Probably. All right, is it map time? More like nap time. Am I right? fellow passengers okay so this is where we took off from in Denmark we've already gone so much further than we ever went um, in our tiny little plane we have covered Denmark coast to coast We are approaching beautiful UK with Amsterdam and friends passing by. We're just just outside the coast right there. Water as far as the eye can see to the north. We got some different waypoints that we're going to hit. I think this is where we start our descent right here. So I think we're going to be coasting at the same level. We're about halfway, and then the descent begins. And then we're going to try and make our own manual landing in Heathrow. Amsterdam and Friends is a good name for the Netherlands. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. So what are all these little um, circles? Are these just areas of influence of different control tower radiuses? <laughs> Bizarrely stressful stream. Have a good night, Ineffica. I th I, it was very fun, though. Honestly, I was a little worried at the beginning of the stream that we were going to have a bad day. Uh, I was like, uh-oh, sometimes you just have a bad day stream. But I think we really turned it around after that first couple hours. There was there was some early frustration trying to figure out the um, the sport plane, but we got it, and honestly, it was worth it because we used it for the rest of the stream, basically, and had some crazy multiplayer shenanigans. Landing this is going to be its own insane challenge. So while we're up here, and we've got some time, is there a? I'm assuming one of these devices, heads-up displays, will assist me in landing? If so, how do I toggle it on? Because I need to know that now. Flying around the canyon was great, yeah. But we, yeah, we, we really turned it around. I was really worried about the passenger plane, that this was somehow going to be even worse. But no, this was actually way smoother, aside from some uh, gate selection at the beginning and restarting. But... Just getting this thing up and running ha has been such a thrilling change of pace for me. Manual landing? I'm going to manual land, yeah. But I need I need an assist because I can't tell how high up I am above the ground. Or what speed I'm supposed to come in. Is there anything labeled ILS? Dude, I need to do some gamer death stretches, dude. Uh, ILS. If I... First of all, I also, hang on, I need to, I'll turn the cams back on so you can see, but first, I gotta, I gotta do a stretch chat, so hang on, just, uh, just enjoy the view for a sec. Uh-oh. I gotta do some stretches. I'm dying, gamer death.
Your in-flight movie is Paul Blart, Ball Cop 2. So I hope you guys have been enjoying that. We've also got digital Sudoku on the backs of the chairs. This would be a fantastic screensaver. So is the name, what is the name of that actual movie? It's just called Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Why are you guys writing till death do us blurred? <laughs> uh. Is that a meme or did you just make it up? By the way, we were in earlier, I, I saw your sub, and I don't know if you heard me say thank you, but you said, hey Microsoft Flight Sim, nice. I just started learning myself. It's so strangely satisfying. <laughs> It really is. Um, and everything presents a unique challenge. This has been not the most difficult, but certainly I think the most rewarding. Figuring out so many different systems from being able to eyeball where we think the engine starts are. Putting my headset back on to uh, figuring out how to get the autopilot to, I don't know if you noticed, but this is actually the first time we have done successfully, even if not consistently, manual ATC along the way. So that's a pretty big deal. There we go. So manual ATC also got uh, the plane de-iced, which I assume we just want to keep that on. That's up here. I need to, I think, recenter myself. Nah, it's pretty much centered. It just needs maybe a little more sensitivity. Which I can I can actually configure. Um speed, let's bump that to point eight. Okay. Looks good. Has ATC said anything? Continue as planned. We are now perfectly in line. Because of the autopilot, obviously. Maintaining 41,000 feet. You know what's dumb? I... Well, I do have my beacon. Nav lights and logo. What does that do? Turn on wing ice light. Seatbelt sign is inoperable. Oh, I hope they do those and get the ding sound so people can RP that. Imagine you raise your hand to turn the seatbelt sign and you pop the anti-ice button on accident off. What happens if you, uh... Turn windshield de-ice on? Well, actually, that hasn't been a problem, but it's good to know that that's up there. Talks, do you think Total War Warhammer 2 is worth it? I think it's a great game, but it also goes on sale all the time. I bought it for 20 bucks, and all the DLC was 50% off. But I'd highly recommend it if you get a, if you get a good deal. I just realized watching these streams is like half my day. Well, we're taking a real flight right now, which some of you uh, ain't gonna be worth it. But guess what? I I gotta land. 
We haven't landed yet. It ain't it ain't a given that we're gonna succeed. Uh, but we're taking an actual simulated flight. Why are you guys getting lag? I think my frame's uncapped. Oddly enough, it really doesn't feel like we're getting uh, the 60 FPS lock. It feels like it's uncapped. Because you guys are getting bad frames. I'm getting fantastic frames. Streamer man, please change view to showcase fixed camera external 12. That's oddly specific. I can't even be mad. You pull the blind down. I'm trying to sleep in here. I can't believe they made an actual window view. It's too realistic with track IR. I hate how real this is right now. There's fingerprints on the window. Has science and technology gone too far? KLM descend and maintain one zero thousand feet. Not me. So that's probably a real flight if you guys want to look that up. KLM 1187. Fuel, 27%. It's okay, we started with 57%, so we're gonna be good. We're almost to the descent. I actually... I actually filled up a little bit extra before we left, and chat told me not to, that I had way more than enough. But I, I think I would rather have a little extra fuel in case something goes wrong. If it's all the same to uh, air traffic control. Why is the pilot in the passenger seat? I just wanted to know what it felt like to be in chat, you know? They're on their way to Bergen. Look at that wing flop. Does it normally look like that? I guess it does, yeah, it has this little curve, but I guess being right there on the wing looks scary somehow. Making sure he's not talking to me. Easy 6921. Got virtual air traffic control here too. Hold on. I have to know. There has to be a button to hide the UI without going into um They would probably be Don't hit the home button. Whatever you do. We're probably under menu or camera. Well, maybe not. There's sim rate. Select simulation rate plus minus so you can speed up the simulation if you want. Uh, chat, if you... Okay, we should have talked about this at the beginning, but there's no time like the present. Go to menu. Why? Can you co-op this in planes like that? What do you mean? 
The search doesn't work. At least not for me. Nothing ever comes up. Wasn't I already here? I already looked through all these. Autopilot, I know I have you right on the edge. You doing good? Can you co-op with an actual pilot? Oh, no, 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 no. No, that doesn't exist. Maybe one day in the future. That would be extremely cool to add. Uh, anyway, no time like the present to talk about the thing that I was going to talk about, which is, you might be wondering, Italix, what do I do if I want to do these flights, but I don't want to actually wait in the in-between when you're on um, autopilot? Well, you have a couple options. Number one is R. Apparently, it changes the simulation speed with plus or minus, so you can speed up the simulation. And the second, uh, that someone in chat says is not really working yet, but I guess it's it's in the game for all intents and purposes. It's in the menu. The main way you go to travel to, and you can actually choose exactly what point in the flight you would like, uh, and you time skip to that. So if you really don't care about this the spot here to here then you can just skip straight to whatever you think is the most interesting. So, like, if you really wanted to fly, uh, let's say you wanted to fly... <sighs> Phoenix to New York. You could do that. It's going to be an insane flight. And you could um, fly the whole thing. But you could just skip to the... It, things that you're actually taking over. But... Hey, that's me. But we, I purposely chose a flight that I intend to do the entire simulation of. Because going from, like, Tokyo to SFO would be insane. London Center, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320, flight level 410. I'm not against that, but it seems strange to me. How long Airbus is this flight? About... Bukat as planned. Uh, about an hour, ten minutes at cruising. But we have to take off, we have to descend, we're not going cruising speed the entire time. Alright. Uh, we're about to be on the descent, and that's when I'm going to take over manual control, basically. Okay. Where were we? Let me see you, chat. There we are. It's like 13 to 14 hours going from Tokyo to Chicago. New Balance shoes? Nice. Hey, thanks. Let's check out some of the other, um... Well, step one, let's check out the map. So we let's let, let's enjoy our last scenic views before we start our descent, and then we will be getting close to Heathrow, which is a airport that you can still land at no matter what version of the game you have. However, it is handcrafted detailed if you get one of the premium ones. So it's not one of the thirty default airports. So we're going to check it out because I'm a DLC boy. I love that you can see, like, all the individual panels that have been, um, what do you call that? Not stapled, but bolted? I guess all the bolts? Rivets, thank you. Rivets is the right word. Unbeatable fuel efficiency. So shiny and clean. I'm glad they put this many different viewpoints. I hope they do, like, a little update that adds a bunch of chase cams and stuff. So you can just look at the game while you're in autopilot in certain areas.
I had to cough, but I didn't want to cough right on the microphone. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. All right, quickly. Okay, let's go back. We have places to be, things to do. Uh, let's acknowledge. Let me, hey, clear the air. Descend and maintain FL three hundred. Chat, 300 is 30,000, right? KLM 622, descend and maintain 10,000 feet. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet, KLM 622. How do you do this? What am I doing wrong? I think he's doing it. Airbus 320, please expedite your descent to flight level 300. Uh, how, f how deep are we going to dive here on autopilot? Gen X 9 or 4 tree, you are 20,000 feet above your assigned altitude. We're about to hit, like, some... Do I need to flap up right now a little bit? Chat, I don't know my incremental flaps. We're not going to nosedive. I do need to check my hotkeys real quick. Because I don't remember... Oh, my God. Flight control surfaces. All right, it should be... Six and four. All right, it's on the thumb. Six is increase flaps. Yeah, that should be back if I need it. Easy six one three five. You are twenty thousand feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain one zero. But we're on the way down right now. EU friendly stream. Hey, you. We're coming in for a landing right now. Flight stick is awesome. Hey, thanks. Glad you like it. I invested in it for this stream. How is this compared to other open world games? In what sense? Open world games is a fairly broad category. You can always stall all the way down. You have a point? I mean, we're on the way. We're supposed to maintain 30,000. And he's doing a fine job. Slow, just, let's just slow the whole thing down. This world is pretty big compared to most games. <sighs> it is the size of the world. The only games that are larger are Infinite Gin. How much does a Warthog set me back nowadays? Let me look it up for you. Um, uh, not that bad. About 46.3 million, give or take, if you want your own. You could probably fly co-pilot in one for a bit cheaper, if that's all you're after. Sorry, that was just the scalped Amazon price for this particular flight stick. Uh, MSRP, though, is about... $450 plus tax, I think, for the combo. The stick and the throttle. Is that with shipping? I don't have Prime. No, it's not with shipping, of course. How are we looking? We are at 33,000 and uh, still descending. 
I think it would be nice to put ATC back up here, get the map, and, like, what pilot wouldn't have this map open? Do they actually, do they have a map that looks anything like this in their cockpit? Like, would it behoove me to change... By the way, chat, you never told me, and I only asked once, do I have a landing assist or no, in terms of map? I'm gonna try and do a manual land, but do I have any kind of visual aid or no? They use iPads now, so yeah. Are we going down or what? Yeah, we're going 30,000. At a reasonable speed. How much are flight times offered? This is all satellite imagery, Alulu. So it's one to one. Everything comes from Bing Maps. And the airport we're Newman into is hand graphicsed by the devs and the artists in the deluxe edition. But everything that you see here, this is real time, real time weather, uh, real time time of day right now. Um, the, they're talking to real fake flights. If you look up Ryanair 125, London Control is simul- this- this AI London Control is pretending like it's talking to a real flight right now. Real fake flights. That's me. Alright, FL220. Confirm. Descend and maintain flight level 220, Airbus 320. This is actually really hard to do. I need a hotkey for this. Descend and maintain 6,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 22 approach via Abbott transition. Clear to Abbott Ryanair 125. So we confirmed it, locked it in. Autopilot, I think, will... Set that at minus 25 again. Seemed good. Lock that in, and then it begins the descent. So yes, this is, like I said, real-time weather. It tries to simulate formations of the clouds based on weather. And uh, these are actual flights. Ryanair 125 is in the air right now, IRL. They're going to give you an ILS landing. I don't know what that means. But uh, in the base game, which is on Game Pass, not an ad. I didn't get a key, even though I would have told you this if I had. Um, it's on Game Pass. And you can play with a controller. You really need a controller augmented with a keyboard. So, it's doable though. You can play with arcade controls where you don't have to do all this manually. We were flying through the Grand Canyon doing corkscrews and aileron rolls, playing with 40 other people from chat flying around being insane. Ryanair is getting a lot of instructions from London Control right now. Let's go, um... Chat, this is you! Check that out, that's Bing satellite maps down there. Not even in first class. You guys are behind the wing. Which I guess is fine. You can still see pretty well. Is it noisier in front of the wing or behind the wing? I don't know. Alright, we'll try to do this legit. Someone said I'm gonna get radar... Radar landing, which I'm not super thrilled about. 
But yes, um, Halulu, if you don't want to do the whole flight, you don't have to. There's a skip ahead. Uh, it is the travel button up here, which I know what it's called, but I forget what it looks like. There we go. And if you don't want to fly the in-between, you can skip to landing, take off, and do whatever you want. So you can fast forward. Move and zoom the map. Okay, well, we'll just do GPS tracking. How's that? So you, we're doing a full flight simulation. We started in Copenhagen in Denmark, and now we're approaching Heathrow. So London Control right now is taking over for Ryanair, and obviously London is going to be quite busy of an airport. So uh, they're, they're really talkative right now. But it's real simulated chatter, which you can disable if you really don't like it, but it adds to our sense of realism, and, uh, that's me, so we're gonna say acknowledge. You can also play without log. I'm not that advanced yet. We're gonna, we might incur a lot of lag in Heathrow chat, so if your frames drop, I apologize in advance. All right, we're going to 10,000. I think the vertical, let's go ahead and plug this in first. Uh, minus 25 seemed like a pretty steady descent. We'll go minus 20 now. So what we're watching is our speed. We want this to stay, you're right in there is good. Safe speed. Altimeter is dropping from, we're, we're gonna drop 11,000 feet is what we're gonna shave off. This is our flight path with our heading at uh, 24 right now, which would be 240, I guess. And, well, we're at like 240, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. Chat, what is this? Where's, are we missing numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six. 24, 20, no, 25, 26, 27. What am I, chat, sorry. I've been streaming for 10 hours, okay? This is my third plane I've flown. Look, just cut me some slack. I, I figured it out. I can't even count from 24 to 27 after this. Whose name is Wizgo51? Wizgo! <laughs> this is what I wanted to fly, though. I wanted to see these cloud formations. We've flown a lot of clear skies. The volumetric clouds are some of the defining characteristics of this simulation. Let's do this. Just to take a little look around. I like to see the land. Chat, what are we flying over right now, specifically? There's a city down there. What city is that? Geography chat is online. The city of England. Ah, yes, Termix. Chat, there's Ryanair 125, by the way, if you're curious. Okay, so... We're hitting a new checkpoint, it looks like, as we continue to descend. Go ahead and increase the rate of descent here. How do you fire machine guns? You play DCS World. <laughs> They've got a game for that already. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting some uh, some interesting frames here.
I think ATC does talk this much in real life. They have to, to keep everything going smoothly. You have to know what's going on around you. I want to see a barrel roll into London. No, Twitch Yermoka. It's going to be hard enough to land already as it is. I'm not going to add any unnecessary procedures. Is it possible to see from the nav log what stage we're on? I wish you could check these off or something. I don't understand. Like, I could fly by vector, but I feel like that's just not viable for us right now. The autopilot is just too good in this particular plane not to use it. Knowing how to fly by vector is important, though. So, we learned that on the way up, how to manually adjust this ourselves, and how to read, um, and how to maintain pretty good speeds all the way. But it, it's good to know how to do both. We know how to do the autopilot now, we know how to do manual flyby vector. Air traffic control probably is one of the most stressful jobs, just because there's just so much going on, and all you can see is little things like this, with little planes flying around, <laughs> little radar spots. Well, ignore the 20 frames per second we're getting here, but it, it's still beautiful. If I wasn't streaming, I could probably get 50 FPS out of this. I need a second computer chat, so we can have smooth, insane graphic streams like this and my computer won't cry as much. Did you do things in the middle console? Uh, I did up... Whew, I did up here, but I didn't touch a single button on this. This is auto brakes. Chat, are those air brakes? Anti-skid is on. That seems like a good thing. These are inoperable. That's landing gear, which I can I have a button for. This is to recalibrate your altitude, which I don't even know when you want to do that. I am only 100 feet. He said 300 feet below? I'm only 100 feet below. Climb and maintain 10,000 feet Airbus 320. Airbus 320 contact Heathrow approach on 127.5.25. I'm only 100 feet below. That should be within reasonable boundaries. Shut up! I gotta acknowledge his handoff to Heathrow. Speedbird. Hey, uh, teacher! I know the answer. Call on me now. Okay. Uh, acknowledge. One two seven decimal five two five for Airbus three two zero. Okay. You nerds at Ryanair and Speedbird. Let it's my turn to play. With 20 FPS. Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero one zero thousand feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero Heathrow approach continue as planned. Altimeter two nine er decimal six two. What does that mean? Altimeter? Airbus tree two zero, you are two eight miles northeast. Descend and maintain seven thousand feet. Keep speed below two two zero knots. Expect ILS runway two seven right approach via Lima Alpha Mike transition. Clear to Lima, Alpha Mike. Dude, that's so many words. Chat, what do I click? Is this like a choose your own adventure and I'm trying to choose which main character to kill? Just smile and wave. Hello, Nom Nom. You had a power cut? I'm sorry about that. This is where we crash and burn. Yeah, because apparently we're having to fly by radar.
Yeah, I saw the the altitude and speed is easy, but I don't know anything else. Very new to seeing this game. Is this literally a flight sim or does some crazy stuff happen? This is literally a flight sim. This is not a uh, surgeon simulator and this is not goat simulator. This is like in the realm of Euro Truck Simulator with probably more emphasis even than that, I would say. But if you want, you can hook up a controller, turn all the controls down to easy, turn crashes off, and then bounce off the Grand Canyon like we did earlier. So it has that as well. It's really, you scale it to what you want. But if you do that, you are just kind of looking at the pretty graphics flying around, which is good i still like that but i like to also sink my teeth in we're doing real sim right here <sighs> and i need to unpause but i need to take a moment because it says i can change my approach and i don't know i don't know what lam clear to lam descend and maintain 7,000 feet keep speed below 220 knots expect ILS runway 27 right approach via Lima Alpha Mike transition clear 7, to Lima Alpha Mike Airbus 320 and negative 25 seemed I don't know if I have to click both individually or if I can just click one okay I've configured it we're going to lower the airspeed. Below 220. Okay. I've configured it. Uh, we should start descending on speed from 320 and go down to 7,000 feet and maintain. Save now. I guess we could save, but if I crash, yeah, I do want to try again if I crash. Don't crash Airbus is what this is going to be called. But we won't crash because we're going to nail it first try. Let's take a look at the clouds. Okay, we're at 76. Acknowledge. Descend and maintain 6,000 feet Airbus 320. Airbus 320, keep speed below 180 knots. 1-8-0. I don't think we're slowing down fast enough. Should I start pumping a little bit of, uh... Oh, we're going directly into the clouds, chat! My bad. My bad. That was... <gasps> Look how amazing Keep this is. Below knots, Airbus Airbus and maintain 3, feet. I don't think we're slowing down fast enough. We're actually speeding up. What'd they say? Descend and maintain 3,500 feet Airbus 320. 3,000? Do I take manual from here? Alright, it's in my hands. Lag is real, though. Do I need to get flaps? How fast am I supposed to go, chat? Over speed. Over speed. We have an air brake, and I have no idea how to use it. Over speed. Speed Mercury 6 7 climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Over speed. All right, flaps are basically all the way down, which they're not supposed to be. What am I supposed to maintain? Three, two, zero, descend, and maintain 3, feet. 
Okay, good. We're already on the way there. Over speed. Over speed. Oh, we're underneath that. Two thousand five hundred. Over speed. Over speed. Climb and maintain six thousand feet speed for three six seven. Over speed. Speed for three six seven descend and maintain three thousand five hundred feet. Climb and maintain three thousand feet. Airbus three two zero. How, what, how fast am I supposed to go, chat? Like 190? Speed bird tree, six, seven, descend, and maintain 3,000 feet. 180. Well, we're basically there. I'm like 160 feet below where I'm supposed to be. Oh, the chop. Chat, this is going to be the descend, laggiest feet, speed bird tree, six, landing seven. yet. It's not normally this bad, dude, but Heathrow apparently is a miserable place. I'm getting like 10 frames per second here. It's okay, I can land on less. Descend and maintain 2,500 feet speed for tree 6 7. I think it's a combination of. 2,500. Dude, I'm this. Not, none of the airport is lined up this way. Chat, that's the airport, the line. Where's the runway? Tower on one, two, four decimal, four, seven, five, speed bird tree, six, seven. You're good, swing around. Can you even land from this direction? One Airbus three two zero acknowledge last transmission. What did you even say? Over speed. Climb and maintain two thousand five hundred feet Airbus three two zero. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Airbus three two zero, you are two miles north of Heathrow. Contact Heathrow Tower on one one eight decimal seven zero five when inbound. What am I supposed to maintain? 25 hundo? Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. I'm like, the, the passengers at this point are panicking. I can't even see because the frames. Airbus 320 acknowledge last transmission. Tower on 118.705 Airbus 320. How am I supposed to line this up the old fashioned way, dude? How far do you think I need to turn? We're at, we're at like a little over 25 hundo. I want to enjoy the landscape, but now I'm panicking. Please open map. Okay, that's a good idea. That really doesn't help that much. All right, I'm gonna. Even this out, chat? I'm gonna go ahead and start the turn now. Swap frequency. Okay. Heathrow Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree 205 miles. We have five miles. I'm turning. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree 20, Heathrow Tower. Clear dial as runway 27 right approach. 27? Alright, we're gonna do it all the way around. Two seven I already way two seven right approach Airbus three two zero. Two seven right? So the runway on the right facing two hundred and seventy degrees. I know, but we already rounded two seventy. We're on the way back down. Alright, don't turn that hard. Come on. You're you're giving everybody like vertigo here. There's supposed to be passengers on this plane. They'll understand. Declare missed approach. Heathrow Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is going missed. Airbus Alpha Sierra 
I'm coming in for a landing whether you want me to or not. We're at 1,800 feet. Chat, where's the airport? The airport's down there? Duh, how did I miss it? It's an airport. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is missed approach at Heathrow. <laughs> you guys, I'm off with my parachute. All right, don't listen. Climb 7,000? That's 5,000 feet. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet. Keep speed below 220 knots. Expect ILS runway 27 right. That doesn't seem right. Charlie Hotel Tango transition cleared to Charlie Hotel Tango Airbus 320. How do you, how do I climb below 220 knots? Select a different rent, select a different runway. Heathrow approach, can Airbus 320 get runway 27 left? Airbus 320, you are five miles northwest. Maintain present heading and altitude, expect ILS runway 27 right approach via Charlie Hotel Tango transition. Sidestep runway 27 left. This is insane. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect ILS runway 27 right approach. Maintain heading Hotel and altitude. Tango transition sidestep runway 27 left. Clear to Charlie Hotel Tango Airbus 320. That's not the heading doesn't take me Ted. The airport's over there. I can't even see it anymore. <laughs> Seatbacks in the upright and locked position. Give me a vector. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. 2,500. Airbus 320 continue to Charlie Hotel Tango turning and following heading 330. 330? 330 is like hard left. That's literally the opposite direction. My bad. Continue to Charlie Hotel Tango turning and following heading 330 Airbus 320. Listen passengers, I understand things are a little scary right now. We've done a couple circles around the airport. Air traffic control uh, can't seem to lead us in blind right now. We're flying with just instruments alone. They're giving us a heading that is literally the opposite direction of the airport. One would assume in the hopes that we can get enough space. You <laughs> tell the air is getting two stars. 180? Climb and maintain 2200 feet. We're... We gotta descend. I'm on the vector they want. Approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to be NN19 turning and following heading 115. Heading 115. Turning and following heading 115 Airbus 320. Over speed. 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 115 is. Oh, we're gonna overshoot it. Now we're good. Alpha Where are you taking me? Requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 
145, acknowledge. That's my heading right now. Continue to be NN19 turning and following heading 145 Airbus 325. Oh, 145. So that'd be 145. All right, 145. My bad. 145. I know we got like a hard turn right here, chat. Listen, the passengers will deal with it. This is this is Italia's maiden voyage. All right, I know you guys are having trouble seeing. If you're looking on the spinny wheel with the the white wheel on the black background, we're at 13 on the yellow, and 14. What? Oh, we're just really low. All right, am I gonna, am I gonna hit the dollar bob? I feel like I'm on the prices right right now, and I'm just spun the wheel. Boomer references. Alright, we are exactly on 145, chat. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to be NN19 turning and following heading 145. Okay, we're at 2500. Acknowledge. to be NN19 turning and following heading 145 Airbus 320. I have to- they have to guide me in, right? Like, am I just supposed to trust them? Because that's all I can do, right? The, they don't update my waypoint when they need to, right? Don't trust ATC! Well, what am I supposed to do? Does he tell me when I get a new waypoint, or not? Annoying the hell out of the operator. <laughs> well, I already overshot it twice, and I'm about to overshoot it a third time, is why. Where's your co-pilot? Chat's my co-pilot. Hello. English a bit. When, when do I get another? <laughs> when do I get another one? Bye bye, airport. It's over there. Talix, get closer to the airport, then turn on those red rectangles that Sim was using. I didn't watch that. I think, um, flaps are already down. You got this, Italics, I think. Well, we will see. Beautiful outside today, Elizabeth. Outside of Heathrow. Acknowledge. Continue to be NN Is he gonna update me or not? How do I know when I've reached BNN19? How do I know when I've gotten there? He will update me when I get there? He'll tell you. Are you sure I'm on... Oh, it's the green, I bet. I bet it's lined up with this flight path right there. Well, we're maintaining perfectly. We might have overshot, but this is a good emergency training scenario, chat. I just wanted to make sure all potential pilots see how to handle and how not to handle a situation where you blow past your, um, your waypoints and have to circle the airport multiple times. 
Uh, that's why we stocked up on some extra fuel at the beginning of this flight when Chad told me that was dumb. All right, we just passed our. We need to get a vector. Heathrow approach, Airbus Alpha. They didn't Sierra, tell me. X-ray three two zero, requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus three two zero, continue. See, they didn't update me. I told you. Continue to be in in 19, follow heading 110. That's all the way around the clock to the left. Airbus 320, did you hear my last transmission? No, I'm very focused right now, not dying. Continue to be in 19, turning and following heading 110, Airbus 320. Bye. Airbus 320, oh, I see it on the map. 3,000, you dick. Climb and maintain 3,000 feet Airbus 320. We good, chat. I know what you thought. Mod B. Oh, Vector! Dude, give me a Vector! Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320. We just blew vector past to it! Next waypoint. Airbus 320, continue to our 10 turning and following heading 190. 2500. 190. Continue to our 10 turning and following heading 190, Airbus 320. Okay, alright. I'm in a passenger plane. Hold on. People are freaking out right now, I know. One, nine, zero. That is right. Approach Emirates 1 is at 10,100 feet, climbing 11,000 feet. I'm gonna puke. Listen, you wouldn't be the first person to puke in this chat today. Can you run out of fuel? Oh yeah. But I stocked up on more before I got to this point. Ooh, beautiful. 10 frames per second, but it's pretty. Heathrow approach Airbus We're going backwards. Sierra, We're literally going back to Bakum where we started descending. Airbus 320, continue to our 10 turning and following heading 225. Well, why don't you tell me, why, why don't they update you with their new position? Why do you have to call to request a vector when you're flying by vector? Continue to her 10 turning and following heading 225 Airbus 320. I think you're supposed to be turning the whole time. What? All right. That's the direction of the airport, chat. Over there. We are low, though. We need to climb. Dude, we're gonna bust some houses! Airbus 320, climb and maintain 2,500 feet. <laughs> People outside are gonna complain of noise pollution. Climb and maintain 2,500 feet, Airbus 320. 2,500 feet. All right, let's level it out. Slow down. Get a new update. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320, continue to CF 27 or turning and following heading 305. All right, this has got to be it or close. 305, huh? Continue to CF 27 or turning and following heading 305, Airbus 320. Didn't he send you 7,000 feet a minute ago? Yeah. But it's actually out the window now. Alright, they're already past it. What was it? 320? No, we didn't pass it yet. 
Where are you sending me, dude? I don't trust the vector. Can I just land? Oh, God. Can I... How do I get permission? Forehead just. Airbus 320, you are 900 miles east of Heathrow. Contact Heathrow Tower on 124.475 when inbound. Bro, I'm inbound. Tower on 124.475 Airbus 320. One thousand? How does this happen? How do we just sink into the ground? Heathrow Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero eight miles east inbound ILS runway two seven right approach sidestep runway two seven left. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero Heathrow Tower. Cleared ILS runway two seven right approach. Two seven. Two seven right approach. I just got an achievement. I haven't even done anything yet, Microsoft. It's too much lag. Do I tune Heathrow chat? Oh God. Chat, I can't even see. What? Okay, uh, clear to land runway 27L. That's left. That's over there. All right. Flaps Air down. Did you copy? Over speed. Clear to land runway 27 left Airbus 320. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. I know. Flaps are down. It's okay. We're... we're really, we, I seem really high up. Dude, the lag as we're coming in here. There's too many planes! Alright, here we go. What is that? I don't know what my air brakes are. Oh god, we're so high up. Heathrow Tower, Emirates, one nine or miles east inbound ILS runway two seven left approach. Three hundred. Emirates, one Heathrow Tower. Cleared ILS runway two seven left approach. Altimeter two nine or decimal six three wind one nine or five at two two. It's too hard on my frames. <sighs> that was so close. I was so close. <sighs> yes, I put the landing gear down. Go back and watch the footage, chat. It's this button right there. That's why you have a camera. And I even said, I'm putting the gear down. You could hear it bounce. If you go back and watch the clip, you can actually hear the gear go as I bounced off of it. It's all there. Well, man, on the upside, we managed to follow the vector around. I'm gonna blame the frames on that one. I'm gonna blame 10 FPS not having enough response time.
Did you make a save? Yeah, I made a save on the descent, which if we come and clean this time is not going to have to fly around 30 minutes. Uh, after the stream's over, I am going to go back on this later and then see how many more frames I get so I can tell you guys what my actual performance is when I'm not streaming. I really just need a stream PC, dude. So disappointed. I thought that I had that, but I just have... I have no idea except listening. Which I guess is the point. There's no... Uh, is it really not an assist? How do you tell... How do you load? There we are. Airbus, don't crash. Nice. failed myself all right let's try this well you got to have the cam i was gonna say maybe the no cam would increase frame rate without actually i just crashed <laughs> the game <laughs> trying to load back into that well i'm not gonna quit <sighs> i'm not using the landing path i turned it off on purpose that's why i'm flying by stick thank you for your uh pity help though I didn't get to this point 30 out 22 hours into the the game uh by doing that. All right, it's loading back in. Crashed the plane and now the game. I think it's opening now. I'm disappointed, but I can't say it wasn't expected. Why did I get an achievo though? It was wheels up, wheels down. Complete a non-stop flight of at least 300 miles from takeoff to landing. I think they might have jumped the gun on assuming there, maybe? Just a little? At least you crashed on an airfield. Someone could survive. Honestly, I think realistically what would have happened in that situation if it was true. We bounced off the gears. I came back down too hard. I should have eased up and let the bounce happen and then coast a few more feet and then come back down. But um, I think the landing gear at worst would have collapsed and I don't know if it would have exploded, but at least would have skidded with one of like probably the gears would have broken, the, the wheels would have snapped and it would have like careened at whatever speed we were at, which was pretty fast. Skidding, big old fire, some deaths. But I am proud, okay, like, if I could do the approach differently, I am proud that we did line up using vectors, we just had to go a really circuitous route, we did line up appropriately, and we knew what heading to use um, successfully. I think that it could use some work. There's probably a hotkey to summon a vector when one's available because I don't like having to keep calling it in. I guess you just have to look at the map, see when you get to the spot they're telling you to go to, then call in a new one so you don't bother the ATC. They can't babysit you the whole way in, I guess. Came down too hard, crushed everybody's legs, probably their luggage as well, and the rest of them. Do you think autopilot would help landing? Even if it would, I would want to do it myself because I think it's more fun and it's a good learning experience. Even if we get zero frames. If I'm going to fly this again on a future stream, we'll turn the graphics down for it. For sure. But I don't feel like messing with that right now. I'd rather just go. Chad, I actually might have a corrupt save. Hey, I got an idea. I think I know how to get around it. It's pretty easy, actually. 
All we have to do is load the earlier save, then travel to the end of the flight. So it's not that bad. Streaming this means you will never get hired as a pilot IRL. Do you think that if you ever apply for a flight school after this, they'll ask you if you have any flight sim experience and then look up your old videos of you crashing and bouncing off the Grand Canyon and then use that as a reason to reject you from the school? <sighs> they'll ask you to submit your saves. Possibly. Speaking of DCS World, any plans to stream it? Right now, no. Didn't you already ask that? Maybe. Someone would expose you on Twitter. Chad, if I said I was gonna go try to do some flying, would you act Someone actually probably would send a clip. I'd just get, like, harassed. Virtually. A hundred percent. They'll see the head tracker and think you look silly. Well, I think you have to be a little silly to get behind uh, the steering yoke of a of a plane. All right, I'm dying gamer death on stream, and it's only been 11 hours. I'm on fumes right now. I need this to work so I can end on a victory. The first loading screen is what takes the longest. Oh, I let everybody down. We could have had a fist pumping moment taxiing in. That being said, did you guys know I've actually never crashed on a landing till now? Between today and yesterday? I think that's legitimately the first crash land. So honestly, that's pretty good. I think that the bigness of this particular plane and the reliance on instruments and feel is what gets me. Because I hear it going 50, 40, 30, 10, and it's still like, am I though? How hard should I flare? Learning how hard to flare is the tough part. All right, let's try and load a slightly earlier save. Airbus first takeoff. Let's see if this loads. You know, most pilots don't ever crash, right? Yeah, but they also have a co-pilot, so consider that this is my first Airbus flight with literally no instructor and no co-pilot to answer comms. I'm literally, like, working both roles, which would never happen in real life. <sighs> you didn't let us down. You let us down, then we bounced, then we exploded, and then we died. In that order. I think this save works. So I think we'll just load again and travel to... I, I'm interested to test out that feature, though. This was first takeoff. You know what? No. You do it. I go to... Uh, final approach. You have 666 viewers, maybe that's the problem. Yeah, like 60 of them, uh, saw me crash and then left my channel and they'll never come back. I had a chance to get 60 follows instantly. All I had to do was land the plane, okay? And my Twitch channel would have got front page, in the hero spot, top, middle, as East Coast wakes up and drinks the coffee, they would put me in Starbucks across the country because I was such a hero. Now they're gone forever. They'll never come back.
All right, prepare for lag. Prepare for frames. You started me at 280 over speed. We're already off course, and I literally just spawned in. Alright, we good. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is at 6,500 feet, climbing 7,000 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320, Heathrow approach, continue to Lima Alpha Mike as planned. Altimeter 29er decimal 9 or 2. Continue to LAM as planned. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to Lima Alpha Mike. What should my uh, height be right now? I'm gonna keep it at 5,000. All right, following heading 245. Turning and following heading 245 Airbus 320. Chat, I'm not gonna follow that because I'm gonna follow my flight plan. I think that's where it all went wrong. I think I got like a vector from him. See the the line that I'm on in the map? I think he gave me like a weird... They, they kind of take you... Because 245 will take me directly to the airport. But I think the actual flight plan takes me on a course that will line me up with the airport the first go-round. So I think what happened was... I mean, obviously this doesn't account for me screwing up the landing. But I'm just saying, like, the reason we had to fly around 30 minutes is because I asked him for a vector and followed it, even though it's not... What is that? I thought that was like an eyelash. Who needs a pesky flight plan? He's telling you to go over the speed? Oh, why? Okay. Okay, we're, we're going to expedite the climb to 7,000. We're 5,200 and climbing at about 210 knots right now. We're approaching 6,000. And uh, I'm just going to turn a little bit to get back on course. Let's go ahead and slow down, level this out. I'm already way above 7,000. We were at a pretty steep climb there. That was a really steep climb, yes, inaudible. My bad. Listen, this is going to take more than one practice flight to get the ropes. Before we can do a real, true RP flight. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 is out of 7,300 feet for 7,000 feet. All right, we're basically back to 7,000. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320, London Center. Continue to Lima Alpha Mike has planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two. What does that mean? Altimeter two nine nine or two. Airbus three two zero contact Heathrow approach on one one nine or decimal seven three. Going to one one nine or decimal seven three Airbus three two zero. Can you practice engine failures? Yeah, they have options for that. They have other failures as well. You can have them RNG or guaranteed. How many times I gotta hit one? Heathrow approach Airbus Grumpy, Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is at 6,700 feet, climbing 7,000 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320, Heathrow approach, continue to Lima Alpha Mike as planned. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2. We're with you, Italics. Thank you. You guys just put your seatbelts on, it'll be fine. All right, we're only like 100 feet under, you can tell. Right there, 69, climbing. We just hit 7,000, so we're gonna level this out. Take the throttle down. Uh, we're just chilling, I think, until they update me. Airbus 320 descend and maintain 6,000 
Activity. Well, I just climbed to 7,000, but you got it, buddy. Descend and maintain 6,000 feet Airbus 320. Alright, let's not go too steep. Right there on the horizon line's good, just underneath it. That's what's interesting about this. What I thought was the horizon line is actually like a you're kind of just descending line. I don't really understand this horizon line. I guess we're heading towards the curvature of the Earth. All right, that was 6,000. Keep speed below 180. Keep speed below 180 knots, Airbus 320. All right, flaps are coming down. Airbus 320 descend and maintain 3,500 feet. 3,000? Chat, if you're overspeeding and the point of flaps is to slow you down, are you really overspeeding? Overspeed. 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 Over Descend and maintain 3,500 feet Airbus 320. Overspeed. 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 The airport's sideways again. Uh, yeah. So do I just take matters into my own hands? Let's see what vector he suggests. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 turn left heading 180. Okay, see, he's got it. Turn left heading 180 Airbus 320. We got that. Let's try and stay at 4,000. You're not gonna stall. Chill. All right, let's get all the way to one eight. Uh, turn left, heading one eight zero. Didn't I just do the thing I said I? Didn't I just do the thing I told him I wasn't gonna do? Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Acknowledge. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Airbus 320. Let's get a vector. Hero approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next. I'm very nervous. I'm going to screw up again, which is Airbus very likely. Airbus continue to our 10 turning and following heading 140. 140. He's taking me in the loop, dude. He's taking me in the loop. But it worked last time. All right, we are way below 3,000. Holy crap. I wish I could set, like... There's another plane up there! Airbus 320, did you copy? Continue to her 10 turning and following heading 140, Airbus 320. Airbus 320, descend and maintain 2,500 feet. God, I was just there. Why couldn't you tell me that two seconds ago? Descend and maintain 2,500 feet. Playing whack-a-mole here with the altitude. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. All right, we're there. 2,500 and below. Airbus 320 continue to CF 27 returning and following heading 270. All right, 270. Confirm. Continue to CF 27 returning and following heading 270 Airbus 320. Let's go flaps down again. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Uh, heading 270, yeah? Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. I have no clue where the airport is now. That way. Okay, keep turning, go to 320. Chat, where's the airport? We're like really low. Airbus 
Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320, continue to CF 27 returning and following heading 320. I think he's going to loop me around again. I just have a feeling. Continue to CF 27 returning and following heading 320, Airbus 320. Where is it? Airbus 320, you are 9 miles east of Heathrow. 9 miles east? Well, I'm pretty basically inbound now. I'm a thousand feet up because I'm not getting any instructions. Tower on one one eight decimal seven zero five Airbus three two zero. Tune contact. Just do it automatically. Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero eight miles east inbound ILS runway two seven right approach. There it is. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero Heathrow Tower. Cleared ILS runway two seven right approach. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9er, 2272 at tree. Cleared ILS runway 27 right oh God. approach Airbus 320. That was a quick turn, dude. Chat, I can't see anything. Where's the airport, chat? Two seven R Straight ahead. Pilot too short. Two two seven R. That's the, I'm on the left. Chat, I'm on the left one. Two seven R's over there, dude. Airbus three two zero clear to land runway two seven right. Just let me have the left one. It's Clear so far over. Right, Airbus what? There, I can't ask for the left. Someone's take. This looks very dangerous. Is someone taking off right now? Boss 727? All right. Flaps are already down. Uh, let's go ahead and get landing gear down for sure. You hear that? That's landing gear. Let's get... Uh, I don't know how to confirm that landing gear is down. I don't think most pilots just go, Hey, you hear that? Yeah, that means the wheels are down. We don't have any kind of confirmation check boxes up here that can tell us information that's important, like whether or not the gears are actually down. We go based sight unseen. Sound alone. Alright, let's try and line this up. I don't have any- why don't I- dude, don't get nervous. Just succeed. Whoa! Yo! Alright, that's not fair! Who's this? I'm l I'm landing here! ATC! ATC emergency! There's a tree, ATC! Dude, threw everything off. Alex, you're in England. We fly on the left over here. I can't believe I was landing at the same time as a real plane in real life on the same runway. until I get it right. Chad, it's already 420. 
This is not going to be a 12 hour stream. Turn off cams to see if FPS is better. It probably is, but don't isn't that the whole point? You want to see what I what moves I'm doing? They put IRL flights in the game? Yep. Yeah. Real traffic control with simulated air traffic controllers. <laughs> Everyone on that real plane <laughs> fell to ghost leech. <laughs> Like, everybody that actually landed on the real plane <laughs> could sense me crashing, like, in an ethereal form next to them, just short of the runway. Everyone's sleep schedules are gonna be synced now, that's nice. I think I just struggle with, uh... This is, de I mean, obviously this is the most difficult plane for me to land. I feel like I'm just too good at the teeny tiny baby planes. And these big trucks, I feel very vulnerable. But that's what makes it fun. I think if I aced everything, th the game would get boring for me, you know? Having some things that are like, hmm, this is actually, hmm, how am I going to do this? Too good, baby, that's right. Being too good's the problem. No, it's just like a totally different type of plane. Technically, we didn't land the jet, but we didn't try, I think. The midline one. I land all the propeller planes, like, easy peasy. Good learning experience, though. But like I said, the challenge is what makes it fun. Keep coming back. Talix, check the news. It's your flight. It actually happened. Maybe I had to give them my spirit so they could land safely. Listen, it was it was an us or them scenario, and I took the virtual fall so all those people could have a safe landing. There wasn't room on that runway for the both of us. Flight Simulator 2020 Creepypasta, you're actually controlling a plane. Is this Ender's game? So it would seem. Does this restart you from Denmark? Is that why this is taking so long to load? Imagine failing and actually doing the whole two and a half hour flight again just to fail at the landing again. Well, I gotta say that, to be fair, we did do too good. Chat, tell the people who weren't here how good we did on the flight prep for that plane. Literally never flown this plane b before now. And we jumped into the cockpit for the first time. I looked at the checklist, didn't use the eyeballs at all, found all the buttons to start ignition, get battery power on, get fuel to the engines, uh, de-ice the plane, all that, without using a single checklist autocomplete. And we were able to uh, taxi out, use ground services appropriately, take off successfully, and uh, did the whole flight problem free. The landing's tough. Sticking the landing's hard. Is it frozen for real? I woke up early and you're still streaming. I am, because I can't land. I think this plane, these kind of planes have some kind of air brakes. I just have no idea how to bind those. People clap. I think it might be stuck. Nope. Just had to wait. One more loading, please. What is final? Destination. I think the approach is important because I'm not lining it up right, so if I skip to the one where they actually have it lined up perfectly for me, 
then I wouldn't feel a sense of uh, accomplishment. Where are we? Over speed. Airbus 320 contact Heathrow approach on 120 decimal 4. Over speed. Over speed. Well. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. 120 decimal 4 Airbus 320. Tune in. Contact. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X. Maintain like five thousand. Six thousand feet for seven thousand feet. We're climbing. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero Heathrow approach. Continue to Lima Alpha Mike test plan. I guess we're supposed to be climbing. It'd be nice to have some instructions. Continue to LAM as planned. So if you follow this all the way in, they take you on a very direct... LAM is over there! Why is that not on the GPS? Alright, well I see where LAM is on the map. Alright, we just reached 7,000 feet. Nicely done. Level it out. We're just going to keep kind of gradually turning into it. We don't need feet cam right now because we're not... The feet cam is really for landing. All right, chat. This has got to be the one, I believe. I think that this full extension... Not supposed to, though. All right. We're approaching LAM. Just, just to get a good shot, since we've been in the cockpit this whole time. See this beautiful land. All right. We're at LAM. Let's go ahead and request a vector. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Hey Tom, one of your passengers, please don't crash again. Airbus Dying twice has not been fun. Alpha Mike turning and following heading two seven five. Guess what? Flying's hard, chat. We gotta practice in the simulator a few times. <laughs> Dying twice. <laughs> it's pronounced lamb. Okay. Well then, Continue why don't you spell it that way? Turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. Wow, that was a pretty steep uh, turn there. My bad. I was looking at... Who was that? German Knight. German Knight 85 in the chat. Thanks for being here. Good morning. First time? Technically third. Third attempt landing. Everything up till now is going well. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to Lima Alpha Mike turning and following heading 275. Okay. We are at um, 275. Sorry, I know it's hard to see. Right. Whoops. Between 27 and 28. Right there. Looks good. Yep, you got it, partner. Continue to Lima Alpha Mike turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. Pilot reading chat instead of flying the damn plane. Listen, you're my co pilot. I gotta listen to my co pilot. He didn't give me a spot, so I'm just going to ask for a vector again. Approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to Lima Alpha Mike turning. All right, he's he's annoyed with me now, so I'm just going to let him do his thing. 
He's probably going to tell me as we get closer to change Alpha Mike turning and following heading to two different contact. How far out are we right now? We're maintaining a very reasonably slow speed, which I think is good because we've been coming in at uh, a little bit too hot, a little too close to the beginning of the runway, as you uh, already have seen. Vector time. Approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero requesting vector to next waypoint. As your co-pilot, I demand you press more Airbus buttons. Continue to, Lima, Alpha Mike turning and following heading continue to land. We just went there. Uh, chat. Where's the actual airport? It's this, right? Oh, we're on the right way. Is there a second? Lima Alpha Foxtrot. Continue to Lima Alpha Mike turning and following heading 275 Airbus 320. Airbus 320 descend and maintain 6,000 feet. Acknowledge. Descend and maintain 6,000 feet Airbus 320. Airbus 320 keep speed below 180 knots. Okay, that's going to be difficult. Sorry, everybody, you just lost your stomach when I ripped the, uh, the joystick up. Uh, you felt a flight floaty sensation. I'm having trouble multitasking with no co-pilot here. Keep speed below 180, not Airbus <laughs> ATC's soaked in gin. They just drinking this morning? Alright, we gotta, Alpha Sierra X -ray gotta get those flaps down, chat. To next Can't slow down. One three zero. Over speed. Over one, speed. One three zero. What point of interest is this pointing me at? Acknowledge quick before he tells me to piss off. Continue to D one twenty seven S turning and following heading one three zero Airbus three two zero. Can I just fly straight towards the airport? D one two seven S on the map. Are you sure it's an S and not a K? Because I'm heading towards D one two seven K right now. That's the airport. Oh my god. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus three two zero. You're not my mom, ATC. Wow, look how pretty it is. Distract chat from your failures as a pilot. Why 130 though? Alright, let's maintain some height. Okay, still turning. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Airbus 320 continue to D-127 as turning and following heading 095. 095, we are at 150. Continue to D-127 They're taking me back. Following heading Can I just say screw you and start heading towards uh, the airport and then request clearance? Just send it. That's what I'm saying. Can I just send it? The stream will never end. At this stage, maybe not. Over speed. 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 
Just ignore them and land. You need to know which side of the runway. That didn't stop me last time. Airbus 320, did you copy? No. Why is there not a reject Continue instructions? Has turning and following heading 095 Airbus 320. Heathrow approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting vector to next waypoint. Okay. Airbus 320 continue to D-127 as turning and following heading 095. Alright, we need to get we need to get some elevation chat. Let's climb. Not a lot, not a lot. Why is there no scream at ATC button? Ooh, the lag. It's a good question though. The game's trying to catch Airbus up to my Continue to D-127 as turning and following heading 095. Chat, Airbus is that the airport? Where's the airport, chat? Oh my god. That's the air- It's the big line going straight to the airport! But they did tell me to go 0, uh... 0, 9, or 5, which is the opposite direction. This is- What is an airport? Uh, put the butterfly meme. You know what? Passengers! Buckle up, baby! Cause this ride is about to get wild! Okay, don't screw it up. You're gonna- you're not going fast enough for a barrel roll. I want to get off of Tox's wild ride. Believe me, I want to get off. This is this is bad. I need a second full attempt. Uh, the next time we play this, I'll try the next tier up passenger airliner with what I have learned from this one. And I think we'll do better. Also, it's just really late and my brain is not all the way there. I'm just not... I just ain't there. Alright, let's slow way, 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 way down now and start the turn. I don't care about the passengers anymore. Chat, is this the airport? Oh god, this this is the airport. Oh. I severely overestimated how far away that was. We are not cleared. Uh... <laughs> Send it! No, we're gonna do a loop. Land on the highway. This is gonna be fine. We're gonna go 212.5D. And then we're gonna hook around. Okay, build up a little speed. When do I get permission to approach? How do I get, um... Where even is that checkpoint? He's giving me the same heading, no matter where I am. All right, here we go. D-127 as turning and following heading 095 Airbus 320. Over speed. Over speed. I'm just gonna land, dude. We've already screwed it up twice. At this point, I just want the wheels to touch down. I don't care about being official about it. I'm ready to eat, dude. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I gotta feed Midas. I got a landing! Also, for all the good it did us last time, another plane spawned in on top of me and threw me off entirely. We went by the book, and another plane just appeared. So guess what? I'm landing, and I'm landing now. How do I, how do I get permission to land from here? I'm already on the way.
Let's just line up with the runway on the right. We're gonna put landing gear down when we get a little closer. I've already got flaps all the way down. We're cruising at about 150 right now. I doubt we will need these rudders because I'm probably just gonna die again, but here we go. Can you cancel? What happens if you cancel IFR? There's another plane be <laughs> behind us. Planes behind, planes ahead. I'm not going to remember what that means, but there you go. Heathrow approach Airbus 320. Cancel IFR at this time. Airbus 320 IFR flight plan is canceled. Radar service terminated. Squawk 7000. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Frequency change approved. I have arrived. I'm at the airport. Can I land? <laughs> I'm coming in. There's another plane that's going to go right through me again. All right. See, I tried to go higher up this time, and now I'm so high up, I don't know how to stop. Who's chat? There's a plane in my plane, dude. Uh, we are still in the... Oh my god. How? I can't tell how tall I am! 60, 40, 40, 35. I can't... How do I figure out how high up I am? Change camera without cheating. There's an altimeter. You realize that's above sea level, not above ground level, and that the ground we're landing on is also above sea level. That's why it hasn't been submerged by the vast blue. That has conquered the majority of our planet. It requires talent. That's why I haven't been able to land. But I mean, the guy's yelling in my ear. I know technically how high up I am. But Chad, if I told you to draw a line 20 feet tall, you wouldn't guess it right on the first try without an instrument to assist you. You'd just be like... I don't know, it's about this much, I guess. Well, I'm like six feet tall, so if I multiply me times three and then add two feet. They, like, bust out the iPad. Planes behind, planes ahead. I made a save. Don't get mad. Fourth time's a charm. I think this is the fifth. Is this the fifth time or the fourth time? Can you do this? For oh, no. Chat, why does saves get corrupted? All right. I think that's a sign. It's almost five o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I think I have to say uh, future Etal can save us. Because it's, it's late. I got to feed doggy. The game just crashed. I have to leave you on a cliffhanger. Also, it's really hot. I don't know why, all of a sudden. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not in the I'm not in the mindset necessary to land. So I will give this another go. Alright. This is this is like that's sweat right there, chat. It truly is late. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. We'll continue this. I'm not gonna leave it on a forever cliffhanger. It's just I just need some sleep. I would have tried again if we didn't crash. Uh, future Retail is going to be pissed, but it's fine. I'll go to bed in like an hour, sleep till 2. You might see me again later. We might just do Flight Sim again. I'll turn some graphics down. We'll get better frames. Thanks for putting up with that. Uh, I know it's annoying. Probably not as annoying as crashing and not landing, but sometimes you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. So we're going to uh, play again. We're going to do another flight. 
we're gonna- I'm gonna try and figure out how to land. <sighs> there's, I'm, I'm gonna look up and see if there's an instrument. I'm gonna go watch, like, a Simcopter VOD, because apparently he landed first try. So if you want to see a real gamer, you know where to go. But I- I am struggling to- I, I really want to blame a combo of bad frames at the very end, and also I'm not- I didn't even follow instructions there. So following instructions, having a good approach, listening to what they're telling me to do, and uh, getting to a consistent speed and leveling out. I just hit- I'm too high, I bust down and- and explode. If I'm too low, then I clip the trees, so I gotta find right down the middle. But, I had a great time playing uh, multiplayer with you all. Those of you who were here for the big, uh, we had like 40 people online simultaneously. Thanks for participating in that. Uh, new viewers, if you came over from one of the raids or hosts, thanks for watching. Sorry I failed you all. I promise we'll do better next time when I have a fresh mind, get some sleep, and I don't have to wake up for plumbers to come over and put a new sink, okay? As you can see, you can't say no to that. Are you going to lay down patiently? Yeah, I want to do the landing challenges tomorrow. That would be good practice. I agree. Let's do some, uh, let's do some flight sim challenge landing modes. That would be fun and be good practice. I wanted to do that anyway. So we'll do that next time. We'll probably just play some more flight sim. It seems like you guys are having fun as long as you're having fun and I'm having fun. It's a, it's a good deal. And I don't have to move, uh any of this. So, if I don't have to unseat all this, once this gets unseated, we're gonna take a little break from Flight Simmon, because this is a big setup. Not just these two, but the camera that's watching it uh, is on its own thing. You guys are on your own mount. Kind of insane. And uh, the foot pedals and stuff as well. Your dog is so cute. Thank you. He is very precious. Look at him. They said you're cute. Where's your bone? Hey, where's your bone? Go get it. Go get it. He found it. Good job. Bring it over. Bring it over here. Come on, give me a bone. Get your bone. Come on. So mean. <laughs> it's just, anyone that has a dog has done that. Where is it? Where did it go? He found it. There, you got it. Good job. See, he got it. He's good. He's smart. He figured it out. And he is a good boy. Alright, everybody. Have a good one. Thanks for playing. Thanks for hanging out. Woo! Dude, we had some, uh... We had some heat today. There was some hot fire coming from streamer and chat today. But I think it made us better for it. Good times. Really enjoyed the multiplayer shenanigans. I really love... Honestly, I think my new favorite thing is the passenger jets because there's just so much there and also the autopilot config and the flying high above the clouds and going really fast and seeing multiple spots. I just need to fine tune the graphics, tone things down and uh, try it again. Thanks for thanks for playing. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm going to go put this. Uh, Got to clean some desk. And I don't even I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. Pizza sounds good. I might make some pizza. Pizza sounds good. Uh, I don't know what the stream schedule is gonna be because it's Friday. I will try to get eight hours of sleep tonight, and if I do, then we'll probably see a Friday stream of this. Then maybe go back. We gotta go back to the past. Play some other games that we started. We'll probably play some Seven Days to Die. 
which I'm really still into. We got... I want to play some more Roller Coaster Tycoon. Other games. What What does that mean? Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is still there. Very, very addicted to that, even though we only played it once. We're going to take you back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. First of all, Inglisabeth, listen here, okay? Are you going to sit here and tell me that Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and Satisfactory, which we're also playing, sucks ass? Do you want... Hang on. Do you want to type in my chat that Satisfactory sucks ass? Hmm. Interesting. Former community manager person turned artiste extraordinaire who is going to show their creations to the world. What a change of heart. WTF, Etel, I just got done. Woof, my appointment. Well, here's a new appointment. It's called... Delete Stream. Okay. Pretend, pretend like the last uh, two hours of attempting to land and failing never happened. But let's take what we learned and do better next time. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I hope that maybe you learned a few things from my errors and mistakes <laughs> of what not to do. It was just a training exercise. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, on the joystick and the throttle, there is actually one button that we have never pushed. And I just wanted to show it to you because I think it's really cool. I don't know if you can see this. What does that say? <laughs> 